guys, welcome back to We Watch a Movie. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And together, our powers form the Taro Sickles. Those yeah, are dinosaurs with popsicles. All I gotta say is, welcome to the Thunderdome, you bunch of sexy dick suckers. We're gonna have a good <laughs> goddamn time tonight. Woo! Class A. I see, I see the, oh, you have to put the ticker up. Oh, I forgot the ticker. God, I'm such a piece of crap. Ticker! Go. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did that. I, I, I should, we should pay someone else to write the ticker. Mm -hmm. Someone who can be funnier and, and not so bad in bed. Nah, fuck it. We'll do it live. We'll do it. Or, I can do it myself, dad. Leave me alone. Oh, mercy. you guys ready? You've been following right. that Titanic shit? Dude, yes. That's scary <laughs> as fuck, dude. They That's, only got 12 well, hours of oxygen left. It's like a fucking movie, but I mean, it's real life, so it's really scary. I could not imagine. I'd rather burn up in the atmosphere than go underwater and be trapped and like fucking slowly like suffocate in a metal ass tube. Yeah, well, you made it sound good, but I'll tell you this. I, man, I feel, I actually feel really guilty for like, because the internet has found so much humor in it. Um, oh, I didn't know and that. I'm not going to. Not, I'm not gonna lie. Some of the responses are really funny, but still, that's that's bad. That is bad internet. You should not do that, even well, if it makes people laugh. That's people are that's sad. Apparently, they well, um, I didn't even know they were doing that. Like, I can't remember if it's called a underwater quest or whatever the company is. That they were allowing people to go under there to <laughs> look at be the on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, underwater, <laughs> quest. underwater quest. Underwater <laughs> quest sounds like the new Disney Plus show. <laughs> That's what I tell my wife when I try to get her to bang in the bathtub. <laughs> I was gonna say when I go down on a girl, I call it the underwater quest. <laughs> uh, but no, uh, yeah, but uh, whatever company it is, I didn't even know they were allowing people to go under and look at the Titanic. But apparently, you have to be super rich. It's like two hundred thousand fucking dollars or something. Yeah, yeah, two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and I get, I get what people are saying because it's like only like rich people would do that. Like, why would you get in a metal tube and go three thousand leagues under the sea to see some old Titanic shit? I think like, it's just like pay 12, for the DVD. Five hundred uh, feet or something. Like, yeah. yeah, wait, yeah, it just it's it's insane. Like, I don't know why anybody would do that, and they're like super super rich and stuff like that. But still, at the end of the day, it's like I mean, those are human beings, man. That is that is actually a really depressing, awful situation. I would hate to fucking be in that situation. Well, the guy, the the, the billionaire, he's a he's a British billionaire. I can't I can't, I don't know how to say his name, but he's probably going under there to get away from the fucking nagging of his wife that probably calls him all the time asking him to use the credit card. <laughs> he has to go to the bottom of the ocean just to get away from her for a few days. I'm kidding. Texas of course, can't I don't, get me down here. I don't know who anything about it, but yeah, it's sad. They said that like. Uh, I know the U.S. Coast Guard said they picked up some banging um, a, a few days or a day ago or something like that, but they can't pinpoint it. They're fucking in the ship. Yeah, they're fucking. They you know, if you're all going to go down, they all whip out their things and, and they all start jacking <laughs> off. And then suddenly the stabilizers kick in and the plane writes itself. No one talks about the ordeal ever. He's like, well, did he come or what? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. There's just some things you don't talk about. I hope. I really, I do hope. Dude, that would be, it, it would be a movie though. Like it would be such a cool like a movie. movie ending if they actually find him and rescue him in time. Like before. It's going to be like that, that uh, stuff. movie alive, except no one was eating each other. Right. Well, we don't, maybe not. But but I, then, well, they, uh, well, so a, they also well, they no made the one the, the Chilean rescue. They made that one. The they made a movie out of that shortly thereafter. They rescued the real the Chilean miners, and I think yeah, uh, Antonio Banderas was the main guy. If he if he wasn't, he should have been. No, he wasn't. Antonio was Banderas wrong. should be the fucking star in everything. That guy's gotten dicked by Hollywood, just like Wesley Snipes. But you know, think about this, dude. That little tube. There's no there's no toilet. So if you got a poop, which would be me, the second, like, I would be like, oh, I'm good. And the second that thing dipped underwater, I'd be like, oh, fuck. It's the that worst feeling. Enchilada I ate earlier is coming well, back. Well, every time we stream it, I, 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 we have to shit every time. I, if I don't shit, it won't be a good stream. I just know it. Well, it's true. Well, and I got to tell you something, too. I'm feeling really good lately. I've, I've been having very, I think, I think everything's going to be okay because you know what they say. I know, I know you've Googled it. We've all Googled it. Once you get past the age of 29, um, what's like a healthy poop to have. Yeah. And I don't know what's going on, man. But this week, I mean, I'm telling you, I enjoy it. My wife calls, says, just says I'm ignoring it's, it's I'm using it to ignore the family. Uh, but you know, I just sit down and just, it just comes right out. I mean, there's just, there's just nothing about it. It's just, it's a solid, solid situation. And it just goes right out. A big and old I'm done. chunk of poopy come out your butthole. Uh, yeah. well, you know, that, I must that, be in the best shape of my fucking life. Mine, mine goes out quick too, but I mean, I just sit in there for 40 minutes cause I want to. Yeah, well, that's true too. Yeah, you don't, I mean, you don't you don't rush the time on the pot. That's your that's your kingdom. That's your. I'm time. almost 
yeah, I'm almost disappointed. You know, I'm like, oh, is that it? It's like a, it's like a prison protein loaf. I'm like, oh, damn. That's, I, I think that's a good sign. Watch, I'll well, be dead uh, hell, tomorrow. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty regular. So, I mean, yeah, it's, I think the, the, pro, the, the, the uh, problems are is if you're not regular, then you have an issue. No, that's true, too. Yeah, and I was all over the place, man. Just, uh, that mm-hmm. was the part of the keto stuff. I was, I'm was. i not doing that anymore. I'm really so happy that, that you guys are enjoying this poop conversation because that's what we all are here for. <laughs> We're going to rank our shits. Mother? We're going to take start taking pictures of our shits and ranking them here on a tier list. That's a good idea. That's Actually, I'll do that with yeah, you. There are sure. there are people that like that shit. What's that? What's that? Uh, that taboo, like kink. What's it called when people like to eat or play with people's poop? I eat poop.com. No, what the fuck is that thing called? Necrophilia? Uh, the, no, that's when you fuck a dead person. The, the uh, not snatch. Snatch, snatch is a snatch is a word for vagine. What the yeah. fuck? Sc- uh, scat. Scat man. Scat. scat. Yeah. I'm scat. a speed the poop out of up. <laughs> You know, must, yeah, apparently Hitler was into scat too. I bet he did that shit. He probably went and, he became the scat man when he played around in poop. <laughs> this, and uh, we lost 76 viewers just now. There you go. Uh, no. Go to yeah, church. Uh, enough about us and our poop. Today we're here to gather and talk about the Lord. And uh sure. <laughs> Sure. By Lord, we he's coming him. back. He's coming back soon. <laughs> <laughs> I tell it's on a mountaintop. Um, I we are, uh, but no, did you hear by the way that that the, the tie in to Blink 182 with the submarine? Mm-hmm. The stepson went and saw a concert and that said it helped him relax or whatever. Yeah, he was and he was trying to like tag marked along. He was like, Hey, I need some support and like trying to like use that situation allegedly to like meet the band and shit. Mm. And then, um, and he's like, was like, I should, I know I shouldn't be here with everything that's going on, but Blink's really helped me through a lot. I'm like, dude, no, you can't do that. And then it came out that he allegedly, I think he actually allegedly went to jail for it, but he apparently like threatened like a mass a massacre on a rave because mm. some girls did him wrong or something. And another point, he was like stalking and like harassing and threatening to assault like an OnlyFans lady or something like that. Because he was listening to Eminem first, and then he switched to Blink One Eighty Two to calm him down. That's it. It's a, the nineties were a crazy time to be alive. The lady from the OnlyFans was Kim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. But no, how I, I will say uh, I I don't know. Is he the stepson of that billionaire? Yeah, because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom DeLong, Which, maybe maybe you should pick up the phone. It's a billionaire stepson. <laughs> it's like, are there early aliens down there? Because if, uh, if 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 he doesn't make it back, then all that money's probably gonna. Because his son's down there with him too. His biological son, the billionaire's biological son, is uh, with him. And so if the, if he passes away or they pass away, I would imagine that he's got a, a majority of it going to his wife. Right. Yeah. That kid's just, yeah. So that's some, I saw some jokes. Like he's just trying to secure the back. I'm like, the internet's so mean. It's so mean. We're supposed to joke about this shit in our homes where no one can hear us. It's you know? called levity. You stupid, sorry, sons of bitches. We can all have that's levity in life. That's a good way to put it. That's that. I'm glad you said it that way. Cause it made me feel better about how hard I was laughing about it because well, they were making blink. It doesn't mean you're going to, I mean, well, they, they have, they have like, try not to laugh or you're going to hell videos. And I've seen uh, some really fucked up things. And you don't want to laugh at it. Usually they're involving midgets or small people uh, or whatever the fuck they call them. People, the, the, Jay. God the, damn it. Whatever, dude. There's one that's funny as fuck. Like he jumps and doing a cannonball into like the lake and, it, and you hear a sound that go. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> uh, look, I'm telling you, I don't want to. I don't like like I'm going to laugh when I tell you this, but it's not me. Like I would have never made these jokes. OK, but I, I felt so fucking bad this morning dude, because I was crying laughing. At my desk, I was watching. I just I saw it blinking to his screen. I clicked on it, and the comments underneath that story was <laughs> they were putting song lyrics. And this guy said, "Nobody likes you when you're under sea." <laughs> That's pretty good. Somebody else said, "Watching, waiting, asphyxiating." <laughs> It'd be funny if if, if when they lost right. contact. It was like, where do we go from here? Not up. <laughs> <laughs> where do we go from here? Not up. <laughs> I feel this. And it's the the most obvious one was the uh, the gif of Tom. Where it was like, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but hey, but all, oh. all, all all thoughts and prayers. I hope they get them back. Because, I mean, again, that's uh, you know whatever your uh, bracket as far as financial bracket goes. I, that's it's still human being, and that's fucking exactly fuck, dude. Exactly. I couldn't yeah. imagine just being in that situation. Well, I think part of the problem, part of the reason people are making fun and stuff is because the, I guess, allegedly the billionaire that that's that runs this shit. Yep. Apparently, there was an article where he was talking about like, fuck safety. Who gives oh, a yeah. shit about I, safety? I, I, I literally just read that there's apparently two former workers of the uh, Galaxy Quest underwater sea adventures said that the uh, <laughs> that the tube itself sponsored the, by Red Lobster. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, and Walmart. Uh, <laughs> but the, the the shell of the submarine wasn't uh, wasn't 
capable of going underwater, that there was a lot of safety concerns and then they were ignored. So I don't know. I mean, some would say it's karma. Like you get what you pay for, but who the fuck knows? I don't know. I don't know that. I don't know the situation. And by the way, this is allegedly, I don't know if he ignored him because I don't want to, if he comes back and then sues us. (laughs) So (laughs) yeah, I I mean, I don't know. Like, I guess technically you put yourself, you could go fucking golf and get eaten by a gator in, in, in Florida, but drunk and, and, and wading through the water looking for the alligator just popped up cut me <laughs> down in my prime. But I saw one that bastard size up here. <laughs> oh, we're going to start quick. Quick to the point, to the point, no fake, and cooking him sees like a pound of bacon. Why is someone bitching that we need to start already? No, I was just thinking about how many movies we have to get to. And, and, and oh. at this rate, we're going to be here an hour five. The good news I'm is it'll, deep, deep with chicken. Hey, that's, you know, hey, well, you know what? we could have been real assholes. And like because of the controversy, or not the controversy, because of this situation, we're just going to rank our favorite underwater movies. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, shit. Now, that's As called the insensitivity TV. right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. But we didn't do that. We didn't bank on a tragedy just to fucking turn it around for ourselves. Even though, don't get it wrong. I thought about it. But I was like, no. We can't they be also, that. <laughs> also, literally, a song called "Man Overboard," but <laughs> anyway, or, or the Kurt Russell movie "Overboard." Yeah, that's a, that's a solid movie too, by the way. Movie. Or the other Kurt Rus- Russell movie "Breakdown." <laughs> yeah. the ship. Oh fuck. Um. Anyways, yeah. So if you don't know, now you know, dudes. We are ranking every Halloween, every Nightmare, every Friday, every Scream on the tier list from all timer to sucks my butt steve and um should we just go randomly should we go franchise yeah, by franchise? i mean these just, should go pretty quickly yeah it's pretty pretty easy business for some of these um i'll do one and then or i'll do a couple and then we'll answer a couple super titties um halloween fall put it in the champion circle and bring out the medallions you this man saved belong. the kingdom yeah halloween four is an all-timer dude what the fuck yep. i mean it's not even a question you guys ready yep. to argue about it let's not because there's no need to argue Best Halloween atmosphere of all time in a movie. If that mask was better and the shoulder pads were gone, this would be everyone's favorite Halloween sequel of all yeah. time. Halloween I, 4 is like, uh, it, when I think of Halloween 4, I think of like Luke Skywalker at the end of Star Wars and he, he's getting the medal and that triumphant music is coming on. And they're all <laughs> turning around, they're standing, they're looking at everybody. So I, I feel, for me, it, it's, it's one of the few movies. It literally revitalized the franchise. It revitalized it, in my yep. opinion. Especially after what happened in the and it was the fourth Texas. film in the series, which is crazy. So that's where it goes. It's just like Rocky Four. Rocky Four would be up in that bitch. Yeah, too. but it's always weird when people like Rocky Four, and then they're like, "Yeah, but I mean Rocky One or Rocky Two. I'm like, "Yeah, those are great movies, but dude, there's something about Rocky Four that just gets you going in a way that the other two can't." Yeah, I, I mean, I, I I changed my mind from Rocky to to Rocky Four, but there's no wrong answer in that camp. All right, let's do a tougher one. Let's go with Scream. Fucking five. Uh, that's We're fuckable just to me. Scream. That's fuckable, fuckable to me. That's what you say. Fuckable is what you say. I, I well, it. listen, I mean, I didn't, when I watched it, I was actually surprised that I, I did enjoy it as much as I did because I really thought it was going to be dog shit. Uh, I, because I, I hated Scream 4. I didn't like Scream 3. Scream 3 was just a dirty diarrhea. Someone left in a gas station parking lot bathroom. <laughs> and then, you know, Scream, so it hadn't really, for me, it, had, it hadn't been since Scream 2 that anything significant, significantly good had come. Scream 5 was good. I mean, it actually was. It, it captured what I liked about the first two screen movies. So I put it as fuck, but I don't think it was like anything like super special. Mm-hmm. I, 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 my opinion is real awesome. That's not a shock. This is probably the most disagreeable series of these that we'll talk about, but that gives us a perfect opportunity for those of you who are new here, not done a tier list. Already? This is where we slip into Friday, Friday night fight territory a little bit yeah. because we're going to let you guys vote. I say real awesome. And Jay says, fuckable um i say real awesome just because i think that that the first movie without wes craven they brought it back they gave us the vibe of scream the feel of scream i think that was really hard to do and they kept the franchise alive the only thing also and, i hated about it was that they they might as well they might as well had a fucking neon sign on that one kid from the boys i'm a killer he was so obviously the killer the, the fucking nerdy kid i was like that guy's well, a killer god damn I think- I think some. I think that they didn't want to do anything too crazy and surprising. And also in Scream, when they show you a red herring, you're like, I know what you're fucking doing, Scream. So at some point, I never the red herring's got to actually be the bad guy. Well, don't talk to me about birds. There was no goddamn birds in this fucking movie. Is a herring a bird? Yeah. I thought that was Exorcist 2. You dumb shit. Look the up what herring too. is. <laughs> it's a, it's, I thought herring was just when you... Actually, I, I'm going to... I, I fuck stupid. someone with a bush. I'm going I'm I'm to look up what a red herring is. <laughs> so I make sure that it's a goddamn bird. Herring. 
it's a uh, it's a fish. <laughs> it's a fucking fish. It's a, a, a dried smoked herring, which is turned red by the smoke. What the fuck? That's weird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, well, I knew it was a I knew it was an animal of some sort. Fish and birds. <laughs> I knew together. it was in the wildlife some, sector. It, yeah, it was somewhere That's part of the I'm animal kingdom. Fucking saying. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! I didn't know either, though. To be fair, so at least I was I in the neighborhood. I might have drove by the house a few times, but shit, I did my best. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, tits! Tyler Rumfeld, first super chat of the night. Thank you, buddy. He says, "Let's get it on the tier list." Not you know. I know. I know. I want to do the other but thing. Tyler. Hey, Tyler is still June though. What are you talking about? We still got a few days left. It's fine though. Yeah. Get, get it, it out on. Bang a gong. Get, get it on. on. I wish we hey, didn't, I wish we wouldn't get copyright struck struck for like playing music during these streams. That would be fun. I cool. know. Hey, but you know what we do play music on? We play music on the Patreon streams because mm. they can't stop us there. And if you don't believe me, there's like 50 of them for free right now on Patreon for the next seven days. So it's in the link below. Also, by the way, just so you can mention, we're not even 20 minutes in, but if you guys don't mind, it would be a really big help. And we always ask you to do it, but, but please do it. Hit that like button it's on this new, video oh. if you don't mind. It does help us with the YouTube algorithms and such. True. True. Nothing's ever been truer except for I'm gay. By the way, I was thinking about this. Speaking of that, when you mentioned we have a few days left, uh, what if someone made a future a movie in the future and nobody could agree on all like the gay stuff, you know, like like the Republicans and ever just it just turns into this fever pitch, which I right watch now, it now be careful. The, You're stepping the, on Proud Boys territory over here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tread on me, son. Mm -hmm. Um I'll shoot you dead to your goddamn doorstep and claim self-defense, motherfucker. <laughs> I say I, he deserves to die. He had but, property. but lot in his house. Uh, what if in the future you made a movie where in the future we agreed that like it was only okay to be gay in June, but like the the kicker was everybody had to be gay in June. So like oh. nobody's allowed. It's like the purge, but for a whole month. But everyone's got a butt fuck. I don't want to. Uh, oh me that. me me either. Yeah, you stupid. I be in the van picking each other's butt. To huh? do that, gross either george rivero says question while i'm on the toilet going poo uh -huh. <laughs> hey dude we, we actually had a patreon stream one time where this dude we, we did the beer chug and we, we bring people into the stream to, to chug a <laughs> beer with classic, us dude. this motherfucker was he didn't say it he didn't he was to know it, uh, someone just went hey man you want a fucking toilet right now and the dude was he's like yeah i just i didn't want to miss it <laughs> <laughs> that was funny as fuck, dude. Take the shit. Um, anyway, Jay, what's your favorite Stephen King book? Mine's The Outsider. It's like an adult version of it. Love you guys. Love you too, man. Hey, thanks, man. Uh I um my favorite uh, Stephen King book is actually uh I mean there's classics, obviously. I've read I've read I read pretty much all of them, and I had a great collection until you know my ex bitch face sold them for drugs and sucking <laughs> dick all across the neighborhood. Uh <laughs> Richard Bach, it, Stephen, it's a Stephen King book, but he was under the, the, the pen name Richard Bachman, The Long Walk. Dude, that's such a great, I've, I've read that book so many fucking times. I think it's only like 350 pages. I love that. That was actually one of the few books I was able to manage to snag from that fucking Ursula ass bitch before she sold it. Um, I love that book. That book, uh, that, that actually was supposed to be a, ma a movie made out of it. I don't know if they're still in talks to do that, but dude, that's such a cool ass book. It's not really, there. there's it's got horror elements to it, but it's not really horror. I guess it's because uh, maybe it's horror because of what humanity or mankind has come to. It's in the future. And, and in this particular instance, it's like kind of like apathetic. The the society that this this book takes place, in, it's a very apathetic society and militaristic. And uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's good. It's a, it's a crazy good book. Uh, I, I recommend you check that out and buy American. <laughs> next day. time. Next time you buy American. Um so sorry, my dog was eating uh, last year's Father's Day present, but I was too late. I couldn't save it. I couldn't he, save it. He didn't really it. give a shit about that Father's Day gift. He was glad that it was eaten. Yeah, I, think, I think she. I was it too late. To eat it. it was just a little stuffy. It's fine. I'll be all right. I just need a few days. Um, but no, seriously. Back to life. Back to reality. Um, Let's do another one. The answer from Scream Five. Mm -hmm. By the way, was uh, the audience picks real awesome fifty seven percent to forty three percent? It was a close poll. I don't, I don't, a... I don't believe any of you. I believe we're going to have a recount, like with the state of Arizona. <laughs> I'm not going to accept defeat. I'm going to go on Twitter and demand recounts. I'm going to take this to the Supreme Court. 
You're all in on it, you sons of bitches. Stop the scream, steal. <laughs> he said. I will. Oh, I'll make shit, a hashtag fuck. out of it. I'm not even on Twitter. That's how powerful it will be. It will go from me not having Twitter, and I'll say hashtag stop the scream still, and it will somehow <laughs> wind up on Twitter. <laughs> you just randomly walk up. To I'll just say it on this video, and then all of a sudden, hashtag stop the scream still. Stop the scream. Stop the scream still. Um, this dude, I Jason List, part six, part six. This is one of the two or three best, uh, no matter how you cut it up, in my opinion, best Friday the 13th of all time. I uh, could uh, go. I want to go all timer. This is wait a minute. This is the Corey uh, Feldman. No, this is well. Corey Feldman is in the. Uh, See, the problem uh, is with Jason. I love Jason films. Obviously, they're fun, but they they okay. run together so easily for me. They really I, do. I this is the one with with Tom Matthews in it. The funny oh, one. Uh, the one. Um, okay, so this one takes place after the, the the Roy situation in the fifth one, and then this is the, obviously it's the sixth one. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, that the one where he's wearing the the utility belt? He's got the nice butt, rips oh, the yeah. dude's arm that, off, that, that, slams that, the, the dude's face. That was smooth. And he kills he's the paintballers. Such, such a nice butt. Is that the one, one where he kills the paintballers? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I would put this as an all-timer as well, because they actually managed to do – they made Jason scary, and it was a fun movie, but they also put some comedy in it, which was the first time you'd really seen a, more of a comedic black comedy element to it. Whoa, 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 Jay. Yeah. Come on. Well, Hey, we're, all not, about, no, we're, all, we're, we're all about speaking truth here, and you know what? Maybe we are Fox News. Okay, we'll there's no about, reason. We'll just talk about things here. There's no reason to get racist. Uh, Black all and time. white, red and red green. And green. Um, yeah, all timer. I'm good with that. It's one of the best Jason movies. It deserves to be there, and I deserve to be inside of everyone here tonight when we're done. Just so oh, you know. That, yeah, that one's not going to work for me. Ooh. That or H two O? Neither Me one. Inside of either people. one. Either right. one. But I oh, mean, this one specifically. Together? I'll watch H two O. I like uh, obviously uh, LL Cool J. I I think that was the best part of the fucking movie. Really, I mean, Jamie Lee Curtis was fine in it, but I felt like very much paycheck centric. The ending, the the chopping the head off, it felt very anticlimactic for me. I don't know why it did. It just did. The fucking obvious got controversy with the mask using a digitized version of his mask, and then fuck his mask was like shit. They already had a great mask at the beginning of the movie with the Halloween 6 mask. They used it. I was like, just keep that mask. And then it was this whole thing about this shitty, ugly ass. Like, you look like an old man shoplifting from Dollar General. I, I just hated that mask, dude. I, I I I put this as a fuckable movie because for me, it just feels like a movie that was, it was it was a Scream ripoff. It, it felt very much like they saw the success of Scream. They saw how that was doing. And they're like, we'll take elements of it and give the vibe of a Scream movie. And we'll sell some tickets with Jamie Lee Curtis. She won't show her boobs, but oh well. She saw she showed them in True Lies, and let's do it. Yeah, that's how a lot of people did silent rage screaming when they saw this film for the first. But you know, I, I remember a lot of people like this movie, and I and I feel my brother loves this movie, and Mike likes this movie. But I feel like it's they. Um, I don't know, Mike or Cody, my brother. It was because they got to go see it in the theater, so it has a theatrical type of nostalgia for it. So maybe that's why there's more points given to it than in reality it, it deserves. But I've watched this movie several times. And, and dude, to me, I, I literally watch it, It's like the Dollar General version or the, the, the Wish.com version of Scream with Michael Myers in it. The, the entire plot, not the plot necessarily, but just the way it's shot, the way it feels, the music, everything about it. it just It's very clean. It's very like corporate studios type of uh, Halloween movie. And so I just, I never really liked it. For me, Halloween was always about grittiness. I can't hear you. No. I can't hear you at all. But this is fine. No, yeah. Yay! Yeah. So while, while you were talking, the dog fucking... That's why I was screaming, actually. The dog no. knocked my... That fucking piece of shit! Um, Beat yeah. him on stream, Mike, you Michael Vick son of a bitch. <laughs> I just I do remember there was a, there was like a uh, a zoomer uh, one of those people who like Twitch stream that got caught like hitting their dog on a stream. I was like, God, that fuck. Just it. be I like a normal American and turn your camera off if you're gonna beat your animals. You dumb. Thank ass. you. God. Exactly. Have some sense about you. It's not everyone's business. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm with you. It's gonna upset people. People are very unhappy in the chat, and I know that they're gonna be because this is a beloved movie for many, and I understand why people in our age group, our demographic, is is old fucks. Not saying all you guys are. Not saying you. <clears throat> Class A dildo, never your dildo. But like, 
you know, I it was one of the first Halloween movies I saw in theaters too, so it was super nostalgic for me as well. Yeah. I get the nostalgia behind it, but the more and more I watch it, I actually love the ending. I love when she cuts his head off. I think if that was the end of the franchise, that would have been fucking. I don't, I'm glad it wasn't obviously, but like that scene was crazy to me. But yeah, like you said, dude, the mask is terrible throughout. And uh, to me, no offense to the guy, but I think it's one of the worst portrayals of the way Michael moves and stalks and does things. I think he looks silly as shit for a large portion of the movie. And yeah, I just, it was a scream ripoff. It doesn't have the same Halloween vibes as the other movies. I love it, but it, it's not, it's not, it's, I'm going to go well, with I mean, you, man. We're not, we're not putting it in the sucks the butt, Steve. I mean, category. No. It's still a, a watchable movie. It's still a good movie. It's just not like, it's not like, dude, I swear to God, I would, for me, until the Rob Zombie Halloween remake, the franchise kind of ended. I, I'd stop, I don't even care to watch seven. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I'll watch seven before I'll watch eight every day of the week. Or even five, but I'm not gonna watch. I feel like the sixth one was it. And listen, you, you if you guys get mad about that, listen, somebody has to tell you Santa Claus isn't real sometimes. I gotta okay? be me. You remember when you were happy and you remember like, oh, I left cookies and milk out for Santa Claus, and then you find out when you're older, no, mom and dad were fucking while they were wrapping mm -hmm. presents and eating that cookie and drinking that milk. Sometime daddy gotta come down and be like, it's not, it ain't real. We pay him money for this shit. Enjoy or worst it. case, or anyway. worst case, Christmas evil, you come down the steps and Santa's going down on your mom. That's the fucking worst. Well, that was a Black Christmas. What I don't know. That Christmas was. Evil. Christmas Evil. Yeah, that was. A yeah, it was movie. not. It wasn't even hot. It was just no, it was Santa's just going down on your mom, and it's not even fucking attractive. Oh God, Zot. You know what? I say that, but I fucking like this movie a lot. Yeah, I, I put it as real awesome. <clears throat> so would I. Yeah, I so think it, I think it deserves to be real awesome. And listen, I, you can you know all day long you can talk about Rob Zombie and his tick infested beard and how he probably smells like butt crack in the sun. But at the same time, he did a very good job of bringing back. He like at least to me, he he was the um, in this one small instance and never happened again in history. He was at least a shadow of what Christopher Nolan was for the Batman series. Like he bought back Michael from like from, like you know in Batman it was Batman and Robin, and then Christopher Nolan comes in and, and heats it up and, and throws a, a perfect no hitter with Batman Begins. Exactly what Rob Zombie did. Rob, the Halloween Rob Zombie is really fucking good. The first 20 minutes are terrible. I hated the, the goddamn psychiatric thing. I hated the fact that they were trying to explain Michael being the way that he was because of his abusive household and then take that damn thing off. You fuck, he's probably queer. All that shit. Obviously, the kid's going to grow up and fucked up. So it makes sense why he would be, become a killer. But other than that, the scenes are great. The shots are great. The story is good. The The, the sheriff is amazing. Uh, uh, you know, uh, everything's great about it. So, I mean, it's a solid movie. Real awesome. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Michelle Mabel. Um, bitch, I will come over here and skull fuck the shit out you. And there goes the monetization just on that line alone. But yeah, I, I agree with you completely, man. I think the trailer trash aspect of it is just Rob Zombie's. Uh, it's basically for this movie the equivalent to when you wipe and you just get that little bit of shit on your finger, yeah, and you're like, oh god, I guess um, I'll just go eat my corn on the cob without washing my hands. Ah, there's <laughs> it came from my body. <laughs> Get in, kids. Time to take the van the, to the fair. The, the white trash um, aspect really felt like it was something like it's probably Rob Zombie's like Fourth of July cookout. Right, but th there's a surprising amount of stuff. Like I, again, I, I will once again go out on that that limb and and say that I enjoy Scout Taylor Campton's Compton's uh, Laurie Strode better than I do Jamie Lee Curtis's. Uh, Jim, Ooh, uh, I thought she was fantastic. Piss people off. That one will really. Piss I people I 100 percent agree that this sheriff bracket's better with Brad Dourif. Oh yeah, well Brad Dourif is 100 percent better. Yeah, Rob Zombie did. That's got its stinky, stinky, stinkies in there for sure. Stuff I hate about this movie and loathe, but damn, some of it fucking kicks ass. And it gives us a chance to see a visceral, gigantic fucking. Like, I know Michael Myers is not about being the stalker, being in the shadows. Or no, that's his thing, you know? Stalker. Yeah. Yeah, I, I said that backwards. But like, uh, it's nice to see a variant universe where we get to go. What if Michael was Jason? You know what I mean? What if he killed the same way? I think it's fun in that. And said, so yeah, well, also, awesome they played around. Well. They didn't really say, uh, well, they also played around the idea. Like if he was just a huge giant dude, that was insane. Like, obviously it would look like he would have supernatural strength because he was packed by fucking crazy. Right. <clears throat> and pre-workout. But, you know, in reality, but usually it's like, um, you know, Michael is a supernatural being. But, yeah, it was really interesting how Rob Zombie did his own thing. But he was able, but he had to keep within the guidelines. You know what I'm saying? And later on, you'll see when he gets let off the chain, that motherfucker goes crazy and bites the mailman, shits on someone's lawn. <laughs> out of out of the ordinary kind of crazy. 
when that they let him off the leash. dog just jumped up, took a bite out of my like, oh, that dog's so cute. You should let him run around. And then all of a sudden he destroys your fucking house and he bites somebody. And you're like, son mm. of a fucking whore. Welcome to my life. Creasefold. God, I love your name. It just makes me think of when my friend used to run up to us and finger our elbows. Um, that's a story. Mike, haircut, Jay, hat. You could be the Foot Clan. <laughs> I don't know. What the, I, don't know what the, I haven't met the Footy Miss O'Neill. Shut it. I think it, it because of one of the guys. I think the guy had a backwards cap uh, in the 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 you know the one guy that was like working with April. I don't know. One of them had a backwards cap, maybe. Uh, okay, I thought. Yeah, I was one. gonna say I thought they had the the suits on. Either way, I love you, Creasefold. Thanks, buddy. I love it. I, well, the, the Foot Clan. It just seems like a shitty job. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You don't get paid. All you got to do, all you get to do is go out to a fucking arcade and hang out with a bunch of kids. Anything they you definitely do, don't have health insurance. Do it. The, the cool. By the way, that was Sam Rockwell. If you guys don't yeah. know that, he's like menthol or regular. <laughs> it, was Sam, it was Sam Rockwell. You got to get started somewhere. You have to. Liver alone. Six 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 says thoughts on the Punisher movie with John Travolta. I dig it a lot. Slightly underrated. I think. We it, love it. Well, yeah, we we've talked about that multiple times. Thomas Jane is an amazing Punisher. We like that movie. Um, it does get shit on because I think it was hindered by a lot of problems. I feel like John Travolta, to be honest with you, I don't think he was a good villain. It definitely felt like he was cashing in, uh, writing a check. He was just there. He, he's a great villain. Like If you look at something like Face Off, right, he's awesome. But in this one, it just kind of felt very over-the-top comic booky, Almost like he was trying to do a Kevin, Sp not a Kevin Spacey, but more of a, a Gene... Um, what the fuck's his name that played Lex Luthor? In Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman type of goofy bad guy with ill intent and it just came off as kind of like it kind of came off as corny i thomas jane is great and but i feel like john travolta could have done that part way better i feel like he didn't even believe in it there's so many elements that movie are so badass dude like the scene where the dude comes in with the guitar and just sings to him like mm. if that was done better i think the movie had like it had some of the pillars of an all-time great and then a couple of the pillars were just kind of like yeah fucking yeah. corn the court on the cobbish you know so like and, and again john travolta being one of those i think he just mailed that the fuck in granted yeah, john travolta's had a lot of stuff going on in his life who knows what was going on there but he just basically walked in read the lines and like walked out but it's funny life. like you don't believe in this movie but you believe in a movie called battlefield earth which <laughs> the asshole of every fucking cinema goer that ever gave them money to watch that i can't believe Ooh. you imagine how dis you feel like your stepdad just smacked you across the fucking face at the dinner table in front of everybody for saying yeah. the, the, the curse word damn and you're like yeah. oh my god I, that was oh my god battlefield earth is one of the worst movies i've ever seen in my life yeah it's bad but we we both love uh i won't say love not and the fact i think it's a great movie but i love watching the punisher as you said thomas jane was a great punisher if you've never seen it liver watch youtube when you're done with this dirty laundry it's thomas jane in an r-rated fucking youtube short as the punisher it basically been. works as a mini sequel and it just shows you how he was a great punisher the movie around him was sketchy at times even mm -hmm. though i like it but he was a great fucking punisher he i feel like that was way i feel like justice. that was studio involvement too i feel like thomas i always feel like people will say the same thing like well thomas jane was just was just uh mailing it in i was like no he actually believed in the project he liked being the punisher but the studio was just not ready to pull the trigger and give them more money to really make a, be a better script and they were like well this is going to be a quick movie that we can make a quick dollar off of and that's not what Thomas Jane won it. He literally funded that. If you go on YouTube and you watch Dirty Laundry, he funded that with his own money. Yeah. Like, I mean, that shows you how much he likes the character. Yeah. And it's like Blade says, man, sometimes in this world, you got to learn to pull the trigger. And they were scared to do that, I think, with this movie. Like, they had fucking Punisher. <laughs> they had him, they had him like uh, uh, torturing a dude with a fucking popsicle. <laughs> well, that like was they, more, that, I get that part. That was more like mental games that he was playing with him. And that was right, but that he learned that in his, but it's just the, it's, what I'm saying is it's a microcosm example of how they were afraid to push the needle with that the way that they could have. You know what I mean? Like, I love that I'm fucking fight though with him and uh, the Russian. That was fucking uh, great. I think it was played by Kevin Nash. It was too, Kevin Nash. Yeah. Yeah. Wolfpack, baby. Woo. <laughs> Uh, how about all this guy right here? It's a great one. We love it around these parts. Man, I, I'm torn. I want to say all timer, but I know I know I shouldn't. <laughs> I feel like I, uh, Anakin Skywalker is like I, I want more, and I know <laughs> I shouldn't. I'm not the Jedi. I should be. I, I want to. I, I know that it's probably it, it's it's 100 real awesome. I mean, but it's in the top two categories, no doubt. This movie, Friday the 13th, the remake. Goddamn, what a, a badass premise! You get the baghead Jason at the very beginning. The how he got the actual hockey mask is kind of stupid and it's kind of quick, but fine. Other than that, it's it's balls to the wall, foot on the gas pedal. Let's get to it. We'll beat Ben Diesel for pink slips. We're not going to hold back. 
badass Jason. Uh, and I he's also, dick. and he's also like, uh, and it's, it's, it's smart how that he's like a, he lives off the land. Like he's like an, he's like a big hillbilly dude that lives off the land, which again, explains why he pops up and he's seeming supernatural, but he's not, he's just using like underground tunnels that he's dug. I think this movie, dude, for me, I, it, it, it's like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the remake. It, it, it's up there, man. It, I, I put it as all timer, but I'll, I'll be fine with putting it real awesome. I'm t- I'm torn a- I'm torn asunder myself and like look I agree with you I think that there's fucking parts of this movie dude the opening throwing you off thinking oh this is going to be a cheap fucking corny 2000s horror movie yeah. and then he just runs in and kills everybody and you're like holy shit this is amazing yeah. this is so fucking metal right now and then uh the rest of the movie you've got an amazing bad guy in fucking trent you know what i mean amazing hateable dudes like oh, your tits are so juicy, juicy bro <laughs> yeah. uh and and some and 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 the the chick or whatever and the and the dancing i didn't like padalaki but that's just me i didn't i didn't like padalaki either if you guys watch our comments commentary on that we me and jay went off uh, on that because we were like that's someone else's i don't care if he's a dick or not you don't just take someone else's girlfriend on your moped into the fucking woods um but i'm with you dude i can't decide between real awesome and all timer because it really does have a a couple saggy moments in there Mm -hmm. uh but he was visceral he was badass so i'm gonna yeah and the dude that played jason i can't remember his name he's so humble so nice such an awesome dude Uh, and he gave Derek mears Derek mears and he gave props to kane hotter and all the other jasons before him and do you could tell how excited he was to be there and, and to be Jason? And do he embodied like the intimidation factor of Jason? I think better than a lot. I mean, Kane Hodder is always going to be like, a, but I mean, dude, I, I might pick Derek Mears to be honest with you. Derek uh, Mears has just got like a, an aura and presence, dude. When he's on screen and he's standing there, just look at that fucking picture, dude. That's badass. Yeah. That poster. Yeah. And I and I love how they went back and they told uh, they did what so many superhero movies refuse to do these days, which is just fucking get on with it, man. Yeah. Like uh, uh, they told the the preface with Deborah Voorhees uh, or like Pam, five seconds. Uh, and yeah, they just they flash back it real quick. We all know what's going on here. I think they did a great job. A lot of good stuff about that movie. I put it to the vote for the audience. Real awesome or fuckable or real awesome or all timer because Jay and I can't decide one that we will be able to decide on is Jason goes to hell. Yeah, uh, you can you can go to hell and suck some ass, Steve. You cram it in your cram hole, with floor. All fucking time, Steve. Just suck a big old duty chunk out of that butthole. What suck is this it dumb Steve. shit. I right, listen. The, the best part of this movie is the beginning and the uh, end. Uh, 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 and look at that, oh, that cover is cool, man. I like that cover. The it's mask. A fu- it's badass. a turd. No, not the snake. I'm talking about the mask itself. Oh, no, oh, yeah. No. I'm, I'm looking at it. <clears throat> it grabs your attention. I remember when I went and rented this. It looks so cool. Like it really does pull your eye to make you, you are like, oh man, Jason goes to hell, and it's like the final Friday the Thirteenth, and then you hear rumors about Freddy Krueger being in it or whatever, and you're like, dude, I gotta watch this, and then you watch it, it's literally just a guy eating fucking hearts and like passing it around like Temple of Doom throughout the entire fucking movie, and you only you don't even see Jason, it's just no, a I mean, bunch Jason. of fucking people. Uh, you see Jason at the very beginning, and by the way, I actually thought I kind of dug that costume that he was wearing, where it's all burnt up and it's barely that mask is barely on his fucking disfigured ass face. I yeah, thought he's cool a cool kid. He's a fridge though, like he yeah. just looks like well, a fridge. He's just, he's just I, so I, I, wide and like plumpy. But it's the like... SWAT team comes in or the military, and they shoot. I, I thought, dude, this is gonna be fucking awesome. Yeah. And then it, it gets worse from there. And then um, the ending when he comes back is badass. You get to see Jason again, and then obviously the hand of freddy krueger coming up but it's still other than those two things this movie is a big bowl of shit the whole thing is yeah. just a, it, it's a it's a chore to get through it and i don't get me wrong because everyone's going to talk about the bounty hunter guy i can't remember his name the one that duke. is hunting huh duke. duke yeah duke yeah duke he's cool duke but duke. again it would have been cooler to see him actually face off against jason in the middle of the movie and not just like people that were pretending to be jason this is what happens when you trip on mushrooms and you or like acid you think you're superhuman like this is what these fucking people all throughout the film were doing. Yeah, dude. Like, and again, I, I, mean, I, I think the cover's dope too. It's just the snake, and the snake is really the the shit eating the heart out of what could have been a cool movie. Uh, like little that little fuckers just on there, like you know, it's like it's fucking stupid. Like, what is this piranha from the toilet? But like, honest to God, the, like you said, the opening's badass. But there's no Jason. It's almost the Halloween three of the Friday Thirteenth universe because there's barely any fucking Jason in it mm-hmm. at all. You have that one cool shot at the end, and you have the opening, and everything else in between is just like there's a fucking power whistle or something they're trying to fucking find, and that just dumb shit. Just I know it's not actually a power it whistle. A, I think it was. A, I think it was a knife. Yeah, the 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 yeah uh, they, the they have a, yeah they were dagger. trying to find a power a whistle that's a rape whistle 
Hey, just, <laughs> just blow this when Jason's near you and the cop will show up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I love I would have liked it this. if it was like, hey, we got to get a power whistle. <laughs> <laughs> It'll help us float above the movie. I wish I could get a fucking power whistle like in uh, uh, in Mario, and then you could just float over this movie yeah, when you, you watch just, the you fucking just, like, franchise. Go to the next level. You get, yeah, you get uh, a whistle to the next level. Yeah, let's bury this fucking piece of shit where it goes right and sucks my butt Steve's cargo bag. He's walking up the street like Rambo carrying a bag of shit. Steve's and you agree with this, right? Is a buffet tonight. <laughs> you go go to your fucking hole. Don't you want to go home? Jason's actually in hell where he belongs as far mm-hmm. as this one goes. Um, close my eyes. Thing in your dad. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, Friday 13th, part uh, two. We're on, a, we're on a Jason streak. Uh, yeah, I... I Part two is weird because it was the first time you actually get introduced to Jason, right? So it's not it's not Pamela Voorhees, which everyone knows right. from Friday the Thirteenth One, and, and the backhead has you know the backhead Jason. I actually I dig it, man. I, I think it was cool. He had the overalls. It actually fits in with the whole idea of this kind of backwards um, family that existed in at Crystal Lake that no one knew were there, and then he's you know in his own twisted mind is is seeking revenge for what he feels like is an unjustified death of his mother um and it works to some degree but man i because of and maybe i'm biased here because but after watching all the other jason movies and and that iconic mask and and everything about jason that i want to see this movie feels like you, you should watch it just so you get more you get the introductory phase it's like getting a new job at work and you got to watch those fucking like you got to do those um cbls those computer based learnings you know what i mean and like yeah. you're, you're happy that you're getting paid things. and you're just sitting there for 4 hours like clicking through next right but you have yeah. to do it and i feel like friday 13 part 2 is kind of like that you have to do it and it's not it's not that bad but it's kind of like that so i put it as fuckable i mean i think it's a fuckable movie i uh i think that honestly like i for me it's not that i mean i just i, I fucking i love backhead jason like i love there's something there's one of the scariest shots i think in the That's franchise Mike's racist and he loves the kkk what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> they're on to me uh when they're in the cabin and like you see that window shot and jason's fucking coming down the mountain rolling down the hill <laughs> he comes fucking running down there that <laughs> shit scares the fuck out of me dude and then at the end where he breaks through and it's like i haven't been forgotten now joe and he's got that eye. that's what it looks like yeah 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 but no i i i think back had jason scary i thought that it upped the quote like the first movie we'll talk about that when we get to it i have different feelings than most on the first film but this movie is where jason was born like you said and it got the kills and stuff got so much fucking better it wasn't that terrible like video game found footage like first person view yeah. of the killer and i really enjoy it so i'll say real awesome and put it to a vote but in the regards of the last vote that I did with my anal beat. Uh, 2009, Friday 13, 2009, they spoke for us because you and I couldn't decide and they said real awesome, but 53% to 47%. So that that shows that we're the right. It was really close. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Happy in the meantime. Where'd it go? Where the fuck? There it is. So this one will go real awesome. I I, I feel like it. I feel like that's fine. I mean, the initial thought was like real awesome, but I mean, there's a special place in my heart and fart for it to put it in all timer, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Indeed. And uh, uh, let's let Freddie's not been touched tonight. And that's, I shouldn't say well, that because go to, Freddy, go to a skinny know, one then go to Freddie's dead. Cause that's already going to go into Steve pile. Thanks to That's an easy one. Yeah. That's an easy one. Other than the fucking Goo Goo dolls doing a great fucking job with their soundtrack, <laughs> with their opening uh, song for the credits. I, this movie is is a fucking joke in every sense of the word. And I know it was on purpose, but this is them embracing the MTV reality of what Freddy Krueger had become at this point and just completely shitting on anything that Wes Craven had ever done with the character or even even attempts by other directors to try to make scary, uh, scary Freddy again. And then they were just like, no, nah, we'll just do the power glove and we'll do the fucking like video game stuff. And don't get me wrong. As a kid, it was it was like watching a fucking cartoon with a little bit more of a, with a with, with an edge to it. But like now, you know, they call that like Saturday morning cartoons in 2023. But back then it was kind of fucking, it was, it was gnarly. But all the, but, and like there was, you know, well, the map says we're fucked. Well, that's what they said to the director because the map said we're fucked. I don't know. Look, the, the poster is cool. I almost bought this poster. I love the poster. It's a good the, poster. The, the music is cool. 
uh, the idea is decent, but then, you know, God damn, the corniness comes out when she's like, you know, love you, dad. And she kisses him at the end and sticks the dynamite on him. And then he's like, kids, it was so fucking like, what the fuck Bill Cosby shit are we doing here? No one was like drugged, but you know, like that corny shit or like full yeah. house. It was like, I don't know, man. I, as I got older, when I was a kid, I enjoyed it because it was stupid. It was for kids. Like, you know, like mm. it was for kids that wanted to have a doll of Freddy Krueger in their bedroom or something. But as you get older, you're like, Jesus Christ, man, they just didn't care at all about the fans that were hardcore up to this point. They were like, we need to flush this shit out. We need to get this turd out of the toilet and uh, let's just flush it down as much as we'll make as much money as we can on it and move on. In so, the spirit of the Goo Goo Dolls, long way down. <laughs> yeah, uh, I totally agree, dude. It's a sucks my butt, Steve, all the way. It's one of my least favorite movies out of all of these fucking franchises. I hate it. I hate it. Like the fucking the stuff with the video game stuff. I know people love that, but to me, I'm like that would have been a cool that would have been a good cool, cool Pizza Hut commercial. Yeah. It would have been a cool Pizza Hut commercial to see Freddy like that, but to have this be the final nightmare and supposedly be the death of Freddy, and really it's the death of, of Freddy as we knew knew him as this cultural icon, because after yeah. this it was New Nightmare and then just the remake. So this really was, in essence, the final time we saw kind of that the version old school of Freddy. One, yeah. So it pisses you off even more when they kill him with this pipe bomb and this stupid fucking scene in this terrible ass dog shit, boring fucking piece of ass movie. I hate Freddy's Dead with all of my hearts and farts. You agree with me, son? my butt steve yeah i know yeah i mean there's no doubt that it's not and again i know that people are gonna be like well you guys missed the point of it i i know i totally get what they were doing i just to me like i feel like it was a slap in the face of people that really wanted a cool ending for a, a character such as freddy krueger like I mean, yeah. if you're gonna send him off send him off in the right way i would have i would have done everything and suck dick on to get Wes Craven back for that one like hey man it's the last time we're ever gonna ask you to come back and touch uh freddy krueger right like tell yeah. you know give the story either get him or the dude that did freddy too he probably read the script and wiped his ass with it like yeah. i love this guy it's he like that it's like, it's like it's like whistler and blades like so it's like a vampire wiped his ass with it <laughs> <laughs> uh in the case of friday the 13th part two you guys 58 to 42 percent have deemed it real awesome wow. over fuckable so that is uh where did that, where did that one fucking go where did it go? Well, Jonathan? I guess Mike's winning everything. I just, I, I won't be doing any more of these streams. At you all. should just quit. Because I fucking hate everybody now. Fuck it. Because you just feel bad for Mike. God. And Jay, does, Jay doesn't even wipe. He's all like, fuck wiping. Yeah, I don't even wipe my butt. Fucking everybody sucks, asshole. And Mike's just like begging for attention and wants to fucking make it all the attention. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you he should, was on that submarine. I wish he was on that submarine. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were as deep as that submarine was inside of me. You know what I mean? That's how Mike's asshole is. That it's that deep, twelve thousand five hundred <laughs> feet down. It can hold sixty-seven thousand million dicks <laughs> in a row. Yeah, in a row. <laughs> oh shit! Dan Murphy said, "Congrats on the solid stools, Mike. Mm. Everything's coming up, Mike, tonight." Jay, is that? Can I have Luma shout out my friend Ice Wallow? Come. I think you say I swallow. That's what his prison name was. Uh, uh, I swallow. Uh, uh, I, I will swallow and and come is what you're trying to say there, Dan. And you're <laughs> disgusting. I mean, don't bring your private activities here on the stream. I don't care <laughs> that you like to swallow and come. It's gross. Dan, get a job. Stop looking at me like that with your stupid thumbnail. <laughs> Uh, dude, I did not realize that until you were like 20 seconds into Loomis, and I was like, I swallow. Oh, no, I, I got swallow what he was saying. Come. Yeah, I got what he, I, I figured it out, and then I was like, yeah. oh, okay. That's well job. done. Uh, I should tell my friend Mike Hunt about that. Um, so when then? <laughs> that reminds me of, uh, that reminds me of, uh, uh, hang on, let me do this for a second because it's cutting Jay's face off. I'll go right back to it in a second. But so, so when then reminds me of uh, Wayne's World. He's like, I'm serious, dude. I'm leaving. I'm not coming back. He's like, so go then. He's like, I'm going. We'll go. <laughs> they, they like, went, I like, I like Wayne's face when he's like, <laughs> when he was finally like, right, fine. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh nice haircut Mike. thank you my friend i needed it cut real bad i'm gonna cut my pubes later and i'll film it if you want to check out our only fans that's why i've been wearing the hat for two days did you get my a haircut shit. fuck no dude oh you've not my shit it. looks like goddamn jack nicholson in the shining right now straight up dude i'll give you the lady that that does mine's card she's really nice no i i got a barber i just haven't been there my shit looks like joe elliott right now though Sure <laughs> yeah mine was fucking bad dude uh galaxy quest sounds like a good idea for a movie review 
Y'all guys have a great night hey, thanks. tonight. Um, have we not done y'all? I thought we did. No, maybe I've never not. Even I never seen well, Galaxy Quest. That's a good movie. It's a great uh, Alan Tim Rickman. Allen. No, Alan. Yeah, Tim Allen's in it, but Alan Rickman oh. is like the voice of the uh, the robot thing. Is it Alan? Uh, right, Alan Rickman. Yeah, Sigourney Weaver is also in it. It's a great fucking movie. No, Alan Rickman's not the voice. I was thinking of uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Alan Rickman does the voice for the robot. Yes, he is Alan in the movie. In the, oh, they're right. actors that some they they're actors. All of them are actors doing a space movie, and then they actually get to space and they have to do all this crazy shit. It's funny, but um, yeah, I mean, we would do it. I mean, for sure, if it's requested on the Patreon, it's usually not something that we would do for the channel overall. But I mean, I have yeah. no problems doing uh, a review for that. I know people love it, but I never found any interest in watching it myself. But it's I'm funny. I mean, shit, even so. if you're not into, if you, even if you're not into space shit, it's still it's pretty it's pretty funny. Uh, thank you, by the way, man. Jack Ryan Boyd says number one, Crimson Tide. No joke. Oh, 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 oh. What are you talking? We could call it Under the Sea. Remember? Oh, said, for the oh, for talking about the submarine. Yeah, yeah. We could. I'm the a, commander uh, of this fucking ship. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? When all the horses are born, they're not black; they're white. <laughs> <laughs> oh no no it was the other way around gene hackman uh that was having that racist uh slightly racist uh argument with denzel washington he's like oh yeah and all those uh, stallions you're like they're not when they're born they're not white they're black <laughs> and he goes and he's smoking his cigar and gene hackman's like i didn't know that <laughs> Dude, that's a great the Crimson that. tides a fucking badass movie holy shit it's also got gal Dafini in it oh my goodness it'd be a good movie to to watch before oppenheimer comes out because it's about nukes mm -hmm. and shit right so um Anyways, Wyatt Attlee, you sexy motherfucker, who I've been with seven to nine times since Wednesday, says, hey, guys, won't be able to stay for the stream. Who are you fucking? Uh, but I wish y'all a great night. Let's get messy. You feel me? See you guys later. Yeah, he's hey, thanks, Wyatt. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Up your hands. Um, emotionally. Emotionally, which means that he's open. You know, something I, 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 I like in people is when they are very wet with their emotions. Mm. Love you, Wyatt. Love you, dude. Trey Tra Tra said Mike got a nice haircut and Jay has his hat on. The world is right again. Quick question. If you could direct your own horror remake, which would you do? Oh, fuck me in the ass. A horror spoon. remake? Well, I think that I think the obvious answer to that is I would love to direct a uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street. I feel like it's been it's been shit on. No. I feel like it's time to have a Nightmare on Elm Street, a really good one. I would actually want I would want to do that. I would hire the best writers, the best actors I could get for that movie, and I would take it seriously. I, and I would tell my own story, much like the director did for uh, Nightmare Two. I, but I, I would, I, but I would keep it to the original idea of what they were going for. But I, and again, I give all the credit to Jackie or Haley. But he was there was something about the way that script was wrote. He was too sympathetic. Like when you were watching it, you don't you, you shouldn't feel bad for a fucking like a pedophile asshole. Like that's what he is. And I feel like they were just there was something about the way he delivered the lines or the lines were wrote. Uh, people would say Friday the Thirteenth, but dude, to me, I feel like I feel like Nightmare on Elm Street has been shit on for a long fucking time, dude. And you haven't had anything significant come out of Nightmare on Elm Street since the seventh one. Like, and and when was that one? The nineties? Yeah, uh, uh, that ninety seven. I yeah. want to say 97. I could be wrong. Maybe it's 2007 for all. I don't know. I'm fucking old. Uh, nice I know. Nice. I think your answer is so good, and it would be mine because you're right. The world fucking needs it. So if you could pick one any, that would have to be the answer. But since you picked it already, I will go the other Wes Craven direction, and I will say that I would do Scream. But I would new nightmare scream and i would rehire all the same actors to remake scream but if it happened at this current age in their life like like they are not high school kids anymore but it's actually these people like in their age like skeet fucking all of them and yeah. nev and all of them like as regular adults and then i would do scream like adult scream i don't know it would probably fucking suck but that's it sounds that's terrible I, don't go with. That. I know you don't want it <laughs> no i'm kidding fuck. no i but you know, i was gonna say i was like yeah i was gonna say but it feels like you're like the world needs freddie krueger the world needs another pedophile not r kelly but just another <laughs> one <laughs> did you hear yeah. about uh, by the way uh, r kelly was like said he was scared for his life because they he he's claiming that the uh, the uh, officers I had the prison that he's at, which he's going to be there for 30 years, botched his uh, uh, blood clots in his leg. I was like, you know, it? nobody gives a fuck. You, you better hope that you can fly out of prison like your song and you're not going to. <laughs> and he's like, but just think about it. If your own family member was here and what would happen? Like, bitch, you fucking, you have child porn, you piece if, of shit. If my family member's out there peeing on little girls, I'm pretty sure I don't give a fuck. Well, he was like, I don't deserve death. I was like, actually, every fucking pedophile does. Yeah, you do. You every do. pedophile fucking deserves death. You're Allegedly. fucking wrong on that one. And I don't think you're going to appeal to the 
to the mor moral uh, moral teg integrity of Americans by saying, oh, I don't think I deserve death. Bitch, fuck you. You got off on kid porn and, and did shit with yeah. kids. Yeah. Once you do that, no one cares. Mm -hmm. Like it's 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 that 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 doing doing stuff to kids is here and here's killing dogs in horror movies and then there's yeah. everything else like you're nobody gives a fuck dude sorry yeah uh, no one i hate that fuck. motherfucker dude i really do um, I, I, it sucks because i like some of his songs and he's a piece of shit gotham shitty i love gotham city uh dude that that dave Chappelle skit was the fucking best he's like i'm going to fart in your food <laughs> yeah. uh shit okay so Back to the list school. Speaking about what we were just talking about, Scream. I don't, I think this is the only Scream Jay and I might not have difference of opinion on tonight. You got you this all time, right? Right? Well, right? Steve's butt's looking real lonely. How to get burned? How to get burned? It's going to go down into the depths of fucking hell where it belongs. So all this Scream talk can suck a dick. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's all time. Well, I mean, I don't think it, there's do, no one that's going to argue do, with that because do. I feel like it did change the, uh, the, the you know, the landscape. Of, of horror movies uh, for in a lot of ways. It was pretty much like the Pearl Jam or Nirvana of horror movies and it deserves its place. And you never see anything like it. And when I watched it for the first time, I was like, yeah, it's really cool. Cause I mean, they're using that meta thing, which had never been done. And you, you get to see all those classic horror movies. So it's like a movie inside of a movie. They do it a great job. I mean, they did a great job. I feel like they, they did cock, they cock tease though. Cause you had Drew Barrymore and people were like, Oh, Drew Barrymore's in this. And then it was like, no, it's not Drew Sniff. I'm like, ah, I get you. It'll get you. Just stop. I'm not saying that stop. Drew Barrymore would have been better than Neff Campbell, but I'm just saying, like, it feels like she's. Look at her. She's front and center on the fucking cover. Yeah, that's how they get you. That's how they threw. They, that's how they changed the game. They said, "Fuck it." I wonder who's is the girl? Is that supposed to be Neff Campbell? Like that's holding her hand over her mouth, or I don't know who that is. No, that's. I think. I think that's. Um, that's that Drew. Drew. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's true. Which is really smart, actually, because they they fucked with your. It's weird, that, play but with you know, minds. I didn't even know it, it was when it came out '96. I didn't know that Drew Barrymore mm -hmm. was that like super popular, but I guess she was because I think a lot of people were like, "Oh, I thought Drew Barrymore was going to be in this," and she was only for like 15 minutes. I don't remember when I watched it. I don't remember going like, "Oh my god, I can't believe they killed Drew Barrymore." Well, not but guys. I was, I guys was, were was like that. But girls, yeah. you know, that wanted to, you know, maybe they they went with their boyfriends or something, and they were like, "Oh, Drew Barrymore, I love fucking Drew Barrymore." Yeah, I was in sixth grade, so I was just like, holy shit, they ripped her insides open. Like, like, is that Neff Campbell from Party of Five? What the <laughs> fuck is going on? But I think that goes to tell you something, too. Like, maybe maybe if you're watching this today and, like, and like this came out today, you'd be like, oh, my God, they did that as shock value. And I, I hear people talking about how shocking it was that they killed Drew Barrymore off, and I support that, and I appreciate it. But, like... I think it's a it's an it's a testament to how good that opening was. That like I didn't know or give a fuck at that time who Drew, no. Drew Barrymore was. I was just I still thought it was the greatest horror opening of all time, just because it was done so fucking well. It was really good. It was so realistic. I, 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 but I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know who Drew Barrymore was. When I thought <laughs> I was like Drew Barrymore. Yeah, well, I was burping, but <laughs> I, 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 I was like, oh, it's a hot blonde girl with big titties, and and she died. And I'm like, that sucks. Okay, what's oh. going on? Oh, look, it's a cool <laughs> ghost mask. <laughs> oh, chocolate. Uh, this one should be fucking easy. If there was a category below hell that you could go to, I would send this <laughs> to the depths. Uh, this is a piece of shit, terrible ass fucking movie. It was obviously uh, designed to reap the benefits of what was a trendy thing back then, which was the body cam footage. And they were, you know, sending kids into haunted houses and doing all that shit. Uh, the fact that you get bitch slapped and made a fool of by goddamn Busta Rhymes. Michael Myers gets made a fool of by Buster Rhymes. I mean, you don't need to. This movie is hot fucking dog shit that someone throws in your face and they said, smell it. And you're like, well, you threw it in my fucking face. It's dog shit on fire on someone's doorstep. I mean, yeah, R. It, like, Kelly could have pissed on this and I wouldn't have minded one bit. This is probably R. Kelly's favorite movie. <laughs> That's how bad it is. Oh, so bad. Yeah, there's just there's no redeeming. You know, where you, you fucking know. It's it's like it's like when you're like a, a real piece of shit your whole life and yeah. you're in line for like and like you know God's there and like he's got the list of everybody's shit and you're waiting to see like there's no surprise you walk up there's like you're going to hell right you know that and you're like yeah 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 I'm I was like yeah there's right. no reason there's no reason to really talk about it huh yeah no. yeah it, we all we all know where I'm where I gotta I'm go pee going. all right take your pee pee uh, but we're doing pretty good you. we're making good time you know we're getting we're moving we're getting we're thrilling. scooting we're scooting right. I'll get I'll to some of these super dicks while you're gone. My favorite. I'm hungry. Um, where were we? 
<laughs> oh shit sinister creations what's up dude says favorite lance henriksen movie fuck you for asking that question because he was in the terminator and like how could you go with anything other than the terminator but he was also in fucking pumpkin head he was in scream three i mean that's not gonna fucking be terminator it sucks to say terminator because like he's just a fucking cop who drinks cold coffee in terminator but fucking shit cock balls i'll say pumpkin head just because he got to star and be the lead in that but fuck, he's good in so many things. And you just questioned all my movie knowledge because I can't fucking think of. I'm sure there's a better one. And now I feel weird about it. Well, that's J2. I bet he says Pumpkinhead. You guys want to bet $4 and an Arby's coupon that he says Pumpkinhead? I bet he does. It's not a knock on Jay. I'm just saying like he's right. Uh, Mr. Clumps, Mike Loomis. I got farts for sale. Want a free sample? I, Mr. Clumps, you look like the dude that I see playing with his weenie outside of the fucking Dollar General. <laughs> <laughs> or the guy from waiting the old dude that ryan reynolds talked to and he's like what's that like you know he's like well i'm slipping gradually into senility but if i'm giving a child the finger nobody cares um but i'll, I'll take a free sample of your fart yeah uh i heard, it's funny when someone says something's free uh, you just your mind is immediately like fucking like if my wife sees a sale of any kind she will buy like 17 fucking uh, noodle jars from nantucket like shit you just would never ever fucking need someone could be like hey i have this grass that's half off and like she would be like i'll have seven of those grasses please because she has no control over herself when there's a sale thank god she has her headphones in right now but yeah uh but i when it comes to free stuff i will fucking do that when we go to conventions like all our shit's free so we just have the pictures that are autographed and we're like if anybody wants to talk to us you can have one for free and people will walk up and be like yeah and we're like do you guys know who they're like nah hopefully you guys do good so i can sell the shit on ebay later though <laughs> and we're like cool man i respect it uh anyway yeah i'd love some of your farts uh michael park what's up dude he says i'm ready to get it on with a whole lot of guys especially you guys this guy he's like he walks in he's like i'm here to chew bubble gum and finger dudes and i'm all out of bubble gum uh, I stole that joke from someone else. I'm not going to say who. One J men. I, there's a lot going on with your fucking picture, dude. You got a ID stuck to your head. But you look like a nice fellow. He says, I know y'all disagree, but H2O is all timer for me. And I, I guarantee there's like four and a half people. One of them left just because they were a small person. And, and Jay said the N word. But by the way, did he get a new chair? That looks like it's from 1990s JC fucking penny. Like this felt fucking chair that's going on down there. What is that? What is that fucking chair, dude? Oh, Jesus Christ. Thing looks like a fucking office chair from the 60s. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry if I frightened you. Um I, I get it, man. It's it's nostalgic for people. I just think as a movie, if I didn't love Halloween so much, it would probably be even lower in regard for me. Because like they didn't even show any of the kills. Like even the worst Halloween movies, like they give you some good kills. H2O didn't show shit. They didn't show you fucking anything. It was all off screen, you know? Uh, but I do love Josh Hartnett. I do love fucking Comb Your Hair. I love LL Cool J. A lot of good stuff in that movie for sure. Melissa Parnell, thank you so much, says, hey guys, this is the first time I'm not. This is my first time to get to join live. Just wanted to say hi and tell you how much I enjoy watching videos. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're here with us on this um, June the 21st uh, in the dark year of our Lord 2023. And I'm glad that you checked it out. I'm sure that by now, at the from the point that you super chatted this to you watching this right now, you probably stopped watching. And you're like Jesus Christ. I've heard all about shit, but gay butt sex and and dudes not wiping. Then I need to have for a fucking eternity and i'm never going to watch this channel again so we will miss you and i hope that you hear this in the stratosphere of whatever better channel you're watching right now but we really do appreciate you watching melissa and thank you so much says hello sexual beings do you guys think who do you guys think would win in some sort of battle royale involving all the horror icons like michael chucky ghostface etc that's a tough one i will throw the fuck out immediately that michael loses and i hate to fucking say that because he's my favorite and you know that freddie's only capable in the dreamlands um jason's in play ghostface is definitely fucking out it's a goddamn teenager in a fucking mask uh chucky's a piece of shit punt him to the fucking moon um pat mcafee would just come in and punt that fucker you know out of the stratosphere he's harmless um if it is it fucking like 
the horror icons. I think Pinhead. Honestly, I think Pinhead would win because he's like from from fucking hell and like he has chains and he's unstoppable. I would go like on a physical battle if we're in a fucking like street alley. It's gonna be Jason. Um, but from a cerebral standpoint, like just living in the world, using everything to their advantage, Jason Bourne style, I'll say Pinhead. Um, there's probably a better answer than that, but I'm fucking stupid and my parents don't love me. Uh, fucking holy shit, man. John Winston is back on the escalator. Dude, I don't know what to say. I never know what to say when you do this. You're so fucking kind to us. This man lives next to goddamn Erica Badu. This man has seen Andre 5000 pull up in his driveway or the driveway next to his. This man is a beautiful fucking soul and really helps this channel and has been a fucking huge help to us over these past couple months dude when you pop in here and do that that's so fucking kind uh god damn john winston you. again again a fuck again you fucking son of a again bitch gunslinger holy shit dude again and no words that man don't need words he just comes in here like a champion and he's like wearing and he's decked out with all the medals and medallions that he's won through his gladiatorial days and he's like it's a total Chad. He's a total Chad. Fucking in a good way. Because I think that usually that's that's no, a negative not. thing. When people I don't think it that. is. I think it just means you're a Chad. And he's like, you don't take no shit. I don't know. Chester Cheetah. Chad. I Don't Don't but, worry. I'm on TikTok. It's what it is. Okay. Okay. Thanks. I'm glad someone's keeping up with the youth. I know what it is. I'm someone's keeping 40, up with the youth. But I have no youth. life. I actually just started an MMO again. So I have no life now. That's fantastic. Are you going to get late? No. Is that, luckily, I'm married. Luckily, I'm married, so I don't have to worry about it. What does MMO stand for? Um, Men massive meet multiplayer online. And orifices. Man meet orifices. Well, my, my shit's a star, I, the old Republic. Star Wars, the old Republic. Oh. I was doing the Star Trek thing, but then I did. Uh, anyway, it's fun. Do me, Yo Yo Master, because you're the Yo Yo Master. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, I think it's awesome though, and I think you're also. Awesome, is it Chad another name for Taint? No. I don't know what you mean, thought, Chad. A, I've never heard like, "Hey, suck my Chad." I've never heard that. Uh. But yeah, we love you, John. Thank you so much, dude. You've you fucking thank you, John. I don't think you understand what this yeah. means. I made scramby X. I like how Iron Baron says, of course Jay comes back as soon as a big super chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was watching yeah. I was I was watching the whole fucking time while I was peeing <laughs> with my wiener in my hand. And then I'm like, I gotta run upstairs real quick and get yeah. back in this bitch because John just came in. You <laughs> should fucking leave and like demand that someone super chat until you come back. Like, I won't fucking come back until yeah. there's at least uh no that we trust me I, I do just want to say john that you come in here and do this dude we understand how fucking outrageously lucky we are uh yeah, it's to, really, to have it's you really do badass, that. Man. it's fucking no words thank no you words. that's Jake, a lot of so, money man we really appreciate it what's your favorite lance Henriksen movie before i relieve myself of oh, my it, uh, oh. it, 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 well i mean it would be um aliens is tied it's gonna be pumpkin head fucking Everybody owes me ten dollars except for John Winston. I said that you would say that because I said that too. That was my pick. What they say? No, they didn't say anything. I just made that bet for fun with myself because I'm a gambling addict. Paul, you're you're like Michael Jordan. <clears throat> yeah. You're gonna be a and you're a terrible golfer and you want to pretend that you know how to play baseball, so but definitely fun. not successful at all um, yeah. in life or otherwise. All right, uh, I'm at eight twenty five. The next one's crooked penis. Good old crooked penis. Hey, I love the what name. What time is it? 8 25 p.m eastern Damn, time we're fucking behind yeah yeah and yeah but, they're, but we're trying to get through these movies guys it's not like we're trying to ignore you at all but no and there's it's so, so many fucking movies just so you know um you know we hang betwixt but we will get back to the list i promise but uh you kind fucks and your interesting words make the stream uh, what it is so you said it was crooked dicks crooked, crooked penis. penis i got you okay Crooked penis. Uh, it's All like right. looking into a mirror, honestly. Okay. All right. All right. Crooked penis says, Jay, take that damn thing off. I'm also balding. Well, it happens to the best of us. Uh, yes, I do have. I'm definitely getting the um, <clears throat> the the Count Dracula. I've got the Count Dracula receding hairline. My shit's moving back like a moonroof. But um, also, when we uh, also when we get in a room tour, and Mike, would you ever consider doing vlogs? Get it up. Love you guys. Uh, 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 well, right now. Yeah, I mean, I, I I thought about doing a room tour before, but I don't know, man. Like, my room's not like super. I mean, there's some cool shit in there, but I I don't know. 
maybe at some point, maybe I'll do it. But right where I'm at right now, there's nothing up here really except for these posters and, and things like that. But yeah, maybe I'll do one uh, at some point. And, and vlogs, that's, I don't know, Mike, well, he'll have to answer that. It sounds like trash to me though. But yeah, thank you, man. Uh, Jason Carpenter, thank you so much. Says, uh, cursed ends are better than weak lame H2O. Uh, I, I agree with you, my son. I agree with you. you you've, you've stepped in here and you've said things that may be controversial, but you don't care. And I agree with you. Thank you, Jason. Uh, Benny G says, this is my fave kind of tier. Welcome to the Thunderdome, bitch. You know what we talk in here, Benny. Hey, real quick, y'all's top five rock bands, Linkin Park, Foo, Shinedown, Zep, and 3DD. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that means. What's a three-day, three-day? Who the fuck is that? 3DD sounds like something in a movie theater that I couldn't afford. Uh, I, my, I don't have... That's hard for me. Mike could answer that question better than me. I, I really don't have like favorite bands necessarily. I, I, I love Def Leppard, uh, Linkin Park. Um, they are great. Um, I like Disturbed a lot and um, Savage Garden. <laughs> I know he's like, why the fuck? And to be honest, I like One Republic. I I, I, I like those. Are, okay, well, not in any order. Those are the five that I can think of that I actually enjoy their music quite often. Um, so, but yeah, I'll, I'll tell Mike. I'll let Mike uh, answer that for you. Benny G. Um, Moving on down through here. Uh, Crash Blue, thank you so much, sir, says, Yo, Mike and Jay, sending my love from the UK. Currently past 1 a.m. for me. Damn, man. But I'm staying up to smoke a Jay and spend some time with you. Question for you both. What's a spicy horror movie hot take you have? What's a spicy horror movie hot take you have? I don't know what that means, man. I got Maybe I got to be smoking that Jay. I got to be smoking that blunt. A spicy horror hot take. Like, are you saying, like, what... Like that just seems so. I don't. I don't know how to answer that. God, do you see this shit? Oh my god, dude! What the fuck? I got this Elvis thing coming through here. Oh my god, I gotta get a haircut so fucking bad. Holy shit, <laughs> that's so fucking ugly. Anyway, um, I'll uh, I'll get back to you, Crash, because I don't know how to answer that one. But thank you for joining us from the UK, man. Um. Angelo, the Cisco kid, says, yo, Mike and J-Dog, if you guys had to give Ghostface, Stu, or Billy abilities to take on Freddie, Michael, and Jason, what ability abilities does he need um, to take on uh, at the same time or just like one-on-one? On, one on one? I mean, I, I would say for me, I would give Stu, um, I don't know, like fucking super speed. I think that he could work with that shit because he can stab really fast and move away and then go back into the shadows. And then come out and like and attack again. I don't know. These are great questions, by the way. I I, I just I mean that's the best I can think of is a super speed. I think super speed would work very well for Billy or Stu. Um, and I, and and preferably it would be Billy, uh, or I mean Stu. Is it? Yeah, Stu. Yeah, Stu. Uh, Will Arwine. Uh, they say Kevin Nash was stabbed with a real knife in The Punisher. I mean, I didn't know that. But that's a tough motherfucker if that's true. I like Kevin Nash a lot, dude. I think Kevin Nash is a, a, a like a real guy, like a real, like a real guy. Like he's like a he's real. Like I, I've seen his interviews and stuff, and he, and he's got a podcast. Um, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but he seems like a really genuine kind of guy. And you know, it sucks what happened to with his son, and he and he and he seems like a really really awesome dude. But I didn't know that. That's cool, man. That he like he did that and he didn't sue. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Fambro says last year during Halloween, my nephew. Uh, dressed up as dressed up as Michael Myers and go and goes walking around the neighborhood and I would channel my inner Doctor Loomis the goddamn you Michael yeah it, it, it's it's weird how that happens isn't it like little kids walk around dressed up as like characters in a, from a film franchise that you would expect that most only adults would know about or enjoy and little kids I mean I guess it just shows you the power of uh, how these things tra transform over the years and like. Yeah, man. Like, look at Freddy Krueger. I think Freddy Krueger was the, the the biggest transformative type of horror villain ever. I mean, he became pretty much a superhero for a lot of kids, which is crazy. It's weird, but yeah, uh, I get you, man. I get you. That's weird. Um, Andrew Keith says, "Did you know that Ray Mysterio played as Robert England's stunt double in Freddy vs. Jason?" I did not know that, but that makes sense. He's a little short shit, and he can move around and do a lot of crazy ass things. And Freddy Krueger was very kung fuish 
in Freddy versus Jason. So that does make a lot of sense. And then Rey Mysterio, by the way, what a great wrestler. What an awesome dude. But, you know, you're talking about when he was in the WCW with the Cruiserweight, and, and along with Chris Jericho, Ultimo Dragon, uh, Psychosis. He, he, you know, he didn't like get mad about the whole industry, not really paying attention to him, even though he was an amazing wrestler, an amazing, um, he could do great promos. Uh, he just bided his time. And then when he got into WWE, he rose to the to the occasion, and I love that about him. But but yeah, a hundred percent, man. Uh, that's cool. Um, and then we've got uh, Frankenstein Studio. Thank you so much, sir. Says, hey, Gates. Hey, all right. Uh, if there was nobody swapping worm in Jason Goes to Hell, and he was just Jason throughout the movie, someone said, how much? Yeah, there was. Yeah, Frankenstein says, "Hey, gays." Uh, uh, he sounds like the bully that just got done like throwing the football in front of the cheerleaders that he's gonna fuck <laughs> at the high school, and we're like the fat nerds in the in the locker room. He's like, "Hey, gays, what's up? You still here?" I'm like, yeah. And then he was like, uh, "But he asks uh, if there was no body swapping worm in Jason Goes to Hell, and he was just Jason throughout the movie. How much higher would it rank for you? I think it would be a lot higher. I think it would. It wouldn't be all timer, but I think it would at least be fuckable, and it would be." touching the tip of all timer if they did a little bit better with the scripting i again it wasn't the fact that uh, the actors were necessarily bad it was just a except for a few but the, the the script was bad you didn't see jason you got you, you they were trying to do something really fancy with it and, it and it backfired but if jason had just been in it and you'd had those standoffs with him and the duke and things like that i think it would have been a lot better more of a action uh, action oriented type of movie much like um jason x and I like Jason X for what it was. I think that Jason X is exactly what uh, Jason Goes to Hell should have been. By the way, uh, I don't remember who asked it. It was earlier on in the conversations. Um, but what's your top five favorite um, bands? Men? Yeah, or men. Like to but sleep men. with? Oh, top five favorite bands? Oh, that's a fun question. I like that. That's enjoyable. Number one, Blink-182. Shocking. Um, number two, um, probably be Biggie Green Day. I would probably say uh number three um oh man i know i'm gonna fucking miss something that's near and dear to me and i'm gonna fuck it up oh dude i shouldn't say this i shouldn't I say this i didn't rank mine i just put them in whatever oh, okay i look pre pre the news that came out everything that came out that happened brand new i used to fucking love brand new he turned out to be uh to do some terrible things so i can't really say that but I, I'll, I'll say that band wise before all that stuff came out brand new um I've, I've always been a huge see their breaking benjamin guy i love both those bands i went through my fucking like new metal not that they're new metal but my like that kind of phase and i'll throw out fucking um uh I've, it's not i'll, I'll say I'll, I'll just say eminem to throw some rap in there too you know i know it's not a band but i do love me some eminem so yeah he has a ghostwriter yeah. i'm sure yeah. uh but <laughs> Uh, but no, well, um, and there was another uh, someone asked if you would ever do a vlog, and I was like, that sounds so uninteresting, and nobody cares. But I mean, they want to know. It would be, it would, it would just, it would, be, it would be a, a footage of just me working on the channel and hanging out with my kids. Well, you should do Twitter. <laughs> you just put it on a Twitter video or Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, uh, and then there, I think there was another one. Uh, oh, someone asked, and I, I didn't know how to answer. They were like, "What's your?" They were like, they're smoking weed, so they might not really be understanding what they're asking because I don't know what they meant. They were like, what's a hot, spicy horror movie take? I don't know how to answer that. Fuck, what the fuck they mean? Oh, yeah, like a, like a, like a, like a, 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 like a, like a hot take, you know, like a hot take, like when, when someone's like, I think, oh, that okay, I was confused when he said the hot, spicy part. I don't, maybe I was like, what do you mean? Like, I don't yeah, know what that no, means. I would say, uh, mine would be that, um, Scream is the greatest horror movie of all time. Yeah, that's a hot one. That's that, a hot, that, that spice that's a, that's a hot fart butts. in the elevator that no one expected. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, for both of uh, us, I, I think it would be that Halloween 6 kicks fucking ass. Well, yeah. Well, mean, that, well, is that a hot... T well, maybe it is. I guess... Yeah, most people think it sucks. What? Most people think Halloween 6 sucks dick dongs. What the fuck is going on with America today? Yeah. Um. All right. Well, I don't... I don't. Maybe I don't have a hot take. You got a hot I, take? I didn't though. think that was a hot take. I thought that was a normal... Regular take. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. All right. Well, That's, all right. Uh, so now answer, we're at ten. So yeah, we're at ten. We're at eight forty-four now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, and and to answer your question, Frankenstein Studio, I I do think. Yeah. Yeah. I think Jason Goes to Hell could have been really good if they just subverted that whole fucking story and just went with a brand new story entirely, and it was just Jason versus Creighton Duke. That'd mm -hmm. be fucking sick. I think it would have been a great movie. Hey actually. man, did you see how my hair came out? <laughs> Oh, it's you got so a little long, dude. It's literally doing this shit. I got. Yeah. Dude, I was have no idea if I took this hat off. You'd be like, God damn, 
Of course, someone did say, he's like, J don't worry, Jay, I'm balding, too. I'm like, yeah, my shit's moving back like a moonroof. But unfortunately, the front thing. part, like the, uh, the, 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 well, look, this part right here, where I've got the uh, the widow's peak, this part is still it's still growing, and you get shit like this. But everyone yeah. and everything else is, like, hanging back. Like this, okay, this part is, like, it got to the front of the concert, and it's, like, <laughs> off the gate. And everyone else back here, your friends, are, like, oh, we couldn't get to the front, man. We're, like, hanging in the bleachers. So it's all like this, and it's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel you, dude. Like I said, I got, I got. I, uh, Jay's in the front. I'm in the back. So we're covered. We're just gonna morph. When we die, our souls are gonna morph together. I don't give a fuck, man. But fuck. I, and then I, we're gonna. I just wish I was as handsome as Bruce Willis and get the Bruce Willis haircut. But that's yeah, like dude. it's just you can't do it. I mean, you got to look like Bruce Willis to have it work. Yeah, I was trying to think of like what haircut to get when I went today, and I was like, part of me, I was so fucking sick of like it thinning in the back there, and I'm I need to do like the hymns or some shit. But know, I was like, like Cody's like, fucking shave it. Cody Cody shave it like, off. No, that's what Cody told me. He's like, dude, he goes, you have the same hairline. Just go ahead and shave it. I'm like, no, I think man. you look good with a shaved head. No, dude, you should I don't. at least try I, it. It looks like a time. fucking no, dude. It's peeled potato. It looks like shit. I just wear a hat all the time. It. Even though I will say at the same at the same time, having a buzzed head is actually pretty cool because you don't have to worry about styling it. You just put a hat mm -hmm. on, you go. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think I think you look good. But one day we'll get there. We'll we'll sign. We'll shave our heads together. I can't do Rogaine. I, I was like, what are, you know, it's like Rogaine or something like that. I was like, dude, I don't want to do that because I don't know how long that shit takes, and that's expensive. Like the hair it is expensive. It's expensive as fuck. It takes like six fucking months to work. Anyway, we're getting fucking. We should yeah, get. I was like, we should get. We're like doing woe is me shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I watch every kids. infomercials about hair loss, and I can't figure out what works for me. I'm just hoping all the cum that I take on a regular basis will revive me uh eventually all from all the young um, men's come give you some of those hair follicles whoa now that's not what i fucking said <laughs> like young men we're i'm almost 40 years old when i say young men i meant anybody over the age of 18 if i if you're 24 <laughs> you're a young man <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck uh this is a tough one dude this is gonna rile some some dicks some feathers some butts, oh, man. some, that, some that, that, mythical uh, clitorises I, I, listen man listen when i saw this movie this movie this movie it's fucking dope, man. This movie is great, and, and like, there's there's so many scenes that are so iconic to Michael Myers. Like, uh, one of the coolest scenes that gives you fucking chill bumps, dude, is when he slams down the trunk and he has that mask on and the way the camera. It's an all timer. All right, it's an all timer. Oh shit! It is. I did not expect that to come from your fucking dick hole. It came out, and it came out, and I'm, I'm happy about it. It was a good release. I felt good about it, and it has <laughs> it has nothing to do with um. You know, obviously, Chris Nelson, uh, we're friends with him and things. And he worked on the mask and he worked on the film as well. We also interviewed um, Andy, but uh, it's not it has nothing to do with that, dude. There was something really special about this movie. Again, um, it saved Halloween in a way because Rob Zombie completely ran a fucking train through Halloween and said, I hope everyone got what they wanted out of this after I fucked the shit out of it and I ruined it. And then they came back with Halloween 2018. And to be honest, man, they really brought it back. Uh, I feel like Halloween 2018 is what they were wanting to do with H2O, and they never got around to doing it. Or and they would they would rather just copy Scream. I fucking I do love this movie. You know, I, I love this movie with all my hearts and farts. It's, it's a special place in our heart too, because when this movie came out, like Jay and I had been talking about Halloween into the ether, and nobody was it's listening. 2013, uh, 2018, and well, since yeah, since yeah, since yeah. But like when this movie came out, a bunch of a bunch of you guys found us through this movie. So uh, you know what I mean. It's a, it's a really special. It's it's holds a special place in our heart. That being said, I think I'm I I I'm definitely. I think it's fucking shit. You know I can what? put it in real awesome. Listen, maybe I was jumping I, the gun a little bit. Maybe I was like really excited that I, like you know like a guy that never seen boobies before. You're like, oh my god, I'm gonna have sex, <laughs> and you just like you're like you're you're telling her that you're gonna marry her and stuff, and you don't really you don't really believe that. You just are really excited about what's happening because your dick is inside of her. So <laughs> I would say uh, I would be fine with I'm real a, awesome. Maybe I I calm down. It's like after you had the sex and it only lasted you know 20 seconds and you're outside you're smoking your cigarette you're like i mean it was good but jesus i said i loved her and i was going to propose to her and now she's really thinking i'm going to do that and that's not it's true a great papa roach song i yeah. almost but, told so you I, that i'm fine with real awesome. all right don't get me wrong i don't want to be like butthurt and like oh my no. god jay's gonna put this as all timer honestly but I, yeah but no i was coming out of the gate with real awesome but like the more and more we talk about it and i think about it i'm thinking all timer so I, i'll just put it to i'll let them decide for both of us because yeah, once again it's, we love it so much that we're probably biased so i will put it to a vote you guys tell us is halloween 2018 an all-timer or real not to mention awesome? the fact that the soundtrack was great john carpenter fucking nailed it with his grandson yeah. that, that like dude when he's walking down the street and that mute yeah. oh my god so dude, fucking, fucking amazing and, and i love every actor and actress in that fucking movie I thought everybody did a great job. It, dude. 
Nailed yeah, a, an amazing return for Michael. Like, yeah, it just it's fucking amazing. I think Halloween 2018 is what a lot of people wanted. Weirdly, is what a lot of people wanted Halloween ends to be. You know what I, I mean? I feel like what happened. Like, well, I feel like Halloween 2018 set the set the tone. Halloween Kills yeah. kind of picked it up, and then when Halloween Ends came out, it was too controversial. There was too much mm-hmm. because if you're gonna start the if you're gonna start the trilogy that way, you shouldn't end it the way that they did. But anyway, yeah, we'll get there. Fucking- amazing movie and we both love it so much <laughs> i don't love this movie i like man, it I, I don't know man shit dude it's fuckable to me dude i'll it's be fu- honest hey, i feel like it's fuckable I, I'm, yeah, not, I'm, I, not, I'm down with fuckable because there are like listen at, when this movie came out they were at the end of their ropes on on, on freddie and jason they really didn't know what to do with them having them face off yes it's corny yes it's cheesy it's badly acted. Uh, <laughs> Freddie died by fire. Jason by water. How can we use that? It's like it's all. <laughs> but nobody is giving. What a should fuck. I do with these big? T- yeah, no. Oh god, she was hot <laughs> as fuck though. Holy shit, she was sexy as shit. But nobody was really them, caring mouth, about know the dialogue do. between the actors as far as like the characters that weren't Freddie and Jason. They only wanted to see Jason and Freddie fight, and for that alone, the the coolness factor of that rates it at a fuckable level. I mean, it, it was just fucking cool, man. It was badass. Like you never in a million years back in those days ever thought you'd see something like this and you get to see it. It was cool, right. man. Throwing back real quick because Benny did Benny said I, I I caught this in the chat. He said when I super chatted top five rock bands, I said mine were Lincoln Park, Foo Fighters, Shine Down, Zeppelin, and Three Days Grace. Thoughts. I think that's a great fucking list. Yeah, I, I didn't know he said three days, he said three DD, and I didn't know what the fuck that meant. Oh, I thought okay. it was three days grace, but I, I it was I yeah. It, yeah, so B- Benny, I saw the original lineup when that first album came out. That's when I was going and seeing a lot of those bands, and I saw them three or four times in tiny little clubs. And they were so fucking good. Those cup, those first couple albums, love Three Days Grace. Never been a Shine Down fan because I feel like they're always too on the nose. Like to me, their lyrics are really good, but also sort of cheesy in a little bit. But talent wise, they're fucking amazing. Well, you but know I can't what? Disagree it's with your list. never too late. <laughs> I, 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 but Foo Fighters, by the way, if if you said, I, I thought after I said Eminem, I was like, I probably should have maybe thrown Foo Fighters in there because I, I do listen to them a lot. But yeah, it's a great list, dude. I love it. Um, I'm, I'm, at, yeah, I'm at fuckable with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm in fuckable territory, and I think I know some people love this movie. Like the the concept it was great. They had such a hard time making this. There's a whole book about it, yeah. uh, about all the different failed scripts for it. I just think that it. I don't think Freddy vs. Jason was as good as it should have fucking been. Like that idea could have been so much fucking better, and it had its moments. It had its fun moments, but they spent so much time on these teens that you don't give a flying fuck about. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it made us wait till the end for the action, and that stuff was great. But yeah, it's just it, to me, By the it's. Way, it's uh, a, Fun the little... the movie with demonic jace or demonic freddy that was the coolest version i've ever seen freddy look like with the he fucking elf fucking... ears and shit and he was red i thought yeah. other than I, I think the best look of freddy was uh freddy too but me too other than that dude that was like that was a fucking taker right there totally the, agree the, the way they made him look yeah i totally agree with you dude uh this one should be pretty fucking <laughs> actually <this> is... <laughs> get down on that ass steve get down there and eat that butthole <laughs> get down and eat that butthole you know, listen, I'll tell you what, I, I, I've tried to like this movie several times. I remember we actually uh, watched it recently for, I, I don't know if we did a Patreon review for it or something. It wasn't too long ago. This movie fucking sucks, dude. This movie is terrible garbage. Uh, the, the whole thing with the kid and like, I'm, I'm Freddy now or whatever. I, I just want to smack that fucking kid back to an orphanage. <laughs> I hate that fucking kid. And I, I don't like him at all. I feel like it, it, it takes away from the fucking plot. The plot is just all over the place. And to be honest, the, the director or the writer of this film was she was actually in the middle of a pregnancy or something. And, and then she wrote it and was used that as inspiration. Take your womanly shit out of my movie. All right. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, but it, but it was very weird. I and respect like, women so much. I completely stay away from them. It was a joke. But if you guys are going to get offended by it, suck my ass. But uh, at the end of the day, I, I feel Steve. like it was a very, very much. It was very obvious that it was. uh it, I, it was a it was a i'm not gonna say pandering movie it was just i don't know what the fuck is going on <laughs> like i that's what i feel like if i was walking in and i was reading the script i'm like what the fuck are you doing i, I mean again I, granted there's a couple of moments in it that are cool but overall i don't care about that fucking kid i don't care about the the you know he basically raped a girl uh or something and then there's that whole fucking thing going on i don't know his I, mom got raped a lot i think that it was a lot, a lot. Was this the movie there was one cool i think there was a really badass i don't know if it was this one i think it was this one 
where the guy gets turned into like half cyborg, half motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, that's this one. That was the only cool part. I was like, that's Eli fucking, that was very creative. That was very awesome. But other well, than that, I don't give a shit. And because only because of that kill and because of I think the stuff with Amanda Kruger was on the right idea, like the the origin story of her. They having, did that in the uh, third her, one, though. Right, right, right. But like the way that they tied that up and did that thing. And then also um, there were some really great kills in the movie, too. Like when um, not not just the motorcycle kill, but also the um, the the fucking pizza kill with like the pizzas and oh, shit. And, yeah, and the sure girl that? when she's stuffing her when he's stuffing her mouth. When it went at the dinner, that was the fourth one. Oh, no, 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 yeah, you're right. The fifth one, yeah, yeah, the fifth one's the dinner table scene. So, there were so many amazing fucking kills in the movie. Like, for me, it's almost sucks my butt, Steve, but it's like cliffhanger hanging off that one dangly line, like holding on to to fuckable. So, I will put it to a vote, but it's super close. I like the tagline Freddie delivers a fresh cut of ass for you, dude. <laughs> in the oh dude this is fucking crazy by the way right now halloween 2018 in the case of is it an all-timer or is it real awesome it is 50 to fucking 50 tied i'm gonna Ooh, watch the vote the crazy. first the first change i'm going with the first change was real awesome 51 to 49 percent so it barely fucking Man, it all almost crested holy shit it almost came and then it just pre-came and then everyone was disappointed but it was Damn over man, that's crazy. Because you got to go home. Um, where to go? That it's was probably a really the, good. Vote. It was probably the actress that didn't get the role that Andy got. <laughs> came in and downloaded it. <laughs> so Halloween is, but I'm gonna I'll, I'll move screen. I, back. Yeah, but I, I really feel like real. I feel like Halloween it should be the. First I, I feel like there should be an asterisk next to it. But anyway, <laughs> I mean, that's, you guys voted. You guys decided. Uh, we're gonna let you guys have the final word on it. But holy shit, man! That's that, that's why I'm moving it to the first place. That's kind yeah. of its asterisk. Like it deserves that first spot because it's so close to all time. So good. Um, but I will put that other one to a vote because I'm struggling myself with it. Let me go in here real quick. Let's While I'm good, doing let's that, get an easy one that we don't have to worry about. Uh, Let's get like like get Halloween five up there. Halloween five. Uh, yeah. All right, you talk about that while I put this vote in. Where right. you think? Where the fuck did it go? Right where there. the fuck? Right Scythe? There. Yeah. Okay. What do okay. you think? Okay. Old farmer man's Ted uh, Michael Myers here. Obviously, it had a lot of issues. I mean, there was a, a a big swath of the plot that was cut out that they didn't get to show. The whole thing with the uh, with the voodoo doctor or whatever the fuck they called the witch doctor that you didn't even get to understand or or that that got implemented into the film. Uh, the fact that uh, Michael Myers, because again, the, the movie that you're presented with is that Michael Myers gets shot up the fucking hell in Halloween Four, and he drops down into a well, and then he crawls to safety through the, the river. And then he gets picked up by this good Samaritan. But somehow this good Samaritan was like, hey, man, I noticed that your goddamn mask was all ripped up. So I went to the store down there at CVS and I got you a new one. And I got you this new mask. If somehow Michael Myers got fucking blown up so bad, his mask changed. Like, that's how badly he got <laughs> shot up. He got shot up so bad that his fucking mask changed. It's untucked. It doesn't look like Michael Myers at all. This looks like a fucking, I don't know. This looks like. I, I, like a, a wannabe superhero in the Watchmen universe or something like I, I like he looks terrible. I, it looks awful. Uh, the movie itself, the plot line is annoying. It's boring. It drags. The characters are unlikable. Um, Daniel Harris is fine in it. Uh, her sister's awful. Her the sister's best friend is awful. I hate this fucking movie, dude. This movie is fucking dog shit. Then you take Michael's mask off. He's got a ponytail. He looks like Steven Seagal. He fucking cries in the attic like a pussy and you're like what the fuck are you doing and then <laughs> loomis i actually i did you know it took me a few years but i get what loomis was doing like he lured jamie there even though it's not really against his characters loomis was crazy at this point right so he used he used jamie as a way to lure michael and then i like that scene like he beats the shit out of him with a fucking chain like he owed him money and then the, the big thing comes you know the the chain net and then the die die and then, and then you hear the loomis go oh and that was fights. so good though yeah but then you get the ending where he's sitting there in the fucking police station and then fucking kano blows open the doors and like runs in there <laughs> and then he's shooting like shit like he looks like kano. it looks like a, it looks like a scene out of dick tracy and like you get the red smoke and he's shooting shit and then michael gets out you go no you hear jamie <laughs> do that i'm like you fuckers like dude th this movie is just it like it's bad i i don't i don't know why they were so i this it looks like at the end of halloween 4 they really didn't know what to do they were like all right we have two different options on how to do this or handle this with the psychic connection with jamie 
all right, well, let's do this. And it, then they kind of wrote a half ass story. This is a, for me, ultimately, it's a sucks my butt, Steve. It just does not belong in the same breath as the other Halloween films. It just doesn't. I, I am, I, 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 I swear to God, I'm not trying to argue with everything that you say. I feel like, I, I feel like I'm fucking like, really every, bad every right time now. you say so. No, I'm really not. I'm not. I'm not. I fucking, I think Tina is the most loathsome character, t- character in the entire Halloween franchise. A, uh, the fact that they focused on her and her annoying ass so much in that movie. A, she, she, the dog's outside and she's like, I'll be right back with some water, Max. Tee hee hee. Yeah. Never fucking gives the dog water. Leaves him chained up on a two fucking thing. I, I hated her. And then not only that, she comes back and Jamie, this little girl who's fucking mute and, and and has seen all this death and all these horrible things around her is begging her she doesn't speak and the first word she says is tina and then tina's like i know but i gotta go because i got a date with a guy like fuck the worst character of all time yeah. michael's mask was terrible nicholas cage darkness terribleness uh all that stuff's true that being said, this is, we got in the midst of this, we got some fucking Prime Loomis, like some crazy fucking cuckoo Loomis. I think like, Prime, is, right at- the Prime is four. Prime was four, but this was, this was a taste that it was still there. Like he was, it was still Donald Pleasance on, on fucking, you know, going the nuts. Woman, tell me. Yeah. Yeah, you had cookie woman, co- cookie woman. Uh, you had who's cookie? Like, he's like, she's like, he's like, who's cookie woman? Who's <laughs> and then looking has- around. As we both thought, I mean, this is the, the one of the best endings in the franchise when when Loomis beats him to death with that two by four and then basically has a heart attack on top of him. So for those reasons, oh yeah, he didn't be able to and that. yeah, Roger Pedactor being a cop in the house uh, and, and and some good stuff in Halloween five and it still had some of that Halloween four atmosphere. So for me, it's fuckable, but I will put it to a vote. But in the case of the last vote that we talked about, it was Freddie five and Jay. You fucking got this one my good man from fuckable to sucks my butt steve 70 percent of the audience says sucks my butt steve freddy five get your ass in the hole or, so nasty wait <sighs> you know what i go mean. have your baby somewhere else you son of a bitch no one's interested <laughs> freddy get your ass in the dungeon where you belong um, you and your mom and, and all those psychopaths actually that was that was dark i shouldn't have said that because we all know what happened with his mom and the psychopaths fuck five thousand inmates fuck five thousand <laughs> inmates <laughs> Uh, I don't the, think that was a t- no. That was the unedited version. That was the unedited that was, version. That sounded like the um. Uh, well, what was no, the chant they, in they Halloween? Say, did they say rape by or they said well, she was she was she was raped by a thousand over inmates, and over but, again? Yeah. But what was the thing? And that's what created Freddy, which is a pretty gnarly fucking origin story. But what was the uh, what was the thing in Halloween? Uh, it's not JB is an orphan. And it's not it. It was uh, the boogeyman's gonna Jamie's get. He's gonna no, get they, you. No, they, I, think they, I thought they did chant Jamie's an orphan. Maybe they fucking did. I, I'm just having a brain fart right now. Anyways, I'm doing it's such a stupid thing time. that they would think like, oh my God, that's the best insult. Jamie's ever. an orphan. Like, yeah, well, your parents don't fucking love you at all. And you're actually, you know what happened? You know what you're a product of? Your fucking dad fucked your aunt. And that you're actually her son. Yeah, you're you're basically Elon Musk. His kids. Um S M B Steve. Okay, so that one's up. We got that one handled. How about old click clack taking a bath? Jason X. Jason. I'm in. I'm in. I'm, I put it at. Uh, yeah, dude, this is a fuckable movie to me. Yeah, like the beginning of the movie, the fact that the cry, like the cryogenic thing, was stupid. But dude, the, this is the movie when I watched it, and I, I thought it was gonna be a complete joke, and it looks like a joke, right? Like Jason in space. But there's yeah. something about this movie that's so charming. And so, like, disarming when you watch it. it and it was better than uh, Jason Goes to Hell. This is an actual good Jason story. It really is. It's stupid. Don't get me wrong. And when all else fails and you know the franchise is dying, you send them to the fucking space. And they do that. But, dude, uh, he looks fucking badass and great in, in this movie. Kane Hodder killed it. He looks amazing. It's got some great death scenes when he cryogenically freezes that bitch's face and smashes it. The, the fucking joke where they like pull up the VR and he gets to go into the, you know, the 1970s camp and he's like, you know, hitting the the the, the, the sleeping bag against the tree while he's trying to kill the campers. And, yeah. and then even when he gets like this um, cybernetic Terminator look on, on you know, the, the new Jason look, I liked it, dude. I, I swear to God, it's not it's an easy watch for me. Uh, I feel like it's an easy watch. It's it's meant to be kind of like a cheesy ass B movie horror, and it works really fucking well, dude. Like uh, even the girl, the android girl that takes them on, it all just works, man. It it, it just works. I I I'm at fuckable with it. 
I'm 100% in fuckable territory. Uh, you know, I like to think that way about my looks in general, but also on this movie. Um, I think that, I think this is not, I'm not a huge fan of it, like personally. Like, it's not a movie I go back and watch for fun, but I do recognize that it's a wackadoo fucking idea. It's crazy that we put Jason in space and it actually semi works and it's got amazing kills, like the ones you were talking about in it as well, and some fun ideas. So I think it belongs tucked in so sweetly and so softly right there next to Freddy vs. Jason in fuckable territory, 100%. Mm -hmm. um, I believe so. I think. Uh, this one's fucking easy. This is an all timer. There's no question. Why are we talking about it? There's no reason to even go into depth about there's, this. There's movie. no. Let's get just it out scoot. of here. Let's I don't want to talk about it. All right. Get this up. Like the... this is like talking about a champion that's already given their lives. They they yeah. uh, in remembrance. Obviously, is Kobe this... Bryant good at basketball? You I mentioned don't know. the name Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street, Wes Craven, the first one. Uh, a golden light comes down from the heavens and it illuminates you. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. how you don't need to talk about it. It's done, son. Can't be undone. This one we may have different opinion about. I don't know. For me, it's real awesome. It's just me, real dude, awesome. I, I like I I'm borderline uh sucks my butt, Steve, and fuckable, but I, I put it in <laughs> I put it in the fuckable category. I feel like uh you know, one of the main I would have much rather Jenna Ortega been the main character in this film. She was a lot more likable, a lot more watchable than the main girl. I hate their fucking friends, I hate the whole fucking pussy ass big jock dude that runs out and then he there's a lot of things the, then the fucking guy throws the gun that's loaded at her like what the fuck there's plot holes galore it, like the ending of the movie for me screams i don't know what to do so i'm gonna copy scream too and do the whole fucking family thing again because i don't know what to fucking do i liked it to a point but then i was like all right you guys are literally just copying pasting a lot of plot lines that you did from scream too the idea that it was in New York City that they were doing a different type of like setting for it was interesting, but I feel like the cult of Scream was there was so much more they could have done. There was so much more they could have played with, and they chose to do this very basic thing, in my opinion. But I'll put it at fuckable because I don't think it was. I, I don't think it's Scream Three bad, and I don't think it's Scream Four bad. I think it's decent enough. But again, I feel bad because Jenna Ortega should have been the main lead in this. And by the way, have the fucking balls to kill off another character. Kill off Courtney Cox, you fucking pussies. What the fuck are you scared of? Kill her off. If you're not going to kill off Neff Campbell because you're afraid that you can't get returns on your <laughs> box. Like Billy Gillespie. Just shut it. Shut yeah, it. just shut it. If you got the no balls because you don't want you want to return on your investment because you can't kill off Neff Campbell just because the movie might tank one day and you need to bring back an old face. Kill off Courtney Cox at least. Holy I shit. Think I think the reason they didn't kill off Neff Campbell or, or Courtney Cox is because they they just killed Dewey, which I totally disagree with. They I wish they didn't. Died. They all should but, have died. But their whole idea was, hey, we're going to go back to what Scream did. And like in and, and Scream, the main characters all survived. Like I felt like they earned not killing anybody in this movie because of what they did in Scream. But that's not that's neither here nor there. I won't. Oh, shit. I have to change my battery. Hang on one sec. No, at the end of the day, uh, people that liked it liked it. And you can, I mean, if you love Scream, you're going to love the movie. If you have, if you like Scream 1 and 2, you're probably going to be like, what the fuck are they doing? Like, they're recycling bullshit. And they're not killing off main characters. They're, they're, they're repeating plot lines. It happens a lot with horror franchises. They're not unique, Scream is, I mean. But I feel like at the end of the day, they're not supposed to be... Like, for me, Scream was supposed to be a mean-ass movie. It was never meant to be like, well, they all live happy ever after. They're supposed to live happily ever after. No, it was a mean fucking movie. Just like, like people uh, have talked about The Strangers. It was a mean fucking random movie. Of course, they had a motive in the first screen, right? You know, the whole idea that Nev Campbell's dad was fucking the mom or whatever. There was a motive behind it. But Scream was supposed to be on purpose mean. And there's no, so, there's not, there's not supposed to be like happily ever after. The fact that mm -hmm. these are horror obsessed people that don't give a shit about your real life problems much like the strangers guys that just show up randomly at your fucking house and butcher you because well, it's don't, not like ghostface said well you know what i'm not going to kill you because i feel bad no, about but the reason why problem. is if you go if you in this particular movie they're all you're you, you did that to my family member and i was gonna make her like come on dude i seen scream <laughs> too you did the fucking same thing with jackie from roseanne fucking grow up and don't Kill the fucking characters off that have been around since the 90s, and let's move on. Let's now, embrace I, the future. I don't disagree with you that if I had my druthers, a character of two would have died in Scream 6, for sure. Um, but, like, I, I do think that Scream is all about 
surprising people. It's all about subverting expectations. Everybody thought Gail was going to die in that scene. Everybody thought someone, someone from the main cast has to die. So I actually like the fact that they said, you know what, we're actually going to surprise everybody and once again subvert expectations because that's what this franchise is about. But either way, I, I'm not. I don't want to get into a whole thing about because we'll talk for hours about it. I'll say this: uh, this is not in argument with anything you said. I, I, I understand no, I mean, how yeah, you but, feel but, about but, it. No, I just, mean, I'm just putting just, it. In my, I mean, you know, I, like I said, like people love it. They love it. I mean, it's. I, mean, I don't right. care. I mean, it's cool. Right. Just my side of it. The reason I would say it's real awesome is because it fucking had some of the gnarliest kills in the franchise. They had the balls to go That's and do some really talk about mean. Some some of the shit Ghostface was doing with those knife twists, the way that people were dying, the cruel way that Ghostface was killing people in this. I love the I love the the monologue at the end because it reminded me of Scream 2, which is one of the best movies in the franchise. There's almost apart from Evil Dead, there's almost no other horror franchise out there that has gone six movies deep and every single one has been at least solid, depending on how you feel about some of them. I feel like they're solid, but. Uh, you know, I just I thought Ghostface was crazy. They subverted expectations with another amazing opening in the movie. The acting was solid. I thought Melissa Barrera just just put her foot in this fucking franchise as one of the as one of the classic characters of the franchise. I fucking loved it. So and I love Chad and I love the core four. And I feel like they actually did something that almost no franchise ever, ever fucking does, which is actually move away a little bit from the main characters and actually make you care about these new fresh faces they're throwing out. Uh, I think that was a huge success. But everybody yeah, well, feels I different. Care about why, I wish all the other ones had died, which is why we'll go to a vote on it. In the last vote that we did, Halloween five. You guys say 55% to 45%. It is fuckable over sucks my butt, Steve. 55, Ooh, uh, 45. Jesus Christ. How many, how many J's have that dude passed out from the UK? <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. You guys, you guys are saying this because you're only saying this because you're high. When you wake up tomorrow, you have a hangover. You're like, I never Who's got the that. weed? I can't I believe it. that. I, if, I, if, you, if you worked at my blockbuster, I'd fire your ass. That's your manager's <laughs> pick, you piece of shit. Oh, so I'm putting up a vote right now for Scream 6. Is it uh, effable or real awesome? Uh, I got them backwards kind of in there, but that's up there for right now. So moving on real quick. Well, you got you one. and I are going to have a big part of disagreement. If you think that's like six movies and they've all been solid, we're going to have a problem yeah. with Scream 3 and hey. 4. Holy I, shit, dude. I think three, Scream 3 and 4 are my least favorite of the franchise for sure, but I still love them both. That's like I saying just, every I, fucking Nightmare on Elm Street movie has been solid. No, I totally disagree. But oh my either God. way, we could do it. We could do it. that's a whole stream in itself if you want to do that. Everybody has their own opinion, Steven. That's true. Just like I think this movie is overrated as fuck. I would I know, call Dream does. Warriors nothing better than fuckable. But I know I'm I, wrong. We've you know done what? this before. Here's the problem. <laughs> it's gonna be real awesome. I mean, I think that's facts, but I would put it to a vote. I'd let the people decide. I, I think it's real awesome. Mm. Wes Craven actually worked on this fucking movie. I feel like, you know, there was a script involved that was going to be way better, but it was too expensive. They couldn't put the movie out that Wes Craven's initial vision had for it. So, therefore, it's not, you never got the full vision. But, again, you get some great ass, talk about death scenes. You're talking about, like, fucking cool. You got the goddamn puppeteering of that fucking dude, which is one of the nastiest death scenes I've ever fucking seen on screen. That shit is fucking gnarly. It's scary. It's nasty. You've got, like, great character. In her. Uh, you also get to bring back Nancy, which she does a pretty good job. I don't like the fucking boyfriend guy. I think he's like he's trying to get a little piece of her tulip. Obviously, he's there for that. And <laughs> fucking not, Neil, he doesn't care. Yeah, Neil, Neil, Neil doesn't care. Shit. Neil doesn't care about anything else. But I like the idea of what they were going for. But again, I felt that this movie. What suffered the most from this movie is that man. They they could have if they had just got a budget that they they could work with, and Wes Craven was in the director seat and not just writing it. I think it would have been a fantastical movie. Because in, in, in Wes Craven's mind, this was the last movie. They kill Freddy Krueger with holy water or whatever, and they fucking kill mm -hmm. him. And it was yeah. that, that was it. And again, you gotta look at you gotta look at the all I think all the actors did a good job. Neil was whatever. I didn't like the the, the, the animation when they go to the fucking boneyard and, and Freddy Krueger jumps up like he's like, well, let's get the hell out of here, like on your <laughs> darkest skeleton. It, but you know, again, for the time it came out, what 87. It wasn't like, you know, I'm, you know, they did what they did. Stop animation. They did what they did with it. Um, right. But yeah, dude, I enjoyed it. I feel like it, what it did was it improved on the lore of Freddy Krueger from the first film. And that's why Wes Craven wanted to be involved in it also because they were going to kill the character off. 
Uh, and he didn't like the second one because the second one went its own way. We all know that mm-hmm. if you watch the, you know, never sleep again documentary. Yeah. And that guy talks shit on him. Too. Yeah. He talks shit on him. And, and to be honest, I, anyway, we'll get to that. Nightmare two was really fucking good. But anyway, um, I feel like this was Wes Craven's like, I'm going to expand the lore on, on Freddy Krueger a little bit. And then I'm going to yeah. kill him off because he didn't want to make a sequel to it anyway. So I liked it for I do I, I think it's real awesome. I think I think it did a lot for Freddy Krueger. I think it brought Freddy Krueger. Well, and Craven didn't have anything to do with this one, but no, Craven wrote the script. No, I mean, they they didn't use his script though, right? I mean, like no, they had a script. They used they used his script. They they butchered his script because they had to make it fit the budget. But yeah, I don't know if he's listed as a credit on the film. He is through all the movies because but no, I think no, they by. used his no, his script was there. They just butchered his script because they couldn't afford what he was looking at. Like he was he had a script that was like like the Matrix, like expensive. Like it was going to be very expensive. So they had to use Wes Craven uh, script, but they had to cut down and cut out a lot of things. But at the end of the day, uh Nightmare on Elm Street 3 was what it brought him to the mainstream. I mean, and that could be a good or a bad thing. A lot of people would say it was a bad thing. A lot of people would say it was a good thing. But this is what people know as the mainstream Freddy Krueger. Without this movie, you don't get the, you know, welcome to primetime, bitch. You don't get the the idea, you know, you don't get the Freddy Krueger that we all know and love. Um, Freddy Krueger 1 was a very shadowy type of character. It was in, he was, Freddy 2, Freddy 2 was more the same. Freddy 3 was at least the one where it was like he had a personality. And you really didn't see a personality in the first two. Not really. And this- and, and and just the sake of moving on, I will say, like, I, I know I'm not going to win this argument because we've done it several times. I think we've actually done tiers of it before. Like, I, I would put it in fuckable because I've always been a hater of this movie. Um, But, like, I, I'll just – we'll go ahead and put it – you said real awesome, right? Yeah, I was at real awesome. So I'll, we won't have to put it to a vote. Real awesome it goes because I know I, I will lose this one. Uh, we did it last time. We did well, – I, I don't remember what poll it was. Well, I think, that, we, I think we, were, we were at all-timer, and I think that was a different – that was a different one. Right. Well, either way. And I just and and guys, just just really briefly, the reason why I've always just been a detractor of this movie is because I think the first half of the movie is some of the best Freddy we've ever fucking gotten. The first half of the movie, the kids in the mental hospital, uh, bringing back Heather Langenkamp, the hypnosil, all that shit, apart from Neil, was amazing fucking fruit. That was Mm -hmm. all timer. The second half of the movie was sucks my butt, Steve, to me. When I think that that is what took the movie from being a horror film that was actually scary and took it into cheesy fucking butt town. Because you got like all the fucking Harry Potter shit and the terrible effect and all the shit. Like the second half of the movie I hate, the first half of the movie I love, but I am definitely 1000% in the minority on that one. So mm. I accept it, John. Just take it uh, in your mouth. I'll take, take it. Uh, your mouth. Open your uh, mouth up wide. Uh, 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 in the case of Scream 6, the crowd says real awesome 57% to 43%. Scream 6 goes. I think right you guys are all wrong. It's all those goddamn Scream update videos. It's bullshit. It's rigged. <laughs> you guys are fucking brainwashed. Fucking Stop voters. the steal. You guys are Stop voters. Stop the steal. You guys are disgusting. <laughs> Go back and watch that movie in five years and tell me the same thing. You guys are disgusting. <laughs> oh, fuck me, dude. Uh, we're, we're scooting. We're scooting. We're sco- oh, here's one. We're right on the West Craven nutsack. No, I, Nightmare oh, four. Yeah, I I grown I, I actually grew to love this movie. Uh, it was one of those Me movies too. that I hated it. Like, well, not I never hated it, but I, it always felt like um like a letdown when I watched it. I don't know why. I, it was kind of like it existed, and I was kind of bored when I watched it. I don't know, but when I watched it later on, I actually appreciate it for what it is. Um, mm. There's some corniness in it, obviously, and and I feel bad. They were also stricken with budget issues. Uh, when uh, Freddy Krueger has his Kung Fu fight uh, <laughs> and, and he's not there and you just hear him fighting is because they couldn't afford to have Wes Craven on the set. So they had to like do this imaginary, they had to rewrite that whole fucking thing. But to be honest, they did a great job with what they had and it kind of works for the movie overall. And I, and to be, and, and, and the soundtrack is great. Like anything. It, I mean, dude, I'm, I feel like, like the 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 logistical part of me wants to put it in fuckable but my heart wants to put it in real awesome uh my, i can't do it but can i can i get behind you put maybe one maybe two fingers depending on how depending on how naughty you're feeling tonight can I, I get behind two? you i meant three 
can I push you up that big gay hill into fucking real awesome? Because that's where I want this thing to go. I want it to go no, right. I, no, awesome. I'm fine I want with it. To go I'm hard fine with and it. Smooth. I'm fine with it. Like I, yeah, dude, I want to get behind this fucking. You know, I'm, I'm going to stop with the analogies now. But yeah, dude, I think Nightmare on Elm Street Four is so fucking underrated. I think. I think. I, do. I think it's really, uh, it, it's really the good. Karate Kid. <laughs> I love that character, dude. He had great hair. Mm -hmm. He had great hair. It had a great soundtrack uh, with the, I'll give you anything, anything, so, anything. Yeah, I think it was drama, drama or, or drama, rama. Drama, rama. Yeah. yeah. Fucking dude, it had some of the greatest kills. I loved some of the characters. The movie's a fucking party. I just, I think, it, it, fuck, dude, I mean, I mean, the may, rope maybe, scene? maybe the best kills in the franchise. Maybe you could argue mm, the cockroach, that the was fucking nasty. splits. That was a nasty splits. character right there. Oh, God. Uh, I fucking let, let's put in real awesome dude. Let's be us. Let's just yeah. do it. I think let's it throw is. I, and again, and like butt a, fuck. a few years ago, I would have put it in fuckable almost at the bottom of sucks my butt, but it's not, it really yeah. is a good movie. Let's give it some love, some deep, deep butt lovings. Uh, let's move away from Freddie for a second. I, I'm going to go pee first this time. Cause my dick hurts dog. All right. Hey, my dick hurt dog. <laughs> <laughs> D fucking dude's asses all day long. My dick on fire. <laughs> uh friday part three my favorite personal jason now i know that oh, it may not yeah, be the no, best jason I, I, it took me a second i had to look at the i had to look at the poster and really study it oh. to get the movie back in my mind it makes you want to suck on a little bit yeah, just coming really. through the is that the one with the uh, wheelchair guy uh, uh no that's two that's two oh, we'll just shit, do that guy should have been a hero Th three was richard brooker had that that sweet fucking green shirt and it was the mm. it was the first time freddie got or no, got jason hung. got his mask yeah he got first hung, time yeah. he yeah, first time he got his mask, he harpooned Shelly the lawyer in the fucking face, and then or, or um, I don't know if he Shelly the actor, yeah, and the the it had the the eyeball three D kill had some some yeah. great side kills. Yeah, it was fun, fun man. Side it was story. fun. Yeah, it was fun. It's my favorite visceral Jason, and my favorite look of Jason was Richard Brooker because he had those gigantic traps and he just lunged through that fucking barn. I know it's not the best Jason movie. And I'll probably lose this one. I'll but put it in fuckable for me. I, I'm not it, gonna put it in sucks my butt, but it's fuckable to me. It would be real awesome for me, so I will put it to a vote because I just I love this fucking movie. Well, he, well, he um, the way he runs around, especially from the barn, he looks like Arnie from What's Eating Gilbert Grape that got really big <laughs> and has a mask on. <laughs> when he show, when he shows his mask, and he's yeah, not that. So I I, 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 uh, it was yeah. so stupid. Yeah, he was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was stupid. I was like, "Why'd you guys do that?" Yeah, it's huge. The head buffer had huge traps. Huge uh, traps. I think he really did, dude. He looked I like, like uh, he looked like fucking Sid Vicious from the WWE. <laughs> Sid Justice. He did. So I'll put that one to a vote. For as far as the last vote goes, where it goes to Dream Warriors. I, well, I by the way, I threw Dream Warriors up for a vote. I said, "Fuck you guys," because I saw some people going, "Put it to a vote, you cowards." Uh, but you guys agreed with us actually real awesome 53% to 47%. So that one remains the same. Mm. Um, let me throw this one to why a was it <laughs> you're a coward for not putting it to a vote? I, I don't think anybody actually we said that. I decide, just we already like, decided that we were gonna put it real awesome. I just yeah, I just thought for fun we might as well. I, I, I want to solidify our, our our arenas inside of a mountain of dudes' butts. Um <laughs> God, it's sounding so much more hot. Uh, 3D, real awesome or effable. I'm gonna lose this one, but I'm going out with a bang, and I'm gonna go tinkle in the toilet. All right, where are we at on the? Uh, um, let me jump over. Let me scoot, scoot. We're gonna be at Tim C at 8:44 p.m. Oh, okay. I was right there. I think. Uh, Sweet, sexy, hot. All right. Doo doo butts. Thank you. What? I will get to it. Tim C. Thank you so much, man. Uh, awesome guy. Uh, it says, I'm not a cheapskate, but I sent a hundred dollar chat 815. Funny thing happened mid Monday stream. My eight inch friend Michael Partion said it didn't appear yet. YouTube charged me for it. Can you see it? Um, I don't know, Tim. I'll have to ask Mike. I have no idea. Or I think you meant Michael Parton, but I said Partion. <laughs> uh, YouTube, uh, as far as how they handle on the super chats and stuff and, and what can be visible, it really is a shitty ass fucking deal on, on YouTube, but I will definitely ask Mike and see if, if your chat was somehow, I don't know why it wouldn't show up, but we'll look at that, Tim. Thank you, man. Um, the gangly mangler says unpopular opinion. Friday the 13th is a more consistent series. Halloween has higher highs, but also lower lows. You know, that's an interesting, um, argument there. Gangly mangly, uh, is it true? It might be because you you're not wrong. I think your opinion is kind of. It, I don't want to admit it, 
but you might be right. Because when Michael Myers is awesome and those movies are great, you're like, oh, fuck, dude, this is so badass. But then you get the next movie and, like, you know, Buster Rhymes is, like, singing a rap song while you, like, Roundhouse kicks Michael in the face. And you're like, what the fuck? But at least with Jason, other than the only inconsistent thing that happened with him as far as that it wasn't good at all was for me, Jason goes to hell, but at least all the other movies in, in Manhattan was fucking awful, but at least it was consistent with the kills and it was Jason. He was there, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a good uh, take there. Zach DeRoches, uh, DeSeroches says, just saw the flash review and I'm sending lots of love and prayers to you and your family. Jay, take care brother. I hope he gets better. And, and we, and uh, no, we all love you. Hey man, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, Appreciate that, man. I really appreciate that. Uh, uh, it, the, you know, we got some uh, decent news uh, yesterday about that. So um, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, things get a little bit better. But uh, thank you, man. Appreciate that. Um, and oh, I, I thought you were caught up. We're not. We're stupid. Um, Bryce says, uh, hey, goddamn, love your channel so much. Uh, Bryce Russo. Do you like the movie True Romance? I feel it's underrated. The cast alone is amazing, along with the script. The music also is wonderful. Take care, guys. True Romance. Let me look that up real quick. Uh, I don't. I'm sure I've seen it. Uh, I just don't want to say something that I don't know. Is that the one with Christian Slater? Yes, it is. Um. No. I, I, all right. I've seen it, but I don't remember it, Bryce. I know that Mike loves it. Um. But I don't remember enough about it to talk about it. But I'll let Mike. I'll, I'll let Mike answer that one. But I. I don't know. I. I can't remember enough to talk about it. But thank you, Bryce. Man, that's fucking badass. Thank you so much, dude. Um, D. Mitch says, "When you boys doing a still in Harvard review? Still in Harvard? What the fuck was? Oh my God! I'm gonna go back to Google and look shit up because I'm stupid. I can't remember shit right off the top of my head because I'm not goddamn Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man." <laughs> Uh, you know what? I, okay, I've seen that movie. I don't remember anything about it. I don't remember anything about a D-Mitch. You know what I get that confused with was uh, Dead Man on Campus with Mark Paul Gossler. But, I mean, yeah, we'll, I mean, we can do it, Michelle. <clears throat> Moving on through here. Moving on through here. By the way, thank you guys for hanging out with us so much. Uh, that's so cool. I think that we're good. I think that we got, oh, no. Kevin, uh, Kima. Thank you so much, sir. You don't have to say anything. Just comes in, drops the money, says, hey, I like you guys. I'm I'm talking for you, but I'm sorry. But he's like, I like you guys. Just, you know, maybe get to the point a little bit quicker. All right. You guys like stumble around a lot. Uh, you guys go on these fucking rants. Just get to, stick to the fucking topic. But thank you, Kevin. I, I spoke for you, but we really uh, appreciate that. Um, and, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Kevin did say something. Kevin, I spoke for you earlier. Now I feel weird. But Kevin was like, hey, guys, I recently made my mom a fan of your skits. Oh, cool. Uh, she loves Jay and his Loomis impression. Can she get a shout out from Loomis, please? Her name's Julie. Thank you, guys. Keep up the good work. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, cool. Um, <clears throat> sure. Uh, Julie. Listen, you need to have a talk with your son, Kevin. He feels like going on the internet and giving money to asshole streamers is a good idea. It's not. It's dumb, Julie. You raised your son better than this, didn't you? I know you did. You need to take your hand, you see, and smack him right across the goddamn face and say, save your money for your future retirement because Social Security will be gone by 2050. And what the news is saying, Save your money. Put it in savings account. Don't give it to dumbass streamers, you dumb shits. Kevin, don't be dumb. And Julie, teach him a lesson. <laughs> but thank you, Kevin. Appreciate that, man. Uh, Kim, uh, oh my God, my fucking mouse. Where the fuck happened? Oh my God, I don't know where I am now. Oh my God, dude, hold on. This is like the worst ever. I feel like I'm in a high school play and I don't, oh my God, am I dying? Can you guys hear me? Okay, I think we're good. That's so stupid. 
Okay. No, okay. I found it. I found it. I got it. Okay. Cam comes in hot with the 10. Says, been watching you guys for years. Your movie commentaries and videos have gotten me through so many nights and shifts where I work at. And you guys always cheer me up. Oh, thank you, Cam. I hope it's getting good for you tonight. I hope that you're having a great shift if you're still there. If you're not, I hope you have a great job. But we appreciate that, man. I used to work um, security at, um, I don't know what the fuck, like, I don't know if they made aspirin there, like fucking Tylenol. I don't know. They made like some kind of medicine. And I worked in, I worked, it wasn't Dr. Fauci factory, but I worked there and uh, I used to watch Netflix and YouTube all the time. But yeah, man, we get you. Um, Johnny hide out UK. He's hiding out because he doesn't want to be found. And his fucking profile picture is scary as fuck. He says, love your channel. You are legit and super funny. We appreciate that, man. Thanks, man. We try to tell our parents because we're fucking, you know what? You know what? You know why we're legit? Because. Nobody likes us in our life, and we're just being ourselves on camera. <laughs> uh, I'm trying uh, to catch up. What there, time are you? I think there was another. Uh, well, uh, there's a question I think that you could have answered. I don't remember um, who asked it though. Uh, let me find it real quick. Uh, Thank you, Johnny. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, Johnny's a good guy. Johnny's a good guy. Johnny Cage. <laughs> Prepare yourself, Johnny Cage. <laughs> Johnny Cage is here to stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. The Mortal Kombat album, dude. Like, not the Mortal Kombat movie soundtrack. The Mortal Kombat, the album by the Immortals, was the fucking best album ever. It had, like, a song for every character. <laughs> it was great. It was good. They don't do it uh, like that anymore. I'm just I'm going back real quick. Because um, I don't want to miss anybody that asked uh, a question that we both could have answered. Um. Oh, uh, Tim C did say uh, he asked um, Michael Parton pointed out that he apparently sent a hundred dollar super chat in the last stream and it didn't show up. Oh shit! I'll um, I, I I think there's a, yeah I think there's a way I can double check there, man. I'll, I'll send you an email. I'll find yeah. it. Whatever it was, if you say it, if you say it down below, put like some asterisks or asterisks. Put the yeah. asterisks. Put some asterisks in, in uh, her face. <laughs> whatever it was, I, yeah. it, whether it went through or not, we fucking appreciate it all the same, dude. You're too fucking kind to us, and we and we really love awesome. you, man. Um, all right. Uh, well, you saw where I was at, right? Uh, yeah, uh, Jonathan Fambro. Okay. No, uh, says, that was old. That's old. Oh, what? That's old, dude. What? Did they what do it again? Did they mention it again? Was no, that dude. the same one? No, that that's not. What time were you at? No, wait a minute. Hold on. That's did they did they do it again? No, wait a minute. I I don't know that super chat. What the fuck happened? Oh my god. Okay, I was at Johnny Hideout UK nine oh seven. Okay, okay. So this right, I'll be back. Then. I have to Let's go tickle my wizard out. And as we always do, my friends, let us do this together. Close your eyes and just imagine it. He's walking to the bathroom right now. He's almost there. I know where the bathroom is in his house, so he's reached it. He's opening the door. He's going in. He's unzipping his pants. Oh, God, I just went from six to midnight. He's pulling out his wiener. It looks darker than usual, but he doesn't think about it. He's holding it. He's releasing fluids into the toilet as we speak. Let's just take this moment in. Let's all be together with Jay as he holds his dick. It's fucking powerful, dude. It's powerful. Jonathan Fambro said, my nephew used to dress up like Michael Myers, and now I know how Dr. Loomis feels. <laughs> you know, anybody dressed up as Michael Myers is not going to like do cool shit like bake you cookies. You know, that's, I think, where our Michael Myers came from. It's just he's annoying as fuck, and he's a douchebag. Nobody dresses up as Michael Myers to like feed soup kitchens. <laughs> so I get it. Rex discovers says, wham, can you do a modern casting of the main group of scream 96? Fuck dude. That shit is impossible. You just asked me a question. I need at least three Heineken's and a burrito to think about. And like two hours. Fuck. Um, shit. Fuck. I, I don't like anything new cause I'm old. So that's tough. God damn it. That's fucking tough. I, I honestly just, Fuck, does anybody have anything good? Because I don't. Um, I would throw Lee Pace in there. I do, I love Lee Pace. Lee Pace could be, if we did like an older person thing, like Lee Pace could be like a, a Billy Loomis type for sure. I don't know how modern that is. I'm trying to think of like young actors, but I'm so fucking old that I'm not good at it. Um, who would be like the Matthew Lillard type character today? Um, 
Oh my God, dude, that's such a hard question. You really fucked me up on this one. You really got me fucked up. I'm fucking just gone. Dude. I got nothing. I have fucking nothing. That that look, I will think about that and like post it somewhere. I got that's so hard. That's so fucking hard, man. Samara Weaving would have been one. <laughs> she would have been great because she rules and everything. You you fucked my brain up, dude, with that one. You really got me. Austin said Halloween Kills is the ultimate all-timer. It's just Michael going on a tear through Haddonfield while the Doom music plays being everything Luma said it was, a walking extinction event. I can't wait to get to that one, and we'll talk about it when we do, Austin, but it's got hope. It's got hope to be an all-timer because that movie does fucking kick ass. And and Halloween Kills is a movie we will look back on, and we will go, I think people in 20 years will, will watch that movie and go, that fucking thing rips. You know why? Because those people weren't subjected to Blumhouse showing them everything in the fucking trailer before it happened. Imagine if that firehouse scene alone wasn't in the goddamn trailer, how much it would have added to people's experience the first time they watch it. Blumhouse fucks themselves up on those trailers. They really, really do. Oh, it's, it's it actually makes me angry in my heart. It does. Hi, men, men's are beautiful. Hi, 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 men's. <laughs> hi, men's are beautiful fuck dude come on real real hot take scream 2 is the best slasher ever that's that that that's scolding hot that is a hot potato <laughs> but hey i know people that i respect their opinions on movies and shit that are huge scream fans that think scream 2 is the best scream movie and i think scream is the best horror movie of all time personally so i can respect it i can respect it Stephen a smith fucking skip bayless i got you uh crash blue crash blue that's a beautiful name. Crash Blue says, what's your favorite horror movie from each decade? 1970s to 2020 so far. Fucking man. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Like that's a fucking, I need to sit down with a fucking sandwich and like think and like research on that. I can't just 23 could do that shit real quick for you. 1970 would be the exorcist. 1980. Oh, fucking 1980. God damn. Maybe that's so why do you do this to me steven um 1980 There's... fuck my dick with a knife 1980 shit i fucking skipped 1980 1990 scream absolutely 20 2000 2000 I'm going to say Return of the Living Dead for 1980 because I, I just, I, I, I'm i blanking. And I know that's not the right answer, but that's like, that's the best thing I can think of right now. Nine, uh, 2000s. I'll go 2003s, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's probably not the correct answer at all. 2010s. Oh, God. 2010s. The 2010s. What the fuck came out in the goddamn 2010s? Fucking, come on, Mike. Come on, you fucking piece of shit. Fuck, that's tough. 2010 to 2020. Who can remember it? I'm so old. God damn it. Fucking. I'm going to steal one of your all's answers. Anybody in the chat? 2010s? Oh, 80s, The Shining. 80s was The Shining. for the. That was the, that was the correct answer. Anybody got The Ring? I'll go with The Fucking Ring. No, that's not the 2010s. That was 20 fucking to 2010. Uh, someone give me something from 2010 to 2020. Get out. I can't go get out with that. I liked it fine. But the Evil Dead remake. I'm going to go with the Evil Dead remake, Extron. Thank you. I'm a fucking cheap. I'm a liar. I've never seen a fucking horror movie in my life. I'm such a piece of shit. Uh, in 2020 to now, I'll go. Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. 2020 to now. You could have gone hereditary with 2010 to 2020. 2020 to now. Scream 5. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. I don't have any. I'm, I suck shit. Oh, Sinister for the 2010s. Thank you. That's a really fucking good one. Hereditary, Hereditary was a good one, too. Dude, I, I fucking eat my fucking butt, Crash Blue. That was awful. How dare you fucking put me on the spot like that? That was misery. Dude, I just answered the hardest fucking question that's ever been answered on this channel, and I did it poorly. I'm not gay. <laughs> the answer is yes. Uh, I won't even put you through this, dude, because it's too fucking hard. But Crash Blue said, what's your favorite horror movie from every decade, 1970? I'm not doing that. <laughs> I refuse your question and your attitude. 
<laughs> no, dude. Like, are you serious? You like, that takes time. Like, that's like a fucking <laughs> asshole teacher be like, all right, you guys are going to do A plus B equals C. We're going to do some college ass <laughs> algebra today. Fuck that. I, all right. Dude, I, I felt time. like I was on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. No, I like, I need, I need, well, yeah, I need fucking time, dude. Like, don't, don't <laughs> ever spring that up on me. All right, we'll jump back into the list for a little bit before we get back into your all super chats. You guys are being amazing to us tonight. We really appreciate you. Thank you guys so fucking much. Uh, By the way, I will I will say one thing, uh, D Mitch. I just saw your your question there, um, asking about Final Fantasy 16. I haven't got it yet. I've seen the reviews for it, and I've I've seen the gameplay. It looks really amazing. Um, but uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm kind of I'm hesitant about playing it, but yeah, it looks cool though. It does look cool. So maybe I'll pick it up when it's a little cheaper, but it looks good. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I'm, dude, my brains are mashed potatoes right now. Oh, God damn it. Uh, scream two, man. Scream two. I fucking would love to know what you think. Uh, man, <laughs> you know, when I talk about scream two, I feel like Scott Stapp in that motel room. When he was like losing his mind and and he thought that the 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 the, the ornament on his car like the head what, what do you call it when you you know that thing on the on the on the uh, hood of the car the hood ornament the hood ornament and he was chasing that because he thought angels were telling him that this is where he needs to go <laughs> i like the movie i don't get me wrong i do like it but i i feel like it's it's good to, i feel like it's a real awesome movie i don't feel like it's an all-timer at all um but i'm i there's some things I like about I, I like it. I like the movie over I like 85% of the movie to 90% I liked it. And then 10% I just I didn't care. I, I it's real, it's it's real awesome. To me, it's just real uh, awesome. Uh unsurprisingly, it'll go to a vote. I don't actually disagree with real awesome. Like, I don't think that's terrible at all. I put it in all timer though, because when you consider like like a movie like Halloween 4 or Jason Lives, comparatively to Scream 2, I think it fits right in there. I think it's the second best scream. It was cool to see the cotton, day. the cotton weary thing. Expanded yeah, on more. Yeah, that was cool. And, yeah, yeah. And, and one of the best openings, maybe the best opening in well, the no, franchise. Well, no, don't put it to a vote. Well, I, like I said, I'm I'm either one. I mean, if you want to put it, we'll just put it in all timer. We'll save some time. I, I'm good with that. I mean, I'm, I'm good with that. If you're good with that, I think it could go either way, though. Like, so I I think, I think I'll it, put it. I'll put it in all timer. I it's mean, not gonna. It's not gonna. It's not gonna knock off any time. We can just put it to a vote because we got another vote to pull out right. anyway. So I gotta pull something out of there. Uh, I, I the reason I do say all time though is like I said, one of the best openings of all time and the best one of the best franchise of all time. I think everybody was still on their game. You still had everybody except for Billy and Stu. You still had Randy. You still had fucking. You had the Cotton Weary storyline. You still had Dewey. You still had Courtney Cox. The college setting was perfect for everything that was going on. It still had some great kills. It was still mean. Set so great ghost face one liners. Um, I definitely disagree with well, anybody. This was like, well, I feel like Scream Two was what like really showcased Mike's racism, especially with his recent tweets. <laughs> That's the problem, you know. If yeah, was, and, and Jada Pinkett you know... Smith has, has has done such, uh, you know, so much for the black community <laughs> and is a pillar of the black community. And Mike Dares goes online on Twitter and talks about he was happy she died because he's racist. <laughs> And I feel like that is what's tarnishing this whole thing. Talking about Scream Two, tarnishing the brand, it's tarnishing the brand. <laughs> no, I was happy she died whole... too. I don't think I think um, everybody was happy that fucking she died early on, and she had a great death, by the way. Let me tell you, she had a great awesome death. death. Yeah, it was yeah. a great death. I, yeah. I still felt bad for the character, even though she was a piece of shit who didn't like butter on her popcorn. Uh, yeah. But in the case of 3D, real awesome is the answer: fifty-eight percent to forty-two percent over fuckable. So 3D goes <laughs> into real awesome territory sound like i was writing it you know what i'm not gonna say it. uh that goes there i will put it up to a vote and the other one while i'm putting that to a vote jay how do you feel about the case of fucking this is a banger halloween kills well i liked halloween kills um i think there was a lot of problems with it uh evil dies tonight was really like just weighing it down like this motherfucker when he yells evil dies tonight it sank faster than the submarine they're looking for uh but uh, when you shut know, up but that was like the shut only up. thing. That was the oh, shut <laughs> up, shut <laughs> up. Uh, I liked Halloween Kills, though. Uh, I really did enjoy it. I think that when you, you know, the 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 fireman scene, which I think they gave way too much of in the trailer, is so fucking cool, man. It's so badass. Like it, it, it it's like seeing uh, Ben Affleck's Batman fighting those motherfuckers in the warehouse. Like this <laughs> is fucking. This is this is my Michael. That's my Michael. Where have you been, sir? Let me give you a little kiss on the cheek. Uh, and then the ending where he killed, 
when he's getting beat up, it's like Rocky Four, in my opinion. When he's getting beat up, and you're like, he can't come back. He can't come back. He can't beat that Russian. And he's like, you cut him. You see, he's a man. I I give the movie real awesome. I would put it real awesome. I really would. I think Halloween Kills. I think as time goes on and people watch it more and more, um, you know, as, as you know, in the in the in the new trilogy, I think they're gonna appreciate it more. I mean, I could be wrong, but I I put it real awesome. I, I enjoyed it. I dug it. I thought it was a really cool movie. I think they they did they they delivered on their promise that Michael was going to be very violent in this one, and he and he is. The hospital scene was, uh, the, I, dude. I I those parts were like terrible, and 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 it really does suck to to know that they they did that to such a great actor that played Tommy and I and for whatever I'm blanking on his name, uh, the dude from Weird Science. What the fuck? How am I blanking on his name? Oh. Um... I feel like I'm, you know why? I, I'm thinking um, of Michael Shannon for some reason. I, mean, I, I just watched the YouTube video where he was in the Criterion Collection <laughs> uh, picking out movies. Um, fuck, I can't think of his name right now either. Tommy Doyle's. Um, uh, oh my God, dude. How dumb are we? How fucking Anthony dumb Michael are Hall. Thank you, Darren. Anthony, Michael Hall. Anthony yes. Michael Hall. Anthony yeah. Michael Hall. Yes, uh, I feel like they did him dirty because Anthony Michael Hall is an amazing actor. And I feel like if you'd given him a better script and, and better line reading, I think he would have been great as Tommy. Yeah. I know a lot of people were like, oh, what if you brought Paul Rudd back? That would have been great, but there was no way they were going to do that. But I feel like it's 100%, real awesome. 100%, dude. I think it's real awesome as well. And I think that it's a movie. And again, the trailer really fucked up people on yeah. this one. Like, I think in 20 years when 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 kids are recognizing this movie for the first time and they go in blind, there's going to be some fucking, that's an all-timer, no doubt. Because if you didn't know every fucking thing about it before you watched it, it really would have blown your dick off, you know? Yeah. Um, but that being said, the kills were amazing. Uh, our dude, Christopher Nelson did an amazing job on the film. Michael Myers was badass. I think that the scene at the end where he kills everybody in the street would have been so much fucking better. And it would have been an all time classic horror scene. Had they not run out of daylight and decided to film that on a soundstage where yeah. everybody just like walks up to him and he just like slashes. I kind of, I kind of dug it though. It was, it was kind of like watching uh when I wake up. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be. be. I'm gonna be in the mound who wakes up next to you. <laughs> it kind of reminded me of like yeah. a 1980s like music video. I kind of dug it. <laughs> I w yeah, I'll say real awesome, but I I'll say that had a couple things gone their way with the dialogue and other situations, that could have been an all timer for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, no doubt about it. Jumping back in real fast, Scream 2, the crowd says real awesome. They agree with you, Jay. 55% to 45%. Real awesome is where Scream 2 goes. Real awesome's filling up real quick, my friends. Yeah, we got we to watch that now. We got to watch that me. now. We're on the danger zone with that. And we made this list way bigger with way more slots, but there's a lot of fucking, that's why these franchises are the top ones. And I did yeah. get a lot of comments when I put this out that were like, Hey, what about Chucky? What about Texas? What about Hellraiser? That'll be in the next one. We'll give them their own thing. This is kind of tier one. Yeah. Um, but, Don't uh, overwhelm us. Okay. Something that's definitely not going to go to fucking <laughs> <real> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> get out of my face and go have a buffet with Steve's butthole. <laughs> go have a go have a buffet with Steve's you butthole. Get the fuck down there where you and belong. By the way, it really sucks because he looked cool as shit in this movie. He did look yeah. fucking cool. And then like, but goddamn, you guys were so cheap that you tried to pass off Canada as New York. You stupid <laughs> motherfuckers! Holy shit! <laughs> Who is running your campaign ad? Fucking oh my god! Uh, I I I hate this fucking movie, dude. I I yep. thought I, when I was a kid, I remember maybe liking it, but then as an adult and I watched it again, you're talking about a chore to get through because it is fucking boring. <laughs> you're on a boat <laughs> half the fucking time, and then there are some cool death scenes, but the whole idea when he gets to New York, it's back the the coolest scene in New York, and that should have been the cover, by the way, is where when he's standing in Times Square. Yeah, that's the coolest fucking moment of that entire goddamn movie. Everything else, when he turns into a a bleeding child that looks like Toxic Avengers fucking un aborted baby <laughs> after the, the, the sewage thing comes on him, which they barely explain that. I, talk I about, hate this fucking movie, dude. Dude, talk about rescuing defeat, like stealing defeat from the jaws of victory. That was this fucking movie. You had the coolest fucking premise ever, Jason in Manhattan, and they actually like had some great scenes in there. 
but like they really just took a dump on what at, 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 at its worst it should have been fuckable but by yeah. doing the the weird baby jason drowning in the fucking sewers by by having 90 percent of the movie take place on a boat by having all hateable fucking characters for the most part including skip bayless all of them yeah. there was a couple great kills the fucking head knocking off the the hot stone and that the was funny kill. Yeah. the guitar kill was all right but like uh, amidst those great moments this movie was such a fucking hot dookie it was diaper. a letdown man because it looks look, look at the cover man you really yeah, think dude. you're gonna be in for a treat and then it's just fucking diarrhea yeah. doo-doo in your face maybe maybe the most disappointing movie on the entire fucking so. list and that's why be. it goes down goes down to chinatown to my butt round scream three well, dude, I, like I said, I've talked about this before. Steve's like asshole the... is in desperate need of picking. <laughs> uh, and I think that it needs to be cleaned. And, and I would put this fucker down there with with Steve and be like, you you do your goddamn due diligence and you clean that asshole with your tongue. Scream 3. <laughs> I hate Ooh, Scream I like 3, that. dude. I never fucking like Scream 3. I watched I this. This is a parody-ass fucking movie. Jay and Silent Bob, for fucking God's sake, show up in the goddamn movie. It's not meant to be a fucking serious. I feel like Wes Craven was like, ha ha, I'm high as fuck on this goddamn toka. I've been toking all day long. Let's throw in Jay and Silent Bob because I don't give a shit anymore. But <laughs> I, I I fucking hate this movie. I, I fucking I understand. Like the, the Cotton Weary at the beginning, that was the best scene in the movie. The Cotton Weary scene at the very beginning of the movie was the best scene of the movie, and then they fucking kill him off. Everything else is a joke. This shit could have been produced by Keenan Ivory Waynes. And, I, and it would have made sense. I feel like <laughs> I, they, they just took a shit in your mouth if you were going in after Scream 2. Like, I want to see a cool Scream movie. And they're like, ah, open your mouth up. Here comes a fart. And then they, they, they made you smell it and then taste it. I, I, I get it. I, I, know, I, I know what I'm just saying. There are fans of Scream 3, which is cool. I get it. But, I mean, I, I've even seen people like, well, it's no different than liking Army of Darkness. Versus Scream. No, Army of Darkness is badass. Army of Darkness is a on purpose type of B movie that makes sense with the Bruce Campbell character. This was trying to be something else, and then they throw in the I I like I swear to God when I watched it, I was like Wes Craven's done. To me, it had the same vibe as Freddy's Dead in Scream uh, in, in Hell uh, Nightmare Six. I, I already started the vote as soon as you started because I just knew, you know, I, I just put it in fuckable. Uh, I, I didn't put it in fuckable, but my vote was fuckable, obviously. And then I knew yours would be suck, sucks my butt, Steve, because I know how you feel about this, obviously. And look, I, I, I'll, I'll tell you this. You're going to think you're going to want to admit me to a fucking mental institution. But there's a, there's a little small part of my hearts and farts that would that would almost think real awesome for this at this point. Oh, I my know. God, dude. I know. I know, yeah. but the, the thing is, man, I've just I've watched it so many times, uh, like at this point, and uh, it's just one of those movies that, dude. Every time I watch it, I like it a little bit more, and I appreciate it. A because the main cast was still great in it. Nev was great. David Arquette was fucking great in it. Courtney Cox was good in it as well. And I hated, just like you did, I hated the Hollywood new characters when they were stabbed three in it up. But the reason I've come to enjoy it is, A, like you said, the opening scene was great. I think the ending scene was also great. Roman's storyline was really great. I thought the fact that he's the only one in the franchise who's the, the, the lone killer by himself and his whole reason was Sydney. There's a million things I would have changed in it. And I... I you know, you also I also recognize that it got dicked over by dimension because Columbine happened, so they had to change the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But I just I, I I see it as like a, a scream light. It's a fun scream light movie. So I, I totally get where you're coming from. That's why I put it to a vote immediately. We'll just move on from it. Um, Jesus Christ, dude. That's like going to Walmart and, and finding like a shitty ghost face mask. And you're like, this is pretty cool. <laughs> still, this is, it's kind of like the movie. I, it I, goes have in the dark. <laughs> I have so much fun when I watch it. I don't know what to tell you. I gotta be a peacock. You gotta let me. I got two things mixed together. Um, let, I, we're gonna agree on this one, though. All right. Like, well, you know, the turds aren't gonna be lonely from Steve's asshole for very long. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you can take your dirty ass, fucking skank infested, herpes induced movie and put it down there on Steve's asshole, which he's used to. And just have a have a bowl. I hate this fucking movie. This, this movie, the best part of this movie is 30 minutes. The hospital scene is goddamn some of the coolest shit of Michael Myers I've ever seen. And then the yeah. rest of it is like, by the way, I'm not your father. 
fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like when you when you when you open up a Christmas present and like it's the exact same size as the Power Rangers complete set that you've been dreaming of, and then you open it up and it's not even VR Troopers, it's from Japan and it's the PR Poopers. It's the be- and- it's the Beetleborgs, <laughs> the fucking Beetleborgs. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude, if, I, like, I swear, it, the poster alone to... is badass. Like, well, right? I mean, that's yeah, dude, dope. The posters, yeah, that's how they draw you in. Like, that's like the hot girl that draws you in after the club, and you find out she's got a big a dick bigger than yours when she takes her pants off, and you're like, Sheena was a man. <laughs> like I, I, here's the thing about that movie. Rob Zombie already told on himself multiple times. He was on the Joe Rogan podcast. He was like, I already had a script involved, like with Tyler Maine. I already yeah. was working on it. He was mad, and he was talking about he didn't like the critical response of Halloween One. So when they asked him to do Halloween Two, which he didn't want to do, he did it by contractual reasons. Is why he was saying it. He already had a script in mind. Tyler Maine was supposed to be a part of that new script, so they just morphed it in and slapped Halloween on front on the. Like, what yeah. a slimy-ass fucking approach. Just don't fucking do it. And he's like, well, if I didn't do it, I'd be a violation of the contract. I don't believe you. I think you're an asshole, and I think you fucking <laughs> did it to, to shove it to the man and to put it in their ass. I think that's yeah. what I did it for. And that's what pisses me off about that movie, dude. It's like, if, if you had slapped Halloween on the fucking cover, right, and you weren't right. trying to pass it off as a sequel to Halloween, it might have been a decent movie. But then you got fucking unicorns and your, and your stripper wife fucking like riding around on it talking about michael is a victim what the fuck are you doing with your life interesting interestingly enough there's the two main columns here are real awesome and sucks my butt steve because these these franchises all have their dark days or right, we are gonna do a tiny minute of speed round real quick because we we're at 10 yeah, 30 we p.m get, and yeah, we still we got a lot that. of movies to yeah. go through so we will be a little bit briefer not too fast but a little bit briefer as we go along uh scooting through these nightmare on elm street a new nightmare I, I i'll just it, i put it fuckable I'm, I'm i'm okay i'm with you I, I i thought i'd have to argue on this one but yeah no, it's fuckable i mean dude fucking freddy looked awesome dude, it was a really fucking cool idea i love that wes craven got back in the director's seat yeah. and he had his way with it and it's got some amazing moments but that story just did not hold water at the end of the day it was all right i mean I, it, they, they actually he, he tried to do the meta thing with scream yeah, but, like it just didn't work for the character, but yeah, overall he looked great. It's it's a fuckable movie. It's fuckable. Yeah, strongly fuckable, but fuckable nonetheless. Uh, I think we'll get some flack on that one, but I just I'm surprised. Actually, I thought you would for sure think real awesome. No, on that one, I, but... well, I I get I feel like when I was you know I put real awesome just because of how terrible Nightmare Six was. But yeah, you gotta like you gotta rein in like you know expectations a little bit. Dude, you ready to piss people off? Yep. Fuck, and I'm ready to piss people off because oh, that's, a, that's an old timer both... right there. That's a Give fucking some old timer right James. there. Let's go to the goddamn mountaintop and challenge the people that want to take us on. It's an all timer, motherfucker. All time. One of the best fucking movies on this goddamn list. The most underrated movie so on this underrated. fucking list. So good. You could argue it's the best fucking nightmare movie of all time. Now we're getting could, a little hot. Could don't get too don't get too crazy. Get a little hot you there. Could, you could get a little crazy. Hey man, Jesse. By the way, it's the only time that you have a male, uh, a male protagonist survivor it, with Jesse. He looks, but I think Freddy Krueger in Nightmare Two looks the best out of all of them. He yep. looks so cool with the witch ears, the eyes, the makeup, the way that they. they he looks fucking. I hate it. The the main thing I hate it was the glove where the the knives were coming out through his fingers. I didn't like that. But everything else, dude, fucking solid. Great You've got the line. body. I've got the brains. Yeah, great lines. <laughs> you are all my children now. Yeah, dude. Fucking, that pool party scene. Yeah, and it wasn't R. Kelly saying it. Scene? It was just Freddy Krueger. Holy shit, tits! I love and it, some dude. Of the, it's an all timer. Love the characters in it. I love Jesse. I love the the him and Grady's like relationship together. All that shit and some of the best special effects. Now the dogs were fucking questionable. <laughs> that was stupid. No, <laughs> like, uh, it, actually, uh, the, if you if you watch the never sleep again documentary i think that they used the dogs i think there, there was something about budget budgeting concerns and that mm. whole uh, that whole end sequence at the boiler room was like super shored up because they didn't have the money to shoot the sequence they wanted to shoot but dude to yeah. be honest with you i loved this take on freddy krueger i thought it was great i thought it yep. was awesome and they also added in some flavor and some flair with the comedy with the dad you know, like, yeah. like the dad is like a regular. He's like, "What are you sleeping all day? What, what what's going on with you? Smoking weed? Like, I, I catch that, that goddamn bird." Yeah, I loved it. 
Yeah, I totally agree with you, man. That movie needs more love, so we're going to give it. And even the bus sequence was fucking dope as shit. Mm -hmm. um, love that movie. If you guys, I beg you to go back and give that a rewatch. I'm serious. It's really so fucking good. good. God, it makes me horny right now. Friday 13th, part five, a new beginning. Uh, dude, I, I grew into No better than fuckable I, to me. I, no, 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 it's fuckable. I, I've grown to respect it, though. It used to be back in the day, I would have put it in Sucks by Butt Steve because I felt like they were dishonest, dishonest to the audience and yeah. they did it on purpose, but... I actually like the the story overall. I think it's a decent story. Look, great fucking side characters. Uh, some of the best side characters in the franchise, whether it's Miguel Nunez with the, ooh, baby. He's great. Ooh, baby. It's goddamn enchiladas. Or it's Reggie the Reckless with the, you scared of spiders? You scared of rubber spiders? You well, scared of rubber spiders on strings? It's also great. got a great, it's, it's also got like some really cool death scenes um, in, in the woods when he like twists that bitch's face. Remember, he puts the strap over oh, her eyes, and then like okay. he snaps that shit. <laughs> yeah, dude. And th this is one of the most maligned by the MPAA films of the franchise, which is why yeah. it only goes to fuckable partly. But I thought the ending was shit. I thought the 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 lead up was shit. Like there was no I, the, the new Tommy Jarvis. Like I feel bad for that guy. I liked it. No, I, I didn't karate. mind. He he reminded me of Billy from the Power Rangers, but I, I like I didn't mind him. He was also way more yeah. in shape than Tom Matheson or, or Tom or Tom, Tom Matthews. Thom Matthews, yeah. We call him Thom. I think it's actually pronounced Tom, but we've been calling him Thom for so long that I just want to call him Thom. Anyway, Thom, 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 Thom. Like, it, like I grew to respect it over the years. Yeah, enough. Like, you want a chocolate bar? Mm -hmm. Um, okay, okay. Scooting, scooting, scooting. Another Friday movie, The New Blood. I love this movie. For me, it's real awesome. I'm with you. I'm fucking with you. The Jay. first time you see Kane Hodder as Jason, like it takes Jason to another level. Um. And and he make like he does the breathing thing, which you've never seen before. Like he he gives a different personality to Jason, a lot more of an intimidating factor. The the, the telekinesis thing was kind of stupid, but I I know why they did it. They had to have an opponent for Jason that would actually make sense. Yeah. Um, all the characters were likable. I, I actually enjoyed all the characters in the film, but it, to, yeah, it's real awesome to me. And he looked <laughs> fucking. I for me, this is the best Jason ever looked. To me, it's the best Jason ever looked. I think it's the best he ever looked. I can't argue with that at all. And like, I love the American Express joke where he fucking spears the dude in the beginning. Mm -hmm. There's the spear and the nut sack. Uh, there's some great deaths in the movie. Also fucked up. By, I think Friday the 13th, more than any other franchise ever, was really dickballed by the fucking MPAA. Huge. And all of these movies yeah. have that. And I think the opening and the ending of this movie were trash because you had the shitty dad who just like fucking mm -hmm. <laughs> goes into the fucking. The that, ending that was terrible. The ending was, was so fucking dumb. First off, he comes up from when she pulls him up from her her telekinetic ways and then like he's not got any kind of like decomposition and right. like i was like did you just pull up obi-wan kenobi like what the was, fuck is that it was so dumb but the fight uh not only i love the the handsome dude who comes to help and, and mm. he's like he they have this whole storyline for him and then he just dies in the basement where he's like <laughs> get out of here but yeah like yeah, the uh, the telekinetic stuff was dumb, but in the house it turned out to be really badass. When I they had it. that fight in the house, that was dope so, as shit. So the ending landed well, good. You, so I'm you got to see his, you got to see the zombie face of him for the first time. Like when yeah. she snaps his helmet, he goes, ah. <laughs> he's like, "Bitch, I don't have money for a new mask." That like, shit was so he fucking gross. Shit. Yeah, that was good. All right, only two more spots in the real awesome category as we move along and scoot along. It's gonna get. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of hectic, especially when you put this motherfucker in there, because I know where I want to fucking put it, and that's in the real awesome category. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Don't worry, he can't walk through plexiglass. <laughs> oh, shit, he did. He walked through plexiglass with the scalpel. He did it. He did it. Done, done it. Now we have to get down there and shoot him. Shit him. Uh... <laughs> I think it's still really I, awesome. I hate dude. it. I, you know what? I, I like this movie quite a bit um, just because I feel like uh, it's a movie that um, it does. It, well, Halloween 1, the original Halloween 1 and Halloween 2 really is it's, it's, it's one movie. I feel like this is an actual real continuation of the story that we got presented with in Halloween 1. So I'm going to give it the real awesome treatment. I feel like it yeah. deserves it. I hated the scalpel thing because I feel like it was it was I don't know why, but there's cool though. ass like, death scenes. Oh, my God. The bleeding out of the of the guy, uh, the, the the bitch in in the hot tub, with melting the hot face. tub scene when his hands are all fucking melty. Yeah, and, shit. and she was like sucking his finger. I'm like, God, you know you just tasted poop, Gnarly. like hundred percent poop and like earwax, and you and you, you had were some, like, oh. 
you had some great Loomis running around doing shit scenes. And then obviously the ending dude, when, when Michael's on fucking fire, just stomping through and Loomis like blows everything up. How it, badass yeah. of an ending was that? Yeah, dude. Yeah. If that was, if, yeah. If that was the <coughs> final Halloween movie, I didn't find with it. If, if the, the movie would have been a fucking all timer, if they would have just done this one little fucking thing. And that's if they just fucking fix the, the dynamics of the pacing, the movie gets to a point well, where the it mask drags. Also looked shit too, because it looked it be, too- because Deborah Hill had been smoking around it and it was flat. Right. Well, and also didn't fit Dick Warlock's face that well at that point. But like, cause it felt like, like can't sleep with this thing on. but like, if if the pacing had been better and there wasn't so much of a, uh, of a, of a, like a yeah. plot drag, through the hospital scenes, it would have been so much better, but well, real awesome, easy. Yeah, and, and again, I, I go back to my original statement. If that had been the last Halloween movie we'd ever seen, I'd been fine with it. I don't, I don't want to hurt my butthole, but yeah. But, yeah, but uh, by the way, the opening sequence with the, the pumpkin, fucking awesome. With the skull in oh, in dude. That's probably, that might be the best opening. That might one be. Of the, one of the most badass. Um, Hey, this one's fucking easy. We know we don't have to talk about it. We know where you it's suck going. Suck my butt, Steve. Yeah, definitely. No, Fuck you, like piece so of bad. shit. John Carpenter's a fucking hack, he's a, and he's, he's a hack. suck my he's a dick. Hack. <laughs> <laughs> we know where it's going. It's going no, all what are you doing? What are you guys talking about? I spilled shit. There. Get it! I spilled, I spilled Shut it! Shut up! Halloween's an old timer. We don't need to talk about it. You know what's up. Uh, I'm going to let you talk about this for a second. I'm just going to grab. I'm not going to pee yet. I'm just putting this one up, but what do you think about I old Halloween like 3? 50 fucking times. God damn it. Still listening. What'd you do? I spilled. I spilled my adult beverage. No, nope. actually, yeah, it's fine. God damn it! Well, oh, Halloween three. Oh yeah, okay. Halloween, I'll do it. Hey, you you handle your shit. I got you. Okay. No, no, go ahead. I, I can talk about it. You can do your thing. Did you come um, in your pants? No, I'm just wiping this up. I got a towel up here. Don't worry about oh, it. Oh, that just makes me horny. Yeah. Uh, um. Uh. No. So yeah, Halloween three, man. Uh. I. I. I like it now. You know, since we've been reviewing movies or or whatnot, but I fucking hated it. Uh, even as an adult, I hated it because um, I do feel like it was it was a swindling of the audience. Uh, and and, and I've, I've read the articles and I've read why they did it and what John Carpenter wanted. And I was like, that was dumb. Even then, that was never going to work. You introduce the character as cool and as amazing as Michael Myers. And then you want to make it like a series, like a, uh, you know, like a Tales from the Crypt type or, or creep show with Halloween as the main title. Um so I, I never liked that, and and so maybe I, I gave it some. I feel like it's a fuckable movie. I I think it's a good movie, um, but it's definitely a movie that um is got an asterisk by it, even at fuckable, because it's like you know you guys, you, know, you guys could have done a lot more with that movie uh, if you had just done it under a different title. I don't think you needed to put Halloween on it, and I feel like that was done. It was a studio decision because m- maybe people wouldn't have seen it. Because after Halloween 2, right, everybody wanted to see Michael Myers again. When you say Halloween in John Carpenter's Halloween, they want to go see Halloween with Michael Myers. Not fucking goddamn people trick-or-treating. And, like, uh, you know, they melt your face if you don't take it off in time. That was normal. But it was, you know, it was, it was good, though. Yeah. But, dude, I swear to God, this movie could have been done by Troma. Like, the ones it's... that do Toxic Avenger, <laughs> like, it could have been done by Troma. Yeah, it's 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 fuckable for me, man. I, I enjoy watching it. I love at Tom Atkins. I love Dr. Chalice, as you guys know. Have a fucking boiler maker. Turn that damn thing off. But like, you know, again, like you said, it not having my, my, Michael, it's it's the number one reason why uh, people should not say that Halloween should go anthology because it doesn't work. The, but yeah, I love its place in the universe. It's a weird little strange fucking movie with some awesome death scenes. The robot like fucking pouring itself in gasoline, lighting itself cool, on yeah. fire amazing scenes but at the end of the day it's fuckable for me mm-hmm. as as if it wasn't a halloween movie like with that john fair. carpenter score and those awesome death scenes and the mass and the fun shit involved it would it would probably be worse but like mm-hmm. fuckable is my thing you agree mm-hmm. fuckables where you go i do we're treating this movie like dr chalice treats his kids we're gonna show up on halloween we're gonna drop off some masks and then we're gonna go have a six pack of the high life and sleep with a 22 year old that's where the dad did it and that's the way that America does it. By God, you know what else I think is fuckable, Jay? I think Halloween ends is fuckable. Uh, Ooh, dude. Yeah, I, I'm going to give you the fuckable as well. Uh, I know that a lot of people would probably be like, why don't you put that in the sucks the butt, Steve, and like let Halloween ends have the feast that it deserves. Just a pure botanical garden of shit. 
from the <laughs> asshole of Steve. But I, I, I don't feel like I feel like people. I don't like. Listen, man, this movie. There's a lot of sucky parts about this movie. Let's just be honest. There's a lot of sucky parts, and I feel like wh why that is is because you can't present the movie like Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills, and then shift gears and 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 like you're the fast and the furious and go a different direction you can't do that and i feel like that's what happened with this movie um i thought parts of it was really good and then i fucking hated other parts of it i think i remember reading a, a critical response of it and someone's like this was a fucking love story with a halloween or a horror story background drop um, and, it, and like, and it couldn't decide what it wanted to be. Is it a is it a horror movie or is it a romance movie with horror? I, at the end of the day, it's a fuckable movie. I, I feel like I, I like I, I I still like it, and I think if you watch it again, if you watch this movie in the trilogy set, it might work a little bit. Uh, but of course, uh, you've got to look at you know this movie came out. And there have been delays and because of COVID and all that shit. And when you watch this movie, to be fair, and, and I get all the critical response to it as far as uh, the critiques, this felt so different from everything they presented in 2018 to now. They should have introduced that shit way earlier and, and done something with it. Corey should have been introduced at least in Halloween Kills or something, something, and not just drop this fucking you know, goober on us in the middle of the movie and be like, he's going to be the guy. That's the guy right there. That's the guy. That's what ruined it. I, I agree with you that I'm, I, I want to put it in fuckable. And, and the reason why is because even though I, I like the movie a lot, like I, I it's like an, it's around an eight or an 8.5 for me. I can't really remember. I got to watch it again, but like, I, I like the character, a uh, uh, character of Corey. I love Allison's arc and it, I love, <laughs> I love a lot of stuff about the movie. I really do. I like the movie because I've watched these Halloween movies so many fucking times that I, when I go back and watch this, it's like, ah, something different. It's a little bit different. It's refreshing. It's strange. It's a weird little indie movie. And I kind of dig its vibe. I really do. It's, it's special to me in that way. That being said, as far as what it means to the franchise, this was the fucking penultimate. I fucking got it wrong again with the penultimate. This was the this Angel. was supposed to be the same thing I said about Freddy's dead. I'm not going to be a hypocrite, you know. If if mm. this is supposed to be Michael's end, give the people what they want. And, and I feel like oh yeah, a, that ending was it, terrible. It was a failure for a lot of people in that sense. So to me, even though I enjoy it at a real awesome level, I think as far as the franchise goes, it's it's fuckable at best. So yeah, that's why and, well, I, yeah, yeah. I didn't mention that, but that's true. The you ending, didn't live up to movie, what you the ending of this movie, when, when you know the final climactic scene between Jamie Lee Curtis and and Michael Myers, uh, Laurie Strode, Michael Myers, it, like yeah. that is not what I expected. Like Michael going out like a bitch, and and it just seems like so. It it's so like this. I don't know. Maybe yeah. it just didn't feel. It didn't feel good. It didn't feel I good. I enjoy it like many people do Halloween three. I enjoy it a lot as a standalone Myers film, but as far as what they promised and they really did fuck up with that Blumhouse, David Gordon Green, they did. those folks promised something when they got Halloween 2018 and, and when Halloween and, ends came apart, they yeah. really didn't deliver what they promised. And as Jamie as Lee should have died. She should have died. She should have died. And I always said it, Van Helsing versus Dracula. You have the fucking go out the ultimate fucking battle and they both die uh, killing, you know, trying to take down yeah. one another. And Kill I'm not a huge fan of the yeah, but, you know, but you want to have the happy ending. I get it. Okay, cool. Uh, I see what you're hovering on there. Uh, you can go ahead and have a buffet, Steve. Um, I, I will. I don't want to talk about this movie at all because <laughs> you know how I feel about it. I don't want to go into it. Uh, the only know, the hottest you. thing about this movie was Hayden Panettiere, and she's hot as fuck. And I, uh, Emma Roberts being the main killer in this movie, shut the fucking front door. Olivia Holy was shit. fucking hotter than Hayden, though. Olivia was, whoo. Yeah, but dude, Hayden Panteri can obviously take a Klitschko dick, so you know she can handle it. <laughs> Honestly, uh, that should make her less attractive to you. No, it's hard me, because it's like you can pick her up and like carry her around and fucking like she's only like fucking four foot one. Oh fucking shit, Hella! God damn it! I can't can you hear still you hear anymore. me? I, no, I can't hear you. Fucking, I'm kidding. Hang on, <laughs> I'm kidding. I can hear you, Mike. I'm kidding, Mike. I know. I, 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 know. I heard you. Right. Hey, hang on, I gotta fix my shit. My dog just unplugged every fucking thing. No, man, I never liked Scream 4, though. I, I I never did. I feel like Scream 4 was a very commercial uh, type of movie. Um, and 
very when I say this, like I, I, I think I'm getting my point across very much like a Universal Studios ride. Uh, they brought back a lot of familiar faces, a lot of characters that everybody loved and appreciated. It had been a while since Scream 3, so everybody was kind of hyped about it. But then when you watch Scream 4, there's nothing new about it. There's nothing like that is over the top amazing. There's For me, the, the plot was basic. Um, the acting was basic. I, I just didn't care about this movie. I, like it, it, it felt like, like when you buy a new n- new shirt from Walmart and you put it on and it kind of fits and you're like, okay, well it's from Walmart, so it's not going to be like amazingly cut, but it's okay. I would put this movie, to be honest with you, I would I would put the, yeah, dude, I I fucking hate this movie. I really I hate this movie. I would can you put see it me? Sucks, I would, yeah, I can. Okay. I would put it. It sucks my butt, but I would be fine if you wanted to put it fuckable. I, I I'm on the border of fuckable, but dude, I fucking I can't stand the killer in this. I can't stand what they did with the end of the movie when when Neff Campbell's in the hospital. It's so fucking obvious. It's so predictable. The plot is so fucking just like goddamn. Well, I need to I need to make a few more uh, dollars for my student loan. So I'll I'll write this movie for you. I I don't know, man. I, I I don't like this movie at all. And I and again, I feel like it, it's it's a complete play, pandering. It's it's nostalgia, fucking shit. I, I hate it. Okay, I think I, I think I got my shit back together. My dog just ran through and just unplugged my fucking TV, and everything was all fucked up. Um, but hey, yeah, uh, you hey, you talk about it for a second. I really I gotta go. I'll be right back. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'll, 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 I'll put this thing to a, I'll put this thing to a poll. I'm, I, I know what Jay's saying. I'm, I'm in the fuckable category of scream four and I get shit from like, from scream four fa- scream fans all the time. Cause uh, I, there's, there's a hardcore faction of love for this movie. Uh, and it's my least favorite scream movie. I actually have eventually scream three has surpassed it as far as, and the reason why is because I, I think Jill's a terrible character. I really do. Her whole Sydney, Sydney, Sydney is literally Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I love uh, the Calkin kid uh, up to the end in the reveal when he tries to be the Stu character. He's like, shoulder me, shoulder me like Stu. I thought that was terrible. I thought that uh, just I just the, in the end, I didn't love it, but I enjoyed the ride. Like I enjoyed the ride of it. And I, I they had that terrible cinematography. But at the end of the day, it still had that Wes Craven DNA. Um, it, it still had the cool shit that he did in there. It still had some 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 good Nev stuff, some good David Arquette, some Dewey stuff. I love the fact that the movie opens up, and we actually get to for a fucking fraction of a second, we get to see Dewey and Gale together, living together. And he has that Beverly Hills Cop theme song on his phone. It's got some stuff I really do love in it. Some brutal kills. I thought Ghostface was off, like he just didn't sound right to me. And a lot of this, so I get a lot of shit from Scream fans for not loving this movie. Uh, but I definitely still think it's at best or worst. I think it's it's fuckable. Like I love all these movies so much, I wouldn't even argue with it being real awesome, even though it's my least favorite Scream movie. But I'll put that to a vote for you guys. In the case of Scream Three, you guys agree with me that is fuckable seventy percent to thirty percent versus Suck My Butt Steve, which means that Scream Three goes into the fuckable category. And I will put Scream 4 to a vote for you guys as we go through these last ones. Oh, you put uh, it fuckable. You do. Uh, no, Scream Three went. They voted Scream Three to fuckable, and now oh. I'm putting. Um, you guys are. I'm putting. You guys Scream are stupid. Four to vote. You guys are so dumb. <laughs> hey, fuck you guys. You guys are hey, so you guys. Dumb. You came here. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> um, F a bull. You guys are so dumb. No, it's fine. We'll but I am putting. Speak. I'm putting a vote on Scream Four while we're doing the last ones. Um, I feel like I you... feel like a lot of you are tomorrow are going to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> That's what I feel like. I feel like you made the wrong decision. Uh, I'm, sc- I'm scooting right through because we still got something to get through and a lot of super chats. Uh, so I'm running right well, through yeah, let's to just, the next let's, one. Let's, 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 like super speed round it. Okay, uh, it's all timer. Uh, that's t- that's. No, I don't. I'm not. I'm not even arguing. I'm not even arguing. <laughs> you're talking about. I, you're talking about the coolest fucking. Uh, you're talking about literally the coolest. Uh, uh, not uh, the kill scenes uh, as far as like the strobe light at the hospital yeah, yeah. room. Right. Uh, you're talking about a badass looking Michael. You're talking the, the the story's kind of stupid about the runes and shit. But I can overlook it just because Michael's mean as fuck in this. Michael's mean as fuck. Our pure love of this movie. Our Jay and I's pure love of this movie. I I, I don't. And I'll say this right now. Like I don't. I don't necessarily 
Like the movie's broken as fuck. I don't it's care. broken as fuck. But our just pure deep love, and to give it some love where nobody else does, I am not going to fucking fight you on that one. I have no problem with going to all timer because I have such a deep dark butt crust love for it. I mean, this is the most rented movie of our fucking youth. I so I, I hope I, you guys we understand. Broke the fucking tape, dude. Like yeah, nonstop. Yeah, I'm not going to fight it because it needs some love. It gets enough hate. Uh, put yourself. Oh. In, <laughs> Steve, you go because you know. You know what? You're I, a I made my decision shit. on the last one. I'll let you have it. You, it sucks you, my butt, fucking Steve. Yep. I, I agree. get in your fucking hole Bad. look some, some good freddie lines so i love i love cal and cal cal galner cal galner uh some good moments opened up good but ultimately you guys fucking french fried fuck this movie with that terrible squirrel cgi made this a joke of a fucking movie i the, and, the coolest part about that movie was the uh the uh, the pharmacy scene where he's like flickering in and out of reality that was cool i was like man if you had just gone with that tone yeah. it would have been so cool the micro yeah. naps. Why the sick. fuck do you need to CGI his face? I never got it. Like the, the makeup would have been fine. The practical effect would have been great. Two in the box. Ready, ready to go. go. We be hot and they be slow. Friday the 13th. I am going to be fucking mm -hmm. dude. I'm going to be, I'm going to be egregious. I, I'm gonna call this movie. I want to know your your thoughts on this one. Mm. Nothing fucking better than fuckable to me. I think this movie, if it wasn't the first That's movie, it. it's a good it's a good mystery. It's, it's a good mystery because you don't know who it was, and it was the yeah. first movie, and it's a classic. But as a fucking watchable experience, this movie is shit. Yep, fuckable. I just said it. I'm sorry, yeah, Jim. Well, it, like it's not it, like listen. If you never heard of Friday the Thirteenth and you never knew anything about it existing. The first time you watched this, I'm sure it was mind blowing. It was probably like the first like M Night Shyamalan kind of fucking idea, and it was like then it was shit. kind of a rip off. Well, that's the, well, that's stretching it, by the way. But once you've seen this movie uh, as a Jason fan, you don't ever need to go back and watch this. You need to start at part two and then just mm -hmm. work your way up. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a fuckable movie. But once you know the ending, it doesn't matter. We honor what you mean to world. Yeah. You have, but you, you have get given... back in fuckable box. <laughs> You have done much for our country, and you have been a soldier, <laughs> but now you must retire. You must retire. <laughs> go to your home and, and go and to sleep. Go to land. You go. And then finally, I don't think there's any question about this. Many no. will call it the greatest fucking yeah. Friday 13th Get out of here. all time. All and timer. they'll be fucking right. It's yeah. an all-timer. All Get out of here. Fucking Corey Feldman looking like Smashing Pumpkins Billy Corgan at the end. <laughs> fucking... It looked great, it's, man. Like there, there there's yeah. something about this movie, man. It's so cool. It's got like the 80s vibe to it. It's got like a Jason feel to it. Like, I don't know, man. Like when I was growing up and I watched this movie uh for the first time, I like there's something comforting about it. I know that sounds weird, but but you know, like you know how like you remember like you uh you're nostalgia, you're, you're nostalgic for like the 80s or or simpler time. Where yeah. I was like just worried about like, hey man, I got a floppy disk and I'm gonna play GI Joe on the Commodore 64. I, I don't know. It was like, dick. yeah, or like th let's throw some football around uh, around the uh, 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 the yard and make homophobic jokes. That's what we're all about. <laughs> <laughs> Crap you know, cakes and football, baby. You know, I'm not saying that's cool, but, but there the was degrees. something about it that was very like um, charming and 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 interesting, and it did capture yeah. the 80s in a bottle very well. And and you know what I'll say about it? It's the only fucking of all the horror movies, final, last, fucking everything's over after this, even mm -hmm. though it wasn't from Freddy's Dead to Halloween Ends to, you know, fucking all the all the movies that promised Jason goes to hell. It would be the end. Final chapter was the one that actually felt fucking like even though it didn't feel like it was over. It was the one that actually lived up to the fucking premise when they put that yeah, title up there. So. Uh, all timer, no doubt. Maybe where's the, the corkscrew? The Where's the corkscrew? Yeah, I'm yeah, a you, dead you forgot about you, fuck. You, you forgot, yeah, Crispin Glover was yeah. fucking great. What are you not dead fuck? Dude, there's so many good things about this movie. You can't you can talk about it all night long, but yeah, it's an no old timer. So the last one to talk about is the one that went to a vote. Scream four. The crowd voted fuckable 77% to 23% in the case of this one. So it goes there. Hey, real awesome. Almost fucking ran out of space. We did good tonight. Yeah, we ain't I, good. So I, I don't like this scream friendly crowd. I think you all need to go <laughs> reevaluate your fucking life. Holy shit. Oh, but hey, man, that was that's a fucking I think we did a good job. It's a good list. I think it's a good solid list. I mean, if you walked into a blockbuster and these were like the, the picks for horror yeah. on a how you know, in, in like October, I think that'd be a you're like, hey, I don't know what to watch. And you had this list in front of you like, yeah, that's pretty good right there. I feel good pretty about good. it. 
there's there's some there's some stuff that nobody else would consider like you know like like uh, fucking maybe halloween four or like halloween six being in the top you know uh some people would say that it's fucking insane that no like, i think the that biggest dream warriors is isn't in the top or Nine, like, nightmare two being nightmare two yeah like i think I we, like we have that, a nice like eclectic the, list here i feel like that's the most controversial one if i'm looking at the all-timer list fair everything yeah. out like it checks out and then when people were they were like Halloween or Nightmare Two. What the fuck? Yeah. That might think, be a little bit weird. This is our fucking. I think this is our tier masterpiece. Like I'm really fucking proud of what I'm looking at here. This is just our. We 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 put our fucking dicks together and we we reached around each other and, and squeezed a little bit of our fucking anal holes. No, and I feel then, like, like Scream Three and Four came up with a big gay butt, masterpiece. I was like, it was a masterpiece then. Well, yeah, but you know, you live and you live, let live. Well, I just we let the audience good decide, job. but yeah, it's a great list. It looks really good. Wow. I like that. I like I still it. Have a overall, you, by the way, overall though, it looks really good. Like that list is like really solid. I like it. And now we're going to answer your all's fucking super chats, but first it's tinkle time, baby. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's tinkle time, baby. It's not going to suck itself. <laughs> This isn't. I don't want to be house. left alone with these fucking <laughs> scream affidavits. <laughs> affidavits. <laughs> I don't know what that. I, I like uh, affectionates. <laughs> Where did we leave off? Let me see. Uh, and by the I way, was, guys, uh, I was at uh, nine oh eight. Where are we at? Uh, we are at nine. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Okay, we are at uh, 9.25 p.m. Daniel Flores. Daniel oh, Flores. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got some stuff to get to, my friend. All right, well, um, uh, Daniel Flores, you say? Yeah, 925. Okay, I got you. Uh, but let me say before I go real quick, almost 450 people in here all what? night long tonight. Big oh, one. my God, dude. I didn't Fucking even know. Yeah. I would have acted like much of an asshole if I knew that many people were showing up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was like 200 people in here. You, it's okay. You're yourself. That's fine. Yeah, you just I didn't you. know. I didn't know. <laughs> Let me just say Scream is so good. I love Scream 1 through 5 and 6. I think they're so good. Uh, I'll be right oh, back. Oh, okay. Uh, Daniel Flores, I thank you so much, sir. Says, would you guys spend $250,000 to explore the Titanic? Unfortunately, not looking good for the missing crew. Yes, uh, that hopefully <clears throat> they find them and everything works out. But fuck no, I would rather spend zero dollars and watch that shit on YouTube since they released the footage that uh, of the drone that went down in the 80s and you can see the Titanic. Uh, I think there's even if you watch the Titanic special features, James Cameron, he was the one that really. Um, uh, push this where they went down in a sub and, and you know, to get an idea of how to make the movie. He saw the Titanic. I, I would just watch that shit on YouTube. I don't, I, I don't want to be underwater for fucking anything like that. No, um, I would not spend $250,000 on going down what 12,500 fucking feet to see a, a shipwreck. No, I'm good though. Appreciate it. Uh, Daredevil 1315 says, Hey guys, are you excited for the new Never Hike Alone movie? Are they doing another one? I did not know. I, I, the, 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 the first two were really good. So yeah, I mean, uh, if they're going to do another one, I think that, um, I, I like, I, I I'm excited. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I was looking at Sam Squanch. <laughs> he was saying it might be more like effable. Low effable. I don't know what you were talking about, but uh yeah, um never hike alone was good, and so I'm I'm looking forward to it if they're doing another one. So yeah. Uh thank you so much, dude. Uh 666 J promising a room tour is like when your dad says he'll be back with <laughs> I know, man. I know I keep saying it, but dude, I gotta tell you what, I gotta fucking dust. My room is dusty as fuck. It's dusty ass shit. I gotta like, you know, I vacuum and shit, and like my it's clean. But I got to, like, do all this cleaning shit to make sure you guys don't think I'm, like, goddamn, you know, um, what, like, what is it, you know, a, a, a person that collects a bunch of shit, a hoarder. I'll do it, all right? I swear to God, I'll do it. I'll 666, six, six, I will do it, all right? I promise. I'll, I'll just fucking do it. I'm just going to walk through the fucking room with either my phone or a camera, and I'll send it to Mike, and he'll put it up. I promise. All right, you guys can see it's not that it's not that big of a deal. I swear, there's cool shit, but there's not like ultimately cool shit. Dan Murphy, 
says uh, Loomis definitely had an NRA membership card in his wallet. Guy loved the Second Amendment. What would it sound like if Ronnie from Rob Zombie's Halloween and the dad from Halloween 6 were at the same breakfast table? Uh, interesting as fuck, and I would love to listen to that conversation. It would probably sound like two dudes arguing about the bill at Cracker Barrel. Uh, if Ronnie and the and the dad from Halloween 6 were, like, talking. Uh, as far as, like, Loom, yeah, well, yeah, as far as Loomis goes, I mean, yeah, he probably, he definitely, had, yeah, you're right. He definitely had the NRA. He, he definitely believed in the Second Amendment and, and having a gun, which is nothing wrong with that, by the way. I don't know how to fucking shoot a gun. I never had a gun in my life, but Jesus Christ, if you have the right to fucking own one and, and all the craziness that's going on, go get yourself one and learn how to shoot it. Be responsible. What the fuck? Um, but yeah, Dan, I mean, we'd have to do it. I think that would be a good skit. Uh, I think, dude, my fucking computer is so bullshit. It's so bullshit. What the fuck, dude? Oh my God. Like, dude, I got this mouse and like, it's not do. what the fuck? Did, like, I just, I, I barely touched it and a goddamn weather alert came up. Can we have a, can we have a moment? So I clicked on, okay. The scroll wheel does not work. Oh my God. I clicked out of the fucking thing. I thought I like ended the stream. All right. What the, God damn it, dude. All right, hold on. Okay. Uh, I can't go up. That's what you, I can't, there we go. Benny G, uh, what do y'all want the next Myers mask to look like? I mean, dude, to be honest with you, I mean, the next Myers mask for me, I, I just want the original mask. I, I like, I, I feel like it's been too goddamn long, right? Let, let me have the original Captain Kirk mask. But like, listen, uh, in Halloween Kills, the flashback sequence was so fucking cool, right? And they had the, the Captain Kirk mask. And, and that dude that played Michael Myers in that sequence was amazing. It was so good. Just give me that, you know? Uh, I know that everybody, you know, uh, and we had Alan McElroy on um, I, like a year ago, year and a half ago. Uh, he was the one that wrote um, uh, Halloween 4. And, and you know, he even mentioned that every director wants a different look for Michael or, you know, it's their vision. But, yeah, I, I would just say, you know, go back to the original. You, you, you go back to the original. I think that's the, the, the best bet for you to do. All right. I, I, I'm sorry, guy. I, I'm trying. I, if I miss any of you. I'm sorry, because I am, this fucking computer is pissing me off, or this mouse is, I think, I, I think we're good though, right, are we good, oh my god, I think we're good, I think we're good, oh my god, dude, I'm getting so fucking pissed, hold on, what okay, happened? there we go, no, my scroll wheel wasn't working, my fucking mouse, <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I just came back to the first thing I heard was, "Do I'm getting so fucking pissed?" Yeah, I, like, oh, I no. feel like I was playing Halo again. <laughs> no, I got it. Okay, Caleb Parkinson came in hot with Micah J. Did the boys touch the water while you went pee? Yes. Uh, the the I wish they were that big. That's I'm at ten oh eight. So the next one is going to be. Uh, by the way, these are some generous motherfuckers. Everybody's been very kind. Uh. By the way, somebody wanted to, they, they did ask, and I can't remember your name. They were like, what would it be like from Ronnie from Halloween arguing with um, the dad from Halloween 6 at the dinner table? That would be a great <laughs> skit. I don't know how we would do that, but that would be fucking phenomenal. Uh, that would be really fucking good. And I was like, actually, it would be like two dudes at Cracker Barrel arguing about the bill. Like, it just reminds me of like two dudes at Cracker Barrel. Like, no, no, I got it, God damn it. Just because you, you live in a rich house. You think that you you just gonna you know I think it'd be really funny. Uh, but now I'm at uh, uh, ten oh eight ch uh, child of the corn, so I gotta child go pee now. All I'm right, back. enjoy your pee pee time. But yeah, dude, you're Are right. We done, that would be way, on the list, huh? Are oh. we done on the list? Yeah, we're solid on the list. Okay, go cool. for it. Right. We've got a cornucopia of awesomeness for you guys. Uh, <laughs> that would be so fucking funny, dude. I'm gonna gain like 150 pounds just to play John Strode in that. Uh, that would be the greatest skit of all time. Got it. I wish we could do that. Uh, Child Corn says, yo, fellas, what's good? If Oasis from Ready Player... <laughs> 
<laughs> Y'all, we've been screaming, screaming for too long. I don't have it. Oh, Christ. If oh, if the Oasis from Ready Player One was real, which avatar or character would you choose? Me, Batman Beyond. I need to be Terry McGinnis in a live action film. <laughs> uh, much love, fellas. Much love to you, Child Corn. Great question, man. That movie was just stuffed like a fucking Chipotle burrito full of shit, wasn't it? Uh, I would just go with I, I I would go with uh in that world I would go with uh Jack Nicholson's fucking Jack Torrance in The Shining just since it was so shining heavy uh and I would just be a fucking asshole to everybody like next time you fucking come in here with the sandwiches realize that I'm fucking working um and I can't concentrate uh that's a great fucking question dude John fucking talk about people being goddamn sweet to us you guys are too nice to us uh we really appreciate it man that's 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 a hefty fucking super chat and thank you thank all you guys man uh like fucking the amount of people in here tonight it's fucking this has been a party and we appreciate every fucking ounce of it it's so fun and i love this so much it's we're so lucky to do this man uh thank you dude really appreciate it thank all of you guys it says hey guys how's it going mike sorry about sending two messages on patreon never used messages messaging on there that's okay i love getting messages from you guys on patreon uh I fucking love it. Also, sorry about the second message. It was a mouthful. I will fucking go into that. It uh, Also, Friday the 13th, the final chapter has that Jalo feel to it. Love your content. It's fun. Dude, I love you. You're a fucking sweetheart of a, of a human being. And again, I know we've said it a thousand times, but you look like you should play bass for Papa Roach, and I would be totally cool with that. Love Papa Roach. One of the best bands I've ever seen live, by the way. Um, but yeah, I've never been a Giallo fan. Like, neither of us have. Like, we've had a lot of Patreon requests to do uh, Italian Horror, and we've done them. And I want to love them the way other, other people do. I just I never could get into that, you know, subgenre of horror. But I could see that. I can really fucking see what you're talking about there, especially like specifically when his head goes down on the machete and it's like <laughs> the way it falls down. It looks like one of those videos you see on Twitter nowadays because Twitter is nothing but like the faces of death at this point. I don't know why, but every time I turn it on, it's like, watch this human being being eaten by a fucking shark or this guy just shit his blood out of his butt on the toilet. Uh, it's crazy. But yeah, you're fucking right. And uh, we love you too, dude. Thank you so fucking much, man. Um, you're amazing. And so are all of you. And who else is amazing is as I scroll, scroll, scroll through the mountaintops, Michael Parton says, I'm going to change y'all's lives. Gay flag gay rainbow I, maybe it's not a gay rainbow we all know it's gay rainbow michael uh and we love you <laughs> i don't know what that means but we love you man robin thank you buddy we appreciate you thank you so fucking much um oh what a night man what a fucking party tonight's been as i scroll through to the next and another one like dj khaled would say that's what I say when I'm on the toilet after Taco Bell. It just keeps coming. And the hits just keep on coming. Katie Sidebottom. That's a fucking, that's a sight for sore eyes. Uh, Katie's been around for so long and she's such a sweetheart. And she's an amazing person. And we love you, Katie. Thank you so much. Says, I'm holding you to that modern day scream list. Yes. Fuck. That could be a whole video, right? Just like think about like recasting scream with today's actors. We should do it. We should fucking do it, Katie. We're going to fucking do it. Um, what a great question that was and a great idea. Thank you so much, Woodsboro Fanatic. Really appreciate that. And I don't think we've seen your face before. And I like the name, and I like your fucking picture, and I like the way you smell, and I like the way your dick tastes. Oh, wait, that's not what I meant to say, or is it? Hey guys, love your work, and I love tuning into your streams. Just wanted you to uh just wanted to like let you know you guys were a huge inspiration for me starting my own horror channel, which is starting to gain traction. Much love and appreciation for you both. Hey, you gotta throw the name in there, man. You gotta throw the fucking Put it in the chat now so everybody knows to go fucking subscribe to it and, and give you a boy, boy, boy. Let's give you a... I can't see with this thing on. You know what I mean to say. Um, that's awesome, man. You know, when we started this, part of the reason I love doing it is because I found some random podcast called like Film Junk or some shit like that. It was like a Canadian podcast. And it was so cool to hear people talk about movies in the way that I loved them and find good recommendations and shit to watch. Nicholas Cage's Knowing was one of the movies I watched on that. But knowing that we could do that for other people and like inspire you to do your own thing is one of the coolest things we've ever fucking done. And I hope that your fucking channel takes off and I hope it kicks fucking ass. And uh, it's so easy to start one of these things, you guys. If anybody wants to start your own, whether it's a podcast, whether you're by yourself or it's writing or it's video or it's audio, fucking do it, man. It's been a ride. It's been 12 fucking years, I think or something but 
I recommend uh, it. It's been it's 10 been stars. 11, it's been 11 years. Yeah. Yeah. 10 fucking stars, man. Uh, everybody should do it. Whatever it is. If your thing is like butt stuff or like rating the, the way butt plugs feel, do it. Start it. Fucking yeah, man. Make it happen. Just have a good time. Doesn't matter what. Uh, live your dream, man. Uh, Anthony Freeman, thank you so much, buddy. That's a handsome son of a fucking bitch right there, isn't mm. it? Uh, I waited for three hours just to tell you Scream 3 is awesome. Real awesome. Anthony, Almost. look, you look like you're selling like fucking spatulas at Walmart with that wonderful smile and that great looking profile <laughs> picture. You should not come here and say that, okay? <laughs> You watch your fucking mouth with your teeth. You look like you look, <laughs> you look like that fake ass fucking YouTube ad that I see all the time that pops up and be like, hey, you want to make money? <laughs> Do you want to make money without working? Here's how here's a few tips. <laughs> you are a good looking guy though. So God bless you. And some dude. And I respect the real awesome. If 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 I didn't if I didn't want to upset Jay, I might I might have said that too. Don't tell him. He's not listening. He can't hear us. We're naked. Alone. Yeah, I, apparently I, I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Austin, who by the way I just saw while I was scrolling through, Austin was like, "Please don't fucking read my chat without Jay here. Please don't fucking do it." So mm. I'll just let you read it, Jay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Austin says Halloween Ends is my least like movie on planet Earth. It's like I chose the form of my destructor. It's some dork named Corey. I'd rather watch the Silver Shamrock commercial than ends again. That's some strong ass words. Like, because uh, what off. did you what did you do, Ray? The Destructor, <laughs> and he, he chose Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. I'll be honest with you, man. Listen, I I fucking hated the Corey uh, subplot line. I thought it was fucking dumb. I felt like it was it was pushed in. Uh, you ever had your shit pushed in? <laughs> I, got uh, I feel like it was definitely um, done in a very a terrible way if you're going to introduce Corey, if you're going to introduce that whole uh thing they were doing with halloween ends you got to introduce it earlier for it to make sense and i feel like that's where the audience got let down and it was divisive and i agree with you i feel like Corey. i don't think the guy the actor should have got death threats because apparently he was getting death threats and shit but i mean that was dumb i mean it was a fucking character that he played on screen but we would have all played that character if they offered it to us yeah but as far as the character goes yes it was very subpar i don't think it made sense for the overall plot and it was kind of lazy um but yeah I, I i don't think it was it was a bad movie but i don't think it was the worst movie i've ever seen i, I i've literally seen thanks killing if you want to see the worst movie you've ever seen in your life watch thanks killing thanks killing is the worst movie i've ever seen in my fucking life that was a ever. dark thanksgiving for us <laughs> that was that was really bad uh i saw holly say that some super chats were missed uh and if if we don't find them while we're doing this tonight like she said email me we watched the movie two at gmail.com we will make sure we start the next stream with them if we don't get to them tonight yeah. not saying we won't but just in case we did thank you for holly doing the lord's work thank you down there uh really appreciate you ismail vega good man says have you guys watched the new black mirror there are some good horror themed episodes i've never watched it I, I I hear good things about it. I've never watched it, but I'm not into the racism thing. That that's more of a mic question. Uh, <laughs> All I see is white mirror. When I look, yeah, I just when see he white. looks at the black mirror, he's like, I don't <laughs> drink Bud Light or like BLM. <laughs> uh, no, I've uh, never seen it. I, but I, I hear good things about it. I watched the first season, I think, at least half the first season, and it's wild, dude. It's basically it's it's kind of a horror anthology, but it's tinged with this crazy sci fi shit. And I had a good time, with it, but it's one of those shows that like kind of depressed me a little bit. That just has a depressing vibe to it, so I never really felt the need to go back into it. But because uh, it was black, you know, I just yeah, you can't hide from Mike's the guy that gets mad about Juneteenth. He's like, I can't get my mail delivered. <laughs> <laughs> uh joe valentine says ends was a horror man yeah you know i what? agree no that's, i agree that should be genre no but i agree i agree with you 100 i don't think they intended for that to be what people took away from that but 100 percent, it really did come down it was there was a romance subplot between uh cory and um andy's character and like i feel like that's the problem i feel like people were like like you, you guys should be in the fight for your life, and and you guys are worried about like, are we gonna go get like you know Waffle House I like after the this? Match. I want to go get Waffle House after this. I mean, I don't know what you're <laughs> thinking. 
Uh, yeah, you know what? I think that horror mance is a is a, that should be like a top ten list at some point. Like, there's got to be some other movies like that. Yeah, there it's is. really interesting. Actually, but it was really done well. Uh, Return of the uh, Return of the Living Dead Part Three was a horror mance, and it was really good. It was really good. What's a, there's a zombie love story and even that, that movie sucked but yeah no i see what you're saying no part man. three it's, was good it was actually good it wasn't bad horror mance is a great fucking someone should coin that term and write a book about all the horror mance movies uh michael parton said i'm the gay jimmy mortimer so i hope i don't end up getting corkscrewed and cleaved in the face hey dude if you're as handsome oh. as fucking um crispin crispin glover uh then you you probably doing pretty well for yourself it's weird how streets. you think he like you know he is a handsome guy but he's he's got like a weird look to him i don't know it but he is a handsome dude it's interesting you want to know what that dude's about you like know that dude like runs your local comic book shop and he's got a mysterious like a mysterious nature to him but you know that he's never seen boobies right and, and apparently in this situation that's great but it makes him hotter <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> Sean said Mike and Jay and or Mike Jay and John $500 donation mm -hmm. thoughts on making the best haunted house in the world would you seriously be interested yeah man on making um, it we have a friend of ours that uh we've done a couple of streams with um Eric from uh pretty much it he has a haunted house that he works with in New York and I you know, it's weird. I don't like to be jump scared, but I, I know, like, I would love to actually work on, on something that would be scary for other people because I know what would scare them because it scares me. And I, I would be, I would, I would, I think that'd be pretty cool. I wouldn't do the basic tropes too. Like not like I wouldn't have somebody dressed up as leather face with a, with a chainsaw running around. Cause I, I feel like that's been overdone or have like the classic, you know, horror monsters with Michael Myers. I want to do something that really like gets people, in a in a in a situation in a horror house or, or a haunted house where they're like when they leave they're like what the fuck did i just watch <laughs> or what yeah. did, what was i experiencing not like like there's not gonna be like a dude like naked like doing the helicopter with his dick what the fuck is that and then he would have like a, like you know like strobe lights on his wiener as he was yeah. flashing but i would well, do that's... something I would do something really weird. You know, I I feel like a great uh, haunted house would be if you guys ever seen the movie uh, Strange Land with D. Snyder. Yeah, like something like that. I would have lighting, <laughs> like lighting with the blue, like just a know, tattoo like, shop. <laughs> yeah, you could just go into a tattoo shop, like in the shady yeah. side of L.A., and that would be a haunted house. But no, like the 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 lighting, the the backdrop would be like a light blue or like a a, a haunting blue, like in Hellraiser, and then you would just. I actually would do a Hellraiser. That's fucked theme. up. I would do a Hellraiser themed haunted house. Yeah, where like cool. uh, where at the very beginning of the haunted house, the the guide would open the box, and then these lights would flash up, and then you would walk into hell. <laughs> I think that would be fucking fucking freaky, dude. That 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 that's that that actually be dope as fuck. That'd be good. And what Eric and them did was they did some weird shit. Like they would pick up somebody in a van and take them to like a room in the darkness, and it wouldn't be jump scares, but they would like they would have someone come down and sit at a table and just be like. What's the color red? Not yeah, What's the not color like, red. They were like What's the color do, red. They were trying to do blackout. The the, yes. the the haunted house blackout. Yeah, some like dark. Well, I don't want. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do like extreme shit where you have to sign a waiver. I like the idea though. That that's it's, no, up. it's that's cool. Twisted. I mean, if you're into that, yeah. But it's like David Fincher's haunted house. Um, Ballad of the Broken said, "Papa Mike and Jay, am I handsome as well?" Yes. Let me take a look at you, honey. Dude, you look great, man. Holy shit, you look fucking great, dude. He's got. Yeah, it's got. I think uh, he's got a good yeah. jawline. You can he got see, a nice you know. neck structure there. Kind of having a hard time not looking at you now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, you look he good. He said, "Let's doc." You look like a. You look like a really. <laughs> Papa doc. You look like a really, really, really good in shape, Chris Pratt, and I like it. Yeah, that. handsome dude, handsome dude. Congratulations, man. You get you you fucking gold star. Woodsboro fanatic said, "Woodsboro fanatic is the channel name." Oh, well, there you fucking go. That's the fucking channel name. Everybody, please go fucking subscribe to Woodsboro <clears throat> fanatic right fucking now. Open up a new tab. Don't leave this one. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Calm do down. it, man. Hey, good for you. Thanks again. Your response just made my night. You guys never fail to make me laugh. Hey, man. all right, man. Cool Thank stuff. you, man. We really, you, we man. appreciate you. Um, that catches us cool. up for the night. We're done, do man. Know, we we allegedly missed some, so I'm scrolling through real quick. I'm gonna give a quick scroll. Well, through. I, I think they they only. By the way, uh, we don't have any control over the, over that uh, when you super chat. Um, there's a there's a time limit on on how long that's a you know available for us to see. So 
we were talking about weird shit and and might have missed your super chat but if we well, like on 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 this version of it no we 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 figured we figured that part out so on this version of it it actually holds them so we're good there i okay. just think that that apparently we missed a call. I didn't want you guys to think like if you didn't get it. Into no, time, yeah, but... we're, we're going to definitely, we'll, we'll, we'll read your uh, super chat out on the next live. Yeah, it, whatever we, may, I'm looking real quick. I'm just doing a quick scroll as we're ending this just to make sure. Uh, make sure. By the way, I'm going to have, a, I'm not going to have, also, a, I'm, I'm going to get my hair cut. I, I should vlog that. It's been so long. My barber's going to be like, what the fuck? Did you get lost in a cave? You, you look what they did to my boy, <laughs> dude. I swear to God, if you get my hair is, dude, my shit's got like a a goddamn um country music star thing going on with the back of my hair. Like there's hair so long. Like, <laughs> Honestly, like so, if you took off your hat right now, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, and you you took a comb and like you pushed it down like to the front. Like you pushed everything that you had to the front. How long do you think it would like drop down where it's like? Well, dude, I, on I, have, I have a sitting hairline. So what you're going to have is like where, where this, this part of the hair is coming down to the eyebrow. Like the, yeah, that, the, that the one's going pretty part, deep. The, the, well, the front part is going to be like super long. Like I'm going to look like Edward Furlong in the crow. <laughs> and then, Nobody then, wants that. But then everything else is going to be like, Hey, we're not going that far. <laughs> so you're gonna have like if I if I if I did this, it'll be like this part of the hair. It'll be like, hey, we ain't got tickets to the front of the show, but this part of the hair will be like, hey, we're we're right against the gate. We can feel the speakers. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I do. I did it. I did it today before I went and got my hair cut. That's why I asked. I was trying to figure out like because I was thinking I was like at some point I was like I mean it's going bad in the back. Like, should I just fucking shave it? Should I? Should I try I'm, I'm thinking about doing it. I really am. I'm thinking about buzzing it. Because, well, at the end of the day, like, I mean, dude, I'm, like, again, I'm going to be 40 in February. I don't fucking care anymore. Like, I'm married. I'm not trying to get no hot chicks. I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I don't even want to pretend to be single at 40 years old. Uh, I'm just happy to be where I am. And I'm not trying to impress anybody. But my hair looks like shit as far as, like, I, I can't even fucking style it the way I want to anymore. But, dude, I'm 40. Like, back in the olden days, in the old West days, at 44, you would you'd be dead. So, hey, man, making it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I asked her. She was, she got done cutting my hair, and she was like, I like it. And I was like, she was like, I think you needed this. And I was like, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Because <laughs> I, I, yeah, I was tired of like doing the fucking comb over. So, like, I was like, I want to spike it up again, but it's kind of fucked up. So, I don't know if you can make that's that why happen. I, I, so, I don't, I, when I go to my uh, my barber, there's like, I, I can initiate conversation, but he's like, he understands. Like, I really want to talk. Just cut my fucking hair. I don't really <laughs> want to talk about anything that's going on. I don't want to talk about the weather. I don't talk about like, but by the way, they're, it's very redneck and they're like all about NASCAR and shit. And I don't watch NASCAR. So like, and like I've mentioned this before, but when I go into my barbershop, they have like on the TV, smoking the bandit playing constantly. And then he has like race car tires all around um, the store. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't, I don't know shit about NASCAR. I never, I, like, I know a couple of racers and that's about all. I don't know. I don't watch that shit because that shit's boring to me. But yeah, man. Been fun ass fucking times, but I'll take this off real quick. Look. Oh, that's a, you got some, yeah, you got a lot. You got some, you just got some growth there. Well, yeah, dude, but look at the, look at the fucking, look at this. Look right here. Look, that's a natural split. You see the natural split? So you could technically grow it to the sides and yeah, get like but a dude, I, I look like, I'm like, but yeah, but now I look like I'm trying to sell you a comic book that you can't afford. <laughs> aren't I, you, aren't I look you? like I could be on fucking comic book. Uh, <laughs> that what's that, what's that Kevin Smith show? Uh, comic book men or yeah, comic book men on A and E. <laughs> and I'm like, actually, the value the value of this particular comic book is not what you're expecting it to be. Uh, yeah, it's very. This is very like. Look, dude. So there's a natural fucking split right there. I didn't even comb it. Like, see, look. <laughs> you see it? Yeah, I see it. No, you, you I didn't can, even, you can comb I, it over I didn't if you want to. That, that's just my hair wants to do that because it's a goddamn <laughs> traitor. And so, you know how you guys see my hair spiked up and shit? I had to train this fucking hair to do that. Now it's fucking rebelled. And I'm back to this shit. Look, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> You could fucking blonde Wolverine it. Just yeah, out dude, fucking... <laughs> dude, it's fucking George D. Scott from fucking like the Scrooge movie. Look, <laughs> look at that. 
I like it, dude. You should go with it. You should put some hairspray in that bitch and just fucking stole oh, it yeah. out to the sides. <laughs> no, dude's like you look like fucking gay princess Leia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I can't. I can't fucking like. I'm, I swear. There's a natural split that wants to do this shit. If I had more hair, if I had like. Zach Morris's hairline, Ryan Gosler, or not Ryan, uh, what's it, Mark Paul Gosler. If I had Mark Paul Gosler's hairline, I would love to comb it, you know what I mean? Like, where it's like that cool shit. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's just like, oh, it's like fuck. the hairline teases you. It's like, oh, That's... the hairline is telling you, you should comb your hair like nature's telling you, you should comb your hair like that or, or the other way, right? <laughs> and then it's like, oh, but you don't have the hairline to do it. And yeah. you're like, well, fuck yeah. you. And you come up with a picture of like, you, like sure, like Tom Cruise, like Mission Impossible 2 and be like, I want this and I will not tip you unless you make it right. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck do you want me to do? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyways, in the case of the in the case of the missing super chats, I've been scrolling through here. And the only thing I see that we may not have gotten to uh, was Caleb. Uh, Mike and Jay, do you like pickles? <laughs> also try IPA. <laughs> um, uh, I like your pick. That's that's how not my face is when I when they say we only have IPA. That's literally me during COVID, dude. That's a picture I took during I COVID when I was 20 pounds heavier and drinking 17 Michelob, Michelob Malter M Miller lights. Oh, yeah. It was a dark no, that's time. The, that's the face I make when, the, when they say that we only have IPAs to serve you. Do you like pickles, though? Do you eat pickles? Are you a pickle eater? I like pickles, yeah. You want, you, want, you want to taste a fucking wiener that looks like a pickle? I don't want a diseased pickle. It's got warts just, on it. Regular. <laughs> I want kosher pickles. It doesn't. It doesn't. I want kosher. Uh, Dude, I no, can't. Yeah, I, pickles can't. Are I, I actually, uh, hey man, you make a sandwich. If you make like turkey and like some raw spinach and like a little pickle and mustard on that shit, that's some good. That's a good sandwich right there. That's a good yeah. fucking sandwich. I do pickles on like Chick Fil A sandwiches, and I can eat a pickle. But I'm just not a fan of it. I'll just dude. Like, I'll tell you what. I think it. I think people give you know? it this like a lot of like they give it a lot of shit. But the KFC chicken sandwich is fucking good. The KFC chicken sandwich yeah, is good. They got pickles, go there. They got pickles on that. But the they pickles, got nuggets now. Yeah, but the pickles on the KFC chicken sandwich, it, like I feel like they use sweet pickles, which I don't like sweet pickles. I think sweet pickles are gross. Or or you know what do they call butter uh, butter pickles? You know what I mean? But, oh yeah, butter pickles fucking that's nasty. That's fucking nasty. That I don't gross. like that at all. Like, don't come with me with that like, shit. Just give me that crispy ass fucking regular pickle. Don't you? But I feel like uh, I feel like that. KFC uses the butter pickle, which I don't like. Yeah, uh, and and apart from that, I, dude, I used to drink IPAs all the time. Like I got into like an IPA kick, but like the thing with IPAs is, is like they get my fucking heart flutters. Like if I drink an IPA or two and like walk up some stairs, my shit's like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm gonna die. It wants you so to something, die. And also, they give you tits. Like yeah. I heard that there's there's estrogen in the hops. So like I'm like I already have enough tit. <laughs> I don't want to over. Is that not myself. for every beer though? I'm sure that every beer at a, at a certain beer. rate. But I guess the flowery shit has got more estrogen in it than like regular ones. So I, there's I no. Also here's the thing. There's there's no true there's no true diet beer. There's no true diet beer. People act like there's a diet beer. Like you could get Miller High Life, which is 50 calories. But at the same time, if you're drinking a like, if you get Miller High Life and you want to get drunk, you're gonna get like two cases of that. You well, need High two Life. cases. No, High Life is full flavored. Oh, not uh, not High Life. Uh, Miller, uh, what the fuck? Like uh, Super ninety nine. No, or some what the shit. fuck was it? Like, no, like, it, like, it's got fifty calories in it. Uh, it's super expensive. It's Miller. Uh, no, I swear to you, it was Miller High Life. I swear to God. The only, no, High Life is like the champagne of beers. It's like that yellow shit. That's like fuck, probably. Like I thought that was just Miller. Calories. No, no, it's Miller High Life is like the 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 staple brand. It's like the either fucking... way. Well, yeah, you, listen, if you just overdo a beer, it doesn't matter. It's Miller gonna... ninety nine or something. Yeah. You, well, anyway, it, it, like, <laughs> hey, but if you enjoy, if you enjoy drinking beer, fuck it. Like whatever. I see your point though. Like that that ultra light shit. It's still water. You're gonna have to drink. Well, it's twice like as it's much. like it's like when Marbles used to sell ultra lights, and they're like, hey, yeah. this isn't as bad as Reds. <laughs> it's the same shit. You're just buying more of it. Uh, as far as far as Tim goes, I think that's what she's talking about. I, I see you in there, Tim. I see you, so like I see Tim. You say Mike, and then I see you say this stream, and then I see you say Mike, and then I see you say this stream. But like, there's nothing that I can see other than that that you've said. So I think maybe what happened, Tim, with the last chat. I don't know if there's like a word in there. Like sometimes I'll try to put like I can't put effable in the poll or sucks or butt in the poll because it'll like. Mm -hmm. 
knock it out for some reason. So I don't know if that's what's going on, but I cannot find uh, the the comment that you talk about. So email me, dude. Well, I, I swear to God, the, we'll start the next the chat with it. Stream, though. Well, I guess it was the stream. Sorry, he did, Tim. but then I was like, use asterisks and find it. And I just, I've scrolled through here like three times, man. I'm so sorry. I can't find it. I don't know if it's a YouTube thing or what, um, but it just will not pull it up. But you got my email, man. Just send it to me. And then, um, and I promise we'll, we'll figure it out, dude. I'm sorry about that, whatever it was. Uh, a couple more since we've been talking before we go. Michael, oh, I fucking read that already. What am I talking about? What am I talking about, Jay? God damn it. God know. damn it, Jay. Uh, Barb says, hey, nice haircut, Mike. Night, night, guys. Pick you gotta go pee pee. Night See night, you. motherfucker. See you. <laughs> you ain't gotta Thanks announce so your departure in an airport. <laughs> this is the Sly Fox game and said, Love the show, guys. Always enjoy lo- watching your love of horror and your great humor. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Sly hey, thanks, Fox. Hey, thanks, Sly Fox, man. It's we're cool, gonna man. try. Thank you, man. We're, g- we're gonna get naked later. And we're well, I can't wait. I can't wait each to uh, read the comments because the comments are gonna be fucking insane on Honestly, some of those. Fucking... It's gonna be insane. Uh, DJ Graham said, I was playing Aliens. Thanks, by the way, DJ. I was playing Aliens Dark Descent this morning, and the power went out while I was in the middle of killing these things like Bill Paxton. I was winning. <laughs> then suddenly it was game over, man. Game over. What do we put her in charge? Shut up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Uh, I haven't played Dark Descent. I hear it's pretty good. But yeah, dude, every time I watch Aliens or even even think about Aliens, I remember Bill Paxton, dude. What a fucking champion. What a fucking goddamn mega dude mega yeah. watch the fucking frail to the other I, night, I, it dude. feels Shit. so weird when you say when you say uh bill paxton you know we lost him over like a heart surgery and it sucks dude because bill paxton had so much more to give as far as like roles that he could have done and then i i think of him in the same boat as like john ritter same same thing yeah, uh, yeah. amazing amazing actor man yeah for sure bill paxton is fucking a uh, legend legend yeah, dude, fucking all timer, man, and and fucking Barbara agrees with us. By the way, the butter pickles are fucking nasty. I think everybody agrees with us on that. That shit's gross. Who the fuck thought about that? That's like uh, who thought of buttermilk, like as a drink by itself? So like nasty. what the fuck? Uh, Beast Boy, thank you so much, man. Thanks for the content, you handsome hey, motherfuckers. Thank you for tuning Why are you in, lying? Beast Boy. Why are you fucking lying? I'm not gonna yeah, argue I'm, with him. <laughs> Let's just go I'm, with him. <laughs> I'm watching currently. My battery go. Fuck. I'm. Yeah, done. we gotta get out of here, guys. It we looks like go. a fucking submarine under this. We're oh, three fuck. hours and thirty five minutes, and you guys are amazing. You guys have stuck around this long, and, and we've had a great time tonight. We've done a lot of cool ass movies, and and you guys have been participants in in, in ranking them. Man, this has been a great fucking stream, man. I, I, I oh, yeah. I'm really goddamn glad to be a part of it, and I'm gonna write a book about it later on. I'm gonna, good I'm gonna time too. It's gonna good have time. a sequel right there. <laughs> uh, Frankenstein Studio says good night, guys. <laughs> Go suck a butt. Oh, Thank there you. goes my camera. You butter pickle eating fuck. Right. <laughs> Frankenstein is such a fucking homophobe, and I love it. <laughs> hey, thank you. Whether you super chatted or you just hung out, thank you guys so fucking much. We love you all so fucking much. We love For what real. we do. Thank you all. See you guys. I'm dark, motherfucker. Just plain. Blackness. Wait, that's not fuck. <laughs>